that. I'm going to do this. And the live people, the people, the actual people should be saying hello right now. Hello, all you fine people. So here is what's happening today. I'm going to start talking to these guys. You can now not worry so much, Jamie. Everybody of the live streaming internet, here is the plan. I am going to be forging a bottle opener for you until you stop buying them. Now, it's a very simple bottle opener, very basic. It's this right here. Here we go. Jamie, would you like to rack focus for me on this thing? You ready? Yeah, yeah. This is a very basic bottle opener. Now, what you'll see in the description is a Squarespace site. They're sponsoring the video that Jamie and I are filming. There is a Squarespace site where you can buy this bottle opener, but there's only ever going to be one in stock at a time. It's a very basic bottle opener. You can buy much nicer bottle openers from thousands of blacksmiths all around the world, and I'd love to encourage you to go and do that. Find a blacksmith whose work you like and go buy something from them. That's a great thing to do. But here's the challenge that we have set ourselves for the day, and that is I am going to be forging bottle openers until you stop buying them. The forge is going to be lit until either I collapse, I run out of steel, we run out of propane, or you stop buying bottle openers. There is a catch, though. And the catch is that every single time somebody buys a bottle opener, it is going to get more expensive. So the first one of these has now already sold. And it sold for a penny. The next one we're about to make for sale, and that'll sell for $2. And then the next one will be $2 more than that. So stay tuned. I need to start making our first bottle opener of the day. That could be the first. I've already made it. I don't know. We'll make a bottle opener for the guy that got... So the guy that bought his for a penny can at least see me making it. We'll make his bottle opener. This is one that you can film. And let me think what I'm going to say. It's a little more difficult when it's the actual thing. Uh, so here we go. This is the first bit of steel in the fire for our one penny bottle opener. Okie doke. So let's go say hello to all of you. I've got my computer over here. Hello, everybody. People of the internet. So this is Jamie. Jamie, do you mind throwing some uh, some of the old uh, spectacles on? Can people hear me? Uh, be good if uh, somebody just lets me know. Can you hear me? Should be good. Low audio. Uh oh. I'm very quiet. This is not so good. Da 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 da. How can I make myself louder? I think I can do this. So let me just check. Give myself a little extra volume for you. Bum, bum, bum. That might be too loud. I'm going to do this. OK, let me know if that works. Gave you a little extra 10% of volume. Oh my goodness, there's way too many. Ah, ah, I can't see this. Wow. Yep, I can't read anything. Crank the volume on the microphone. Already. There's a 1,000 people watching. Holy mackerel. They say they want more volume. We'll give you more volume. There we go. Go, go, go. We'll give you another 15%. Let us know. We'll check back in. More volume, better, not better. I can't read anything. It's just like, you guys are going crazy over there. OK, so we're going to start forging a bottle opener. The first one. This bottle opener sold for one penny. Let's see if I can remember how to make these things. Jamie, you know how to make a bottle opener? Hokey doke. First up, punch in a hole. Well, that's great. My first hole's off center. off to one side. Things are not going super well today. So guys, this live stream, it's going to be a pretty, pretty casual one. I do need to pace out the energy through the whole day. So just hang out. Have a good time. Grab an orange juice. When I drop things, you can play the Alex Steel drinking game. And uh, there we go. They slow down on it. Too, they slow down? There's a thing up there. Oh, we've got one up there. Oh, well, let's see.
Jacko says, do you hire vets? I say we'll hire absolutely anybody that fits the job. Turn on slow chat. Oh, there's a feature, slow chat. I like that. Hmm, pop out chat. Where's slow chat? It has slowed down a lot though. Top chat, live chat, top chat, there we go. Terribly quiet, says Simon Jones. Okie dokie. Uh, do you have a thing on your mic over there? Are you able to bump it at all? No? There we go. I'll give you a little extra, a little extra volume. One and a half times volume. See if that's any better for you. Let me know what you think. Can you hear me okay? You need the cable out of that? Yeah, sure thing. Go for it. Okie doke. Ah, I dropped one. I need a pair of gloves. Or rather, one glove. So, this is our penny bottle opener. If you're just joining us, we're doing a thing today. And that thing is as follows. I'm gonna be making bottle openers. But you stop buying. And I'm gonna need to either just pass out from exhaustion, or run out of steel, run out of propane, or make the bottle openers so damn expensive that you won't even buy them to be able to actually get some sleep tonight. In the workshop today, we are joined by Jamie, Crazy, Yogo, there's two dogs over there. They're both sleeping. They're having a grand old time. How's it sounding, Jamie? I can't change it in the menu. Does it sound good for you, though? Roughly. It's all right. You'd say it sounds OK? Let's see what people are saying now. Whoa. What did you put it up to? Well, it's now gone black on the screen. I'll have my things in the menu. Uh-oh. My, uh, my, my computer has frozen. Do you want to open it up on your phone? Right. You'll be able to see the chat on your phone. Oh. Sound is good. Sound is good? Good. Well, I've got an unresponsive. Did you put it up again? Sorry? Can I? No, did you? Yeah, I put it up a few a few minutes ago. All right, gonna cancel those pages. Bang bang. Ba 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 ba. People are gonna see the pen. Sorry? People are gonna see the pen. People are asking to see the pen. Do you know where it is? It's in one of those toolboxes. Okie doke. Ah, okay, we'll go. My page is back. There we go. What's up, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Lars. Hey, thank you, Ryan. Glad to have you here. Thank you, Kobe, for your things. There is the pen. Okie doke. Gotta work on this bottle thing. Move that away. Here we go, Jamie. Ready to film? since I've been doing much of this stuff. I'm very rusty. I need a vat of evapo rust myself. What's that? Does it look like it's still going? Yeah, but you had it paused. I did. It's, the reason I want it paused is because then it saves the computer trying to like render all of this stuff oh, up okay. onto the screen. So hopefully it keeps it going a little easier. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, website is sold out. Here's how it's gonna work, guys. I will make a bottle opener for the person that just bought the bottle opener. So right now, we're making a bottle opener for one penny for a gentleman that bought his one penny bottle opener. I mean, basically, every time we make one, there'll be one in stock. So you're gonna be quick. Is it the time of the, the, time of the essence? Exactly. I will tell you when I add new stock to the website, because I'm gonna do it from my phone. I'm gonna use the app 
and give it the old bing bang bong, one in stock. So if you follow this live stream, you'll know when the next one is in stock. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm so rusty at this. I would have done a better job of forging that little bottle up in the loop when I was like 14. But that's okay. We will get better as we practice. Da -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba. How do I add a text layer? Do you want to have like a current price and a, and a stock? It's a little bit clunky to do. It? It's a little bit clunky because this, I mean, I'm sure if I updated this and spent, spent some money, we could do it. But like you've got to come in here and then you've got to turn off the auto live. So it's, I mean, here we go. Not that easy. It's be that hard. No, it's not that hard. Here we go. Switch, I'll turn off auto live. And then what you do is you'd come up here. So go bum, text. And then you write whatever it is that yeah. you want to. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, you write whatever it is you want to write. Okay. Do. Forging the bottle. Talking to myself. To a lot of people. Squeeze through there. So we are making a one penny bottle opener. It's already sold. There we go. Just talking to myself. I'm talking to myself just in case people hop in. You know, I want to re-explain what's happening. I mean, read the description. Hopefully that explains it. Hopefully that gets the point across. Making bottle openers until you stop buying them. Here we go. You know what? I think I'm just going to stop repeating myself. You folks in the chat, if you want to, if anybody asks questions, let them know what's happening. Hopefully the description does the job. Okie doke. This is a nice way to get a consistent size of the bottle. Though. You just put a big punch in through a one inch hole, which is quite handy. Now I make a little bob punch bit down here. Drop that there. Ah, I'm not happy with that bottle opener. Jamie, do you mind filming something? Yeah. All right, on the bottle opener, please. That's really hot. Okay, ready? I'm actually not happy with this. I have that loop off center and it looks a little funky. We're gonna cut it off. Even though. So, so, so this is the first one. Right. So even though this is our first one and we sold it for a penny, I'm actually not happy with how the loop looks. You see it's a little bit off center and twisted, so we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna make, and we're gonna give it a second shot. See if we can improve upon it. It's been a while since I've forged a lot of bottle openers and uh, <laughs> it shows, because I'm out of practice. What are you trying to do? Well, I've made it, but I don't know how to edit it because it's too small at the time. Okay, so you click on it, come up to here, scale. Not that big. Not that big? Like that? Just right? Yeah. Good stuff. So now we can do this. Bing. It's live. Are you trying to move it again? Yeah. So if you want to move it again, you, just, you, do, you can just go for it, or you can edit it, however you do it. How do you edit that? I don't know. I don't know how. But however you edit it, and then you just hit this, and then it'll, it'll populate. Okie doke, let's cut this thing off. Let's start again. Alright, can you film this please, Jamie? Hey! Thank you! Off to a great start, scrapping the first one. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
Are you going to chuck it down there? In that? On the floor? Yeah, I'll just throw it on the floor. You ready? I won't actually throw it on the floor. It'll damage the concrete. I'm going to put it here. But it's good for the camera. Okie doke. So, yeah, this is it. This is what we've been doing all day. We're just going to make things. So, welcome. Welcome to the workshop. A lot of people are asking about the stock, and I think people understand. Okay, it. so the product is only going to be in stock every time I make it. I wonder if I can update the description. Let's see. How can I explain this, maybe? Ba -ba -ba -ba. When I add one in stock. There we go. That explains it, right? So buy a bottle opener here when I add one in stock. When I add one in stock. They're only added one at a time. Smiley face. Good. Save. So I've updated the description. Here's what's happening, guys. Every time I add, or oh, rather, every time I'm done forging one bottle opener, I'm going to add another bottle opener in stock for you to be able to buy it. So just keep listening in and you know, be ready to jump, the old, uh, jump onto the website and hit refresh so you know when it's likely to be going live. And don't worry, I will be, I will be here all day making bottle openers. And there's at some point in the day where somebody's not going to want to pay the price of that bottle opener, and you'll be able to get it if you're willing to do it, but I don't know. Uh, as I open this video that, that Jamie and I are filming, you know, I said, what is this bottle opener worth? You know, I don't know, $10, $20 bottle opener, roughly fair market price, one of those two. But we're going to find out how much will somebody spend on a bottle opener or how, how long can I forge in one day? I'm not as young as I once was. <laughs> ah! I'm also just way worse at doing anything. I can't punch this hole to save my life. There we go. Got the plug out. We really want to use two cameras in this room. Oh yeah. So, and, and again, I'll apologize to you guys. We usually have this like super fancy setup on the live streams and we're switching between things. All of that gear is in the Montana shop. So we've got a super ghetto, ultra basic setup. You know, when I got set up back when Sam and I were doing live streams, yeah, I spent a bunch of money on, on all cool live streaming, like switching gear and all that. We don't have that here. That's in the Montana shop. So when we do a live stream from the Montana shop, you'll have a fancy live stream. But for now, it will be rather basic and I will manually move the camera. I hear this is how they made TVs in the, TV in the 1800s. That was a really bad joke. Where did that come from? That, that's a tongue clip. Right, sir. Time to drift a hole. Hello, Jamie. You want to get a shot of this? Ah, he didn't hear me. Too late. Ah, yeah, yeah. Jamie, do you want to come around this side? We want to make sure we get a shot of me forging this next loop round. Uh, I'm going to be on this side of the horn like that. Ding, dang, dong. Ah, somebody has sent $100. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Steel Kitten. You're very kind. You're very kind. Michael Hyatt. Get that man some ear pro. Yeah, get some ear pro. I don't want to wear it all day. Sorry? I don't want to wear ear pro all day. Well, if you don't wear ear pro all day today, you'll be wearing all ear pro all day when you're 70. What? what exactly. Okie dokie. in time I was fully dialed on making bottle openers. I am so much more rusty right now. 
I used to know like the exact hits that I needed to make. You know, I learned from Brian Brazil how to do all this stuff, and I was so dialed in, like I knew exactly what I had to do to forge a bottle opener. And I was very precise and actually somewhat good at it. Funny, you just lose so much in time, lose so much skill and knowledge, it all just withers away when you don't practice it. And I'm not forging bottle openers like I used to. At one point in time, you know, I was probably making a few bottle openers every single week. That time hath faded. That time she hath faded. <laughs> Michael Hyatt says, don't argue with me, Jamie. <laughs> That's good. Right, so once I'm done with this, we'll raise the price to $2, and the next person's gonna be able to buy a bottle of it. Yuck. Sorry, Jamie. We are making a one penny bottle of that has been sold, made to order. Who else is live streaming the thing that you can buy right there for a penny? My new business model will be selling these for one penny. Good. That one's a little nicer, a little nicer loop on it. Now remember folks, have your orange juice ready to play the Alex Steel drinking game. That one's more for the live stream than it's for you, Jamie. For, for, for your video, I'm just, I'm anticipating this right now. It's just montage until it's done. Then we explain the next step to this, which is like, and now we'll open up the app. We'll say, we're gonna do this do a little bit of talking about Squarespace right there and then, and uh, then we'll get to that, so. So anything I'm saying to the camera right now until I say otherwise is just for the live stream people. Oi. This is a three and a half pounder. Oi, oi. I thought you could hear me. Oi. <laughs> oi, oi, all right. God, these dogs are both asleep. Can you say something in French? Can I say something in French? Ah, good. Okay. Alors, on va essayer de faire euh, cette chaude, cette chaude, complètement en français. Ça fait très longtemps que j'ai parlé euh, en français. Sur... Et en fait, j'ai jamais parlé en français en forgeant. On a peut-être une ou deux fois, mais c'est difficile parce que le... le... Mon, voca mon vocabulaire français il n'est pas très fort et surtout pas très fort en forgeant alors on va couper on va utiliser euh, notre tranche à chaud ici on va utiliser le, le marteau on va taper dessus dessous dessus oh là mais c'est difficile en italien Wow, I don't know if I can do that. I'm struggling with French. I'm struggling enough with French. Maintenant, je prends mon, euh, mon truc. Je sais pas comment ça s'appelle, mais c'est mon... Well, an Australian accent. So... Can you do Australian, right? Attends, il faut que je finisse cette chaude. Un, deux, trois. Uh, can you film this with the... Can you film this with your camera? We are putting the touch mark on. Thank you. Time for the touch mark. There we go. Right, and then you can film it as I throw it into that pot. Into the dog bowl. That is a one penny bottle opener. Okay, Doc, ready? We're now gonna open up the Squarespace app. This is why it's fantastic, because right here from our phone, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and update the price, update the quantity, and are you guys ready on the live stream? We're talking to all you people, are you ready? Okay, and now Jamie? They're all talking about you. <laughs> They're all talking about you, okay. Because right now, if I did it right, Ready? 
because right now there is a product I've messed it up. <laughs> I'm trying to work out how to do this and I keep messing it up. The skew for these variants have changed. Okay. Hey, what is it? What? They're all just saying German. <laughs> oh, they want me to speak in German. Okay, discard changes. The product has not been updated yet, guys. Just saying. Gotta refresh it. There we go. Ah! I had to refresh the page. We got it now. Alright, a little more filming. Here we go. So, Squarespace app. So, we're now gonna open up the Squarespace app. And here's the deal. We sold one at one penny. We're gonna raise the price to two dollars. It's fantastic. You can do this from the phone. We got, oh, not ten in quantity. We got one in stock. And there we go. It is now time for you live streaming viewers to buy a two dollar bottle of it. It's already sold. You think it's sold? It's already sold. Well, we've got to wait for the notification to come through. Okay. We shall wait for the notification. What? Is this going to say an address? Oh, hey, look at that. No. Purchase from Glasgow, Scotland. How Take good is that? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Time to make our $2 bottle opener. Right, then you can film me put the steel in the fire. I think that's good for the story. In we go. Can do that again. In we go. Da, da, da. Ah! Why was the blacksmith's son sent to detention, Jamie? He was caught forging signatures. Hey! You got the joke in one <laughs> by reading it on the screen. I'm having good fun actually doing this. It's yeah, it's good, isn't it? The chat stuff. It's good. My zipper's dead. Oh no! I got pranked! <laughs> I got pranked! <laughs> Go, okay. Drizala. You got me good. He tells me my zipper's down. I check my zipper. My zipper is up perfectly fine. Can you speak any German? Uh, they, will not shut up about German. they will not shut up about German now. When I was in school. Oh, hello, Yogo. It's a little unsafe for you here. Let's take you somewhere else. Can the live stream people see her? See this beautiful little dog? Have a look at that little thing. Hey, hey, I do Yogo. Jamie is Yogo's best friend. Jamie is also Crazy's best friend. And I'm trying to convince Jamie to get a dog, so I think everybody on the live stream should also, you know, you know what I'm saying, just tell Jamie. Tell Jamie he should go ahead and just get a dog because he's gonna get a dog at some point. Or he's just gonna steal my dog. Okay, come on, Yoga, this way. Come on, Yoga! She's like, why is that dog bowl over here? It doesn't smell like it's got food in it. No, it has a bottle of it. It's good job, Yoga. Okay, come over here. She's, she's not listening. Jamie, do you mind luring Yogo somewhere else? Because she is just wanting to pet you. Come on, Yogo. Good job. Right, time to punch another bottle of down. Then a slot punch. Dimensions on this slot punch are about three quarters of an inch by an eighth of an inch. Punch down to the bottom, hit the back, punch to the bottom once more. Hopefully, shear a plug. Now, you know what's funny? I made this uh, YouTube video about making this anvil stand. I did the whole measuring to make sure that it would work. And I actually messed up my measurements. The anvil stand is too tall for me. I can't stick a bar of steel between my legs. Even though that's what I spoke of, uh, or how I spoke, how I said, oh goodness, English is very difficult when you can't edit out your poor English skills. Even though I said I liked the idea of being able to put a bar of steel between my legs, got the measurements wrong. So I can't put a bar of steel between my legs. So currently I have a rubber mat on the floor, and it's still difficult to put the piece of bar of steel between my legs. Whew, there we go. Ah, okay, people want German. Let's see if we can do that. My dogs are playing over here. Let's get rid of this. Okay, guys, come on, it's enough. We're chilling out. Yoga. Come on. Come on, Pepper. Come on, this way. That's a good girl. Come on. This way. Good job. Settle down over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good little fluff ball. That's a good girl. Hang out over there. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Crazy. How you doing? Up in your place? That's a good girl. Okay, look, we're drifting now. Are you ready to film? Straight through with a 16 millimeter or 5 8 inch drift. Okay, okay. Put that up there. Can you give me a shout out? Brandon Van Dugin, BVD underscore Woodworks, has asked for a shout out. I have provided your shout out. Oh, we haven't updated the price. We've got to say current price. You want to try and work out how to do that? How are we going to get that sorted? I wish it was just as easy as like double tapping the thing. Shop layer properties. You know what? Because I've done it before, let, let me give it a shot. Shop layer, current price. That's just the name of yeah. the tap layer. That's not working. Chroma key build in, build out. Ah, here we go. Text. Easy. Oh. Hey, oh, got him. Done. Uh, I need a uh, little shot as I forge this on the horn. You ready? I'm going to be coming back around there. I need you on this yeah. side. Sorry. I have a scale burn on my thumb. That's the worst part of blacksmithing. Already? Ooh. 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 And it always gets in a place where you pinch the scale onto your hand further. It's just how it goes. So it's about like 10 minutes in, we've already got a burn or something. Like to for the thing. How far in are we? 15 minutes in and already burnt. It's very small though, I should be fine. I will survive. I might need to go to the hospital. Okay, I'm devastated. I think we should cut that out. It's not even a but, it's so lame. <laughs> it's so lame. These things, it's like, it's, it's so lame we shouldn't. Honestly, I'm embarrassed to talk about it in the live stream. Uh. Okay, watch out, squeezing through. People talking about me forging one, so I think later in the day. Oh, that's a one, good idea. One limited edition. Yeah, when it's like $150, we'll have you forge one. It might not be worth 150 bucks then, though. That's the trouble. I don't know. Maybe we should ask the person if they're willing to have one of yours whenever we get to it. Okie doke. In with the big drift. It's stuck. Now with the bob punch. Once I get quick at all this stuff, this is gonna, we might be able to like cut down the time it takes by half, just for practice. I'm gonna go get a dog bed for yoga because make it a little clear where it's safe for her to be. Bum 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 Yoga place. Come on, place. 
Jamie took a girl. Right, oh Jamie. Cutting and touch marking. Say like number two, like I'll do it right as I like break it off. Okay. Something like that. So I'm gonna start my cut first. The top of the heat. Okay, you ready? Bottle opener number two, made to order for two American dollars. Actually, let me do that once more. Ready? For two, for two American dollars. Let's update the stock and the price. We need to figure out a way to do this quicker because you can't do this every single one. Yeah, I think these first two, yeah. you know, that rambles on a little bit. The next ones, it's going to be bang, 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 ding, boop. Bang, 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 ding, boop. That type of deal. All right, you ready? Price. Price goes up by $2 to four, quantity. One, save. Hold, hold it up so I see the notification come in. Oh, it's just, there we go. Purchase just came in from Kings Lynn. What? what? Yeah, I hadn't even updated it though. So. That might be yours, the tech. I don't think so, let's check. People just keep buying these things so, so fast. <laughs> uh, orders, pending orders. Luke just bought it for two. Rats. What? I think he just bought it for the original price. Which is fine. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, he bought it for the original price. Okay, so I need to work out the stratagem because what happened is, is I went in and edited the product. Right. And then it pushed the inventory up and saved that before it saved the new price. Right. So we sold another one for two dollars. So you need to save, save them both twice. So I think what I need to do is I need to do this. Save the cost, then save the inventory. So we'll get that sorted. We've got to make another $2 bottle opener for Mr. Luke Watson. I shouldn't have said his name. Damn it. I'm so sorry. That's not good privacy at all. For Mr. L. Rats. Oh, goodness gracious me. I wish we could edit that out. Time hath passed. We cannot. Sorry. Mystery purchaser. Yeah, but it was spelled W H A T Z O N, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. It's such poor business practice to just die. Ah. Goodness gracious. We're making our mystery purchaser another $2 bottle up. For the video, Jamie, let's just. What do we do about this? Easier for this video to not show yeah, this whole yeah, bottle opener. Cause we'll make his bottle opener, we'll put it in the pile for the video, that we'll, we'll, we won't. Like exactly, it kind of breaks the whole continuity for the video. <laughs> Caught on live stream, Alex Steele exposes customer name and... There's already a lawsuit. The, <sighs> I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. Don't worry about filming this one, Jamie. Very good at punching out these slugs. They keep coming off to one side for some reason today. So hopefully I get better that as I go. 
Since we've made like 50 of these, that should be should be improving. Rats. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> we have problem. Mr. Problem. Look, a little bit of wood. Uh, so people wanted German, did they? I took one year of German lessons, and I was never particularly good at it. I remember how to say, my back hurts. Mein Rücken tut weh. Mein Rücken tut weh. And actually, I'm probably going to need to say that later on in the stream, because my back will start hurting, as will my shoulder, as will my neck, as will my legs. In fact, my legs are already hurting. I'd like to draw everybody's attention to my very unsafe, very fashionable footwear today. I'm wearing Crocs. You know why? Because I'm an adult, and I can. You just call me a loser. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. What are you wearing? You got your, you got your trousers rolled up. <laughs> These are scarfers. Scarfers. Anyway. <laughs> I'm wearing Crocs because they're very comfortable, and I don't care what Jamie thinks. Even if he thinks I'm a loser, I'm going to wear these Crocs because they're super duper comfortable and the risk is minimal today. And if I burn myself, it's my own fault. But as a public, somewhat person, I should say, do not wear Crocs while you're forging. Stop it. Never wear Crocs. I have made a risk assessment for myself, and I have concluded that I'd like to start the workday in Crocs. Safety Crocs. I would actually like to serious note here, guys. If anybody gets Crocs, don't get the Crocs with the holes in them. Crocs with holes in them are for if you live in Florida. If you live anywhere else, you get the ones with the holes covered up. There might be a market for that for the next product. Instead of steel 01s, that's steel 02s and they're safety crocs. Well, unfortunately, there's already been a video of making steel toed crocs. Stuff made here, I think, made a video of making steel toed crocs. And I literally cannot compete with the quality of videos and ingenuity said, uh, he Colin had. Colin has a safety tie because I have safety crocs. Oh, like Colin's safety tie. Oh, you mean more like just bring the product to market, not just make a video. Make actual safety crocs as a product to market. Oh, messed that up. Wow, I used to do this in one heat and it's taken me multiple heats every time. Yeah, go for it. It sounds good. <laughs> you want to know something ridiculous, Jamie? What? There's 2,700 people watching this. How insane is that? They're watching a guy in his Crocs, another guy with his trouser legs rolled inside out, just watching us just talk and chat. He's got no style. Jamie says, I've got no style. You can't see the, the buttons anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's finish this off. Squeezing through, Jamie. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm slow, okay? Goodness. Wow. It's actually quite a fancy setup today. Oh, okay. Da, ba, 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 ba. Thank you so much, Chippo Skippy. So pleased that you like the content. Sorry you can't stay for long. We shall see you soon. Thank you for the money. It will be put, put to good use for things like paying Jamie, feeding my dogs, paying rent, and paying tax. We're all very grateful. Thank you very much. I think my dogs are most grateful. 
You know how I can make my dogs more, more grateful? Here's what we're going to do, Jamie. Every time there's a donation, we are both going to go pet both dogs. So every time you give us money, the dogs will be petted. It's a shame we didn't have a little GoPro dog cam. Oh, this, I have a GoPro at home. Yeah, but we only have one of those. That's true. Yes. That's true. I wish we had a little, it's a, a little, late, little thing for that. Okay, one pet for Yoga. Crazy is over there licking her nether regions, but I shall pet her too. She deserves it. They're both such good dogs. I forgot what I was doing as a blacksmith and forging things. Instead, I turned into a professional dog petter and I forgot actually how to make things. So I let it in the fire for too long and it got over oxidized. It was worth it! My dog's welfare, their happiness was worth it. We burnt our piece a little bit, got a little bit funky. It's okay, it'll still look good. Right. Someone asked what screen I'm using. It's a small HD OLED. Jamie is using, uh, I, here we go, yell it out. Small HD OLED. I think my audio is decent enough. You think they can hear it enough? I need to concentrate on work, because I'm going to be here a long time if I don't get faster at this. Just so everybody knows, we might be here until midnight. I mean, Jamie won't. But then again, if the donations come in high enough, I could just pay you enough that you're willing to be here until midnight. <laughs> we'll have to have a conversation about that off air. <laughs> Okay, everybody, if you donate $100,000, Jamie will work until midnight. Okie dokie. This is for our mystery purchaser. This is your bottle opener. We shall put it in a special place for you. So what are you actually doing here, then? Well, this is that special one. This is not for the video. I know, but it's just another one, isn't it? It is. Eventually, it'll be part of the batch. And the big hole, another one. But right now, for the video, they need to see the third one plinking in there for, for proper continuity. Ah, I have something tickling me in my armpit. What was the last thing we filmed then? Was oh, the second one being sold? Yes, well, we actually need to refilm me on the phone adding the inventory. We had another donation in, Jamie. We've got to stop what we're doing, and go pet the dogs. That's a good girl. $5 donation, $5 pet. On your place. Good girl, crazy. Crazy, very much enjoyed that. So thank you very much to Redneck Aquatics. Very pleased that you are watching from San Antonio, Texas. He wants to see the dogs. Okay, just because you asked so politely. Here are the dogs. We have Crazy there. I forgot which one of my dogs is which. She's curled up like a ball. She likes to curl up like a ball. Yoga never curls up like a ball. Crazy does. Yoga's over there. Conveniently, as I said, that actually starting to look like a curled up ball from this angle. She's only half curled, I promise. Crazy's over there, curled up like a proper little, proper little papa. Sorry? Oh, look at that little ankle she has curled up. That like curled up ankle, that's pretty, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to be burning steel if I'm not careful. Okie dokie, artichoke. Let's make a live stream and a video today. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, whoopsie daisy. I need to do the product thing. Okay. Comments. Inventory. Bottle opener until you stop buying it. Sold out. Price. Right. Okay, raising the price to four dollars. Updating the quantity. Here we go. Ah, it's already sold. Hang on a second. It's already sold. The notification has come in. You know the drill. The next one's going to sell for six dollars. We got to make this now. I say we roll a little time lapse. Oh, lovely idea. Crazy. Come on, place. That's a good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. They just got free pets. There was no donation. 
one. Up on your place. That's a good go. Ah, it is problem. There might be one somewhere because I'm. I'll mess around with that a little bit later. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! We've got to pet the dogs. We've got to pet the dogs. That's from Mr. Richardson. Thank you, Ian. That's such a good girl. Oh, that's such a good girl. We pet the dogs. Now time to make a bottle opener. We are now making a $4 bottle opener. I shall update the text. Current price, $4. Happy days. This bar of steel is getting very hot. It is also in my nether region. The old uh, chestnuts are getting roasted. Have you got any idea where another plate would be? Ah, I messed up. Have I got an idea where the other plate would be? With camera gear-ish. Like in that little closet room. That is rolling. Yep, it's rolling. We're going to go try and find a little uh, tripod adapter for Jamie. Bum, 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 bum. Where would it be? So we're still here, everybody. Just trying to, just trying to look for something. It's just not there. Oh, free pets for the dogs. Hello, doggo. Hello, doggo. Any joy? No joy? I found one of these. Ooh, that's good. I probably needed one of those for a while. Yeah. Is that? Is that one? Awesome. I'll take them out. Fine. Okay. I say we abandon it. You might be able to just. Can't you connect it with a thread? Yeah, you can. Yeah, Jamie, look at this. Just take this off. Right? Oh yeah, just put this right. And then and then put the original plate yeah. on it. Right, oh, let's drift a hole. Drifting, drifting, drifting. Oh my goodness. Hello Christian. How would you go about, I, I, you know, just so everybody knows, I will assume if you leave a super chat that you are willing for me to read off the answer to your super chat to the whole live stream. I say that because you know, maybe a slightly sensitive topic from, uh, from the, the latest uh, super chatter who was asking about how could you forge and be a blacksmith if you were an amputee? I really don't know. Um, you know, if, if it was like your left arm that was gone, if you could have a way to cradle the material and you know, maybe have like a few, if you had a grooved piece that you could rest a material in that would allow it to be turned through 90 degrees, you can then hold it in one spot, you know, maybe kind of like manipulate it with the remnants of the arm, if that was like attached to some sort of, you know, prosthesis type thing, and then hammer on it, but I really don't know, unfortunately. I really wish I could give a more, more solid answer about how one could forge with, with, with a missing limb.
Wow, I'm so much slower this than I should be. Okay, I've got a little cable tangled under here. Come on. I've had it took it all over. Good. Oh, we've got to pet the dog. Hello. Hello, dog. That's a good girl. I've been asked to do the whole next bottle opener in an American accent. From William. That's a whole bottle opener in an American accent. The thing is, is then people are going to show up and they're going to be like, wow, is this guy mocking me or something? He's got an American accent on for the most, for the last 10 minutes. I'll give it some consideration. We'll have to ask the commenters. Shall we heed William's request that I do the whole next bottle opener in an American accent? I mean, that's... You know, then it gets clipped and then everyone's like, oh, Alex doing an American accent. And He's silly, his American accent is bad. Or they're like, wow, it's actually so amazing. What a good American accent. I like to think it's the latter. I've practiced a lot. Oh. Can you, okay, okay, so Christian's just asked again. We do need to pet the dogs, we can do that later. He said, it's actually not an arm amputation, it's a le lower leg amputation, so it's a question of forging sitting. If you're interested in forging sitting, go onto the, 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 the YouTubes and go look up some Japanese bladesmith blacksmiths. I believe it's, is it a slightly more common thing in Japan to do some forging sitting down? I know they'll often like have these dug out areas and so they'll work lower, lower than ground level. But if my memory serves me right, they also do some sitting down forging. Sitting down forging is fully viable. You can absolutely do sitting down forging and that's really not a problem at all. Um, what can help for that is when you're sitting down, I've done a little bit of it, when you're sitting down you kind of want to be hammering between where your legs are. I'll explain. Just a sec. Hey, bear with. Bear with and I shall explain with visual aids. You can see this. Let me make sure. You got a chair right here, okay? Do this. Bam. You got a chair right here. Forging. What you really want to be doing when you're hammering is you want to be hammering like here. So you imagine you've got your anvil. You want your anvil face to be about like there. That's going to make sense. And so a normal shaped anvil isn't going to work super well. And you're going to be better off with something that's more like a Sawyer's anvil, knife maker's anvil, which is just like a post, a big kind of square block of steel going up. That's going to be the type of anvil you want because you can then get in close. This you couldn't get in as close if you were sitting down. You kind of be in it skew whiff like this. It'd be a little strange. So get like a block anvil, have it just above leg height. Use a slightly lighter hammer because you can't get as much of a throw. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Forging like nobody's business. Make sure that camera doesn't fry, it might be a little close, right there. Woo! Almost paid the price for wearing Crocs there. Okay, Jamie, can you get that time-lapse camera? And we'll just get one shot of me throwing this hot piece into that bowl. You ready? Not yet, not yet. Okay, everybody on the live streams, get ready. The price is currently four dollars. 
What we are now going to do is we're going to raise the price to six dollars. Six dollars. Uh, on the website. And I am going to make that. Oh shoot, no, they're not on the website, they're on the screen. You can see it on the screen. And I shall update price six. I shall update quantity. There is one six dollar bottle opener on the screen right now. Will the notification pop up? Oh, there we go, Pennsylvania, USA. Thank you, sir, for purchasing the bottle opener. Time to make your six dollar bottle opener. I, I need to set it so the notification plays a cha-ching up on the thing up there, it'll be good. That doesn't work. Why not? Because the, the throat of the bottle of this is tiny compared to this. Oh, 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 I see. I see the conundrum. There might be a solution. How about this solution right here? I didn't know that was there. <laughs> the whole time. Magic. Happy days. And you just take that little rubber bit, you push it out, and you can slide that in. Much good. Oh my goodness, we've got to catch up with all these dog pets we've got to do here. Have you changed the uh, current price? I did. Change the current price. It's up on the screen. Good to go. We've got to pet the dogs. Crazy's broken her place. Come on. Come on, place. That's a good girl. <gasps> oh, that's a good girl. She gets a pet. Yoga sleeping, she gets a gentle pet. And I want to say thank you to James. Sorry you won't be quick enough to buy one. That's very kind that you sent us your money regardless. I appreciate it. Oh, Mr. Zach from New Orleans in Louisiana has asked us, what camera and mic setup are we using? So for regular filming, we're using a Panasonic GH5. And the mic that we are using, and by the way, can I say, I, Jamie, I feel like I can speak for you when I say GH5 is an utterly fantastic camera. Yeah. It's really good. Like, for what it is, the price range, capabilities are amazing. We really rate it. We've been using the GH5 for four years. We're going to test a new camera next week. We are going to test a new camera next week, though. The GH5 and the mic setup that we use for almost all our videos is a Sennheiser G4. That is Sennheiser G for Gecko, four for the number after three, and before five. Okie doke, it's time to forge things. Oh wow. Okay guys, if you think I am being weird now, just you wait. I'm gonna be live streaming for potentially an excruciatingly long time. So you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of Alex Steele. You're probably gonna see me slip a swear word because that's a very easy thing for me to do. You will probably see me scratch my butt crack. That's something I do very regularly. You will probably see me pick my nose. I do that pretty much every other minute. So join in for the ride. Because I'm just gonna be here making things for a while. Hello. We have to pet the dogs. We just got five dollars. Hello, doggo. Yes, that's a good place. Oh, what a good dog. Oh, what a good dog. Yes, that's a good girl. Listen up, guys. If you don't want to be on the page refreshing all the time, just wait till the bottle openers get too expensive. That's always that option. Because what is happening is every single time somebody buys a bottle opener, the price is going to raise. Right now by $2, but the price will eventually raise in larger increments. I shall show you on screen now some of the increments at which it will raise. We're going to sell $20, 20 bottle openers with a $2 increase. And then after we've sold $20, 20 bottle uh, I'm just confusing myself, which means I'm definitely confusing you. 20 bottle openers will be sold at an increase of price each of $2. From there, 
10 bottle openers will be sold with an increase of price of $5 for each bottle opener. Yada, yada, yada. You see it on the screen. So basically, you see the price ranges. You'll be able to have 20 chances to get a bottle opener for less than 40 bucks. Then 10 chances to get a bottle opener for whatever is the next thing that I can't read because it's too small on the screen for me. So the hope is that we've, uh, we create a little bit of a kind of supply demand thing going on. Who knows? I want to be making bottle openers for a while. I also don't want to be making bottle openers until next Thursday. So that's why we have the price going up because I'm not as young as I once was. Back in my day, when I was a wee lad, I would have said, yes, I'll make bottle openers until next Thursday. I'm now tired. Oh, to be 23. Jamie, what do you reckon? When, when do you feel you started to age? Wow. You're just throwing that out. No, when did you feel you were starting oh, to age? I see. No, I'm I not see. suggesting you're old. I mean, objectively. Literally, probably just like the last 12 months. Last 12 months is when last you noticed year. you were aging? That's when you felt like you were starting to hit the downwards trajectory? I've only just turned 27, by the way, so he's acting like I'm 40. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, you're saying something about the 40 year olds that are watching this stream, yeah, Jamie. Old as. Yours, you. <laughs> Okie doke. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So, so you feel like the last year, 26, is when you started, like, oh wow, I'm aging. Okay, watch out, I need a little space here. I think it's already happening for me, folks. I'm 23. I feel like I'm, I'm already headed on that downward trajectory of, of old age. I'm going to be so sore after this day's work tomorrow. I know it. My hands are going to be all swollen. Oh, my goodness. Someone said we missed a touch mark. We did. All, all of them have touch marks on. Whew. Oh, it's because the last one I did it in a backwards order. Right. So somebody might have not thought that I did it. Oh, you want to know something crazy? 52,000 people have clicked on that live stream. There's only 2,700 still watching. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's going to dip off. It was a joke, John. What? Said, oh, John was complaining? Because I called him old. I didn't call you old. He just called anybody over 40 old. So, you don't need to get personally offended, just as a group. I get. make it to that old age. Uh, you know. Are we still with us? <laughs> God, that's terrible. Nobody's going to buy any of these bottle openers. Hey, Yogo, come on, good place. <laughs> Mr. Wig says, Jamie, WTF, man, I'm 41. <laughs> oh. Ah, important question from Matt Edge, since I'll be live streaming through meals. Firstly, come on, Yoga, place. Let's go. Up, 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 place. You're going to stay there. Good job. Pet the two dogs. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. He asked, what am I going to be eating since I'm going to be live streaming through the day? Well, I have prepared, and I have bought myself two pizzas. Two? Why? Because I anticipate getting hungry, and pizzas follow the N plus one rule. Pizza is always better when you have one more pizza than you anticipated eating. So, I could anticipate eating one pizza in a day, therefore I need two. I have two pizzas. Okie dokie, I'm going to load up the page on my phone to update the, uh, update the price and quantity because we're almost done. I'll start off by updating the price to eight dollars. Get ready, we've not updated the quantity yet. You do not need to be frantically refreshing the page yet. However, there is a lag on the live stream, so maybe I'm wrong and you should be. I can't see into the future, regrettably. Oh, wouldn't that be good, seeing the future? Right, Jamie, do you want to push that thing over there so I have a little more space as I just come around? 
Oh, also, could you get the camera ready? Okay, roger that. Okay, duck. We can just, frankly, at the very end of the day, even just do one shot where we're just piling them all in. That is our most recent bottle opener finished in the dog bowl. We're now going to be selling an $8 bottle opener. I'm going to update the stock level here. So if you're hearing me say this, now is probably the time, if I can work out how to use technology, now is probably the time to start refreshing the screen because there is one in stock. And we're going to wait for that notification to pop up. Oh, we've got an order that's come in from London in the United Kingdom. Thank you very much. It's gone already, sold. Bingo bango. Bingo bango bongo. We've sold our $8 bottle opener. Just so everybody knows, I've got it on the web page's website. Page, web, page, web, web. Uh, I'm anticipating shipping these out in the next week or two. We have a fantastic customer service and fulfillment team in the Montana shop. So when you order things from Alex Steelco, wow, that was smooth. You wouldn't even know that I was doing a little plug right there. Wasn't even anticipated. Wow. Uh, when you order things from the Alex Steel Co., the guys over there will ship out your products in wicked fast time. Uh, so I don't have that phenomenal team right here in this workshop. These bottle openers are being made here. So when you order one, give me a few moments and I shall ship it out in due course using one of our sponsor's products that we use. You will find out who when I talk about it on the video. I, I'm hoping to do like a little uh, tutorial-ish type of uh, sponsor plug when we get to that because I really, 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 really love some of the tools that we use for shipping things. And they're super helpful and when you guys are operating your small businesses, I don't want you to have to suffer spending way too long shipping things because you are cutting into your margins and you are running your business to feed your family and it is so good to be able to Feed your family easier and save time doing things you don't want to do because there are people that love shipping and logistics and there are people that don't love it so much and they prefer making the things that you know they started their business to do so that's why i'm a fan of that sponsor which is ShipStation. you'll hear about them later in the month we've got a ship station ad coming up and uh, i can show you a little bit about how how we get set up to do that because we've got to ship these bottle openers and I've got to start from scratch here in Montana. We've got everything set up to ship things. Oh, they're not hot anymore. No, no. Well, they, they've just been the other Well, it's because I, I had to come out yesterday evening at 10 o'clock. No, 9 o'clock. You came back here to turn them off. Turn, went back to turn the oven off. Yesterday evening at 9 o'clock, I go, oh, oh, expletive. You run very good to thing. Yeah, I can rack it. The colors look awesome. Yeah, they do look. I mean, it's over-tempered because I left it in for too long. But there we go. Yeah, I went, oh, expletive. And then I remembered that uh, I left them in the oven. And so I had to drive all the way back here just to turn off the oven so we didn't burn down the building. That was kind of embarrassing. I'm soon going to need to take a break to take the dogs out to relieve themselves. For now, we are doing fine. They're settled down. They're having a nice sleep. Oh, have we got more donations? We need to pet them again. Yogo, no. Uh, 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 come on, place. I did the petting. That's a good girl. You've done the petting. Half the petting's done. Da, 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 da. Christian asks if uh, classes are going to be a thing. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way, Christian. Really glad to talk about that stuff. Are classes going to be a thing? I don't know. Maybe at some point in the future. You know, I don't, I don't really like closing doors on anything. Maybe at some point in the future. Right now, my skill level is not there. You know, I've lost, uh, I've lost a lot of kind of skill and knowledge of certain things. And so if I was to want to teach any classes, I would need to invest a, a lot of time 
in, uh, in developing my skills back up to the point that I could teach anything really that well. It's a funny thing. You know, I was saying earlier in the stream about how I've really lost my ability at forging bottle openers. When you don't practice something, you lose it. You know, when I haven't been practicing the things that I used to teach in the past, so I've lost those things. I also haven't been practicing the actual art of teaching itself. And that is a skill, and, and that takes a lot of time to develop uh, and improve. And so, you know, if you don't work that muscle, you lose it. So right now, I don't really have anything that I really feel I could teach that would be useful. Uh, hey, Alec, I'm really worried people are using bots to buy. Is there a way to prevent that? Delia, by the way, I need to pet the dogs. That's one from Delia. Hey, crazy, that's a good girl. Uh, is there a way to prevent that? I don't imagine people are using bots to buy. That's my gut instinct. You know, I presume it probably takes effort to set one of those up. We've only been live streaming a little while. I think it's just like an odds game. Everybody's refreshing, and whoever refreshes to the perfect millisecond and adds to the cart in the perfect millisecond, they're the ones that, that, that get to actually purchase the thing. And it's almost, it's almost pot luck at that point of view. You don't know how long the stream takes to, to refresh from us filming it and actually hitting live. So it's a little bit of a kind of gambling thing. And yes, I am sorry, I presume it is a stressful thing for you guys who are buying, you know, like, oh, you've got to refresh it, enter in all your stuff, get, make sure your Chrome autofill is set up. Firstly, that can help. Chrome autofill, get all that set up. I understand it's probably stressful. Hopefully, as the price goes up, supply and demand, you have a little more time to buy it. Um, yes, I don't know how we could prevent the whole big, huge rush. It's kind of part of the whole part of the whole thing is a little bit of chaos. So wait, I can't concentrate. I'm doing too many things here. Part of the whole thing. Sorry. Someone in the chat said they got the eight dollar one. That's good. That's good. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. What's your favorite food, Jamie? My favorite food. Yo, good. No, no, no. You, you just grab a collar and drag it back to it if you want. Something Mexican, something spicy. Oh wow, that's that's fajitas. where we that's where we separate there. Yeah, we had fajitas like once a week when back in the day here, didn't we? Yeah. So so for those that didn't know, ah, burn. Um, when I, we were first in this workshop. Because we were in this workshop for a couple of years. Then I moved fully to Montana. Then I came back, found this workshop was available, rented it. And now Jamie works here whenever we're doing filming days. And then he works at his own place remotely and does his own, own stuff over there when he's editing and doing those things. So in the past, we used to, I have a phone call coming in. Check that's not important. Ah, that's going to be important. I'm going to need to mute the, mute the thing to take that. So, in the past, we used to cook every single meal. I say we, Jamie, uh, would cook all our lunches here. That was always good fun. We had great ones, and he'd cook fajitas. I will say, though, Jamie, they were not spicy fajitas. I'm going to take a break to take a phone call. So, how am I going to do this? You know what I could do? I could unplug this mic. Or I just put it on that little screen coming back shortly. Or I just hit mute. Let me let me go ahead and do that. It's not those buttons, unfortunately. Da 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 da. Bing bang bong. So mute. I'm gonna stay right.
Unmuted. Ding dang dong. Unmuted. Yay. Right, let's forge another bottle opener. Well, hang on a second, I've lost track of things here. I need to update the price accordingly, don't I? So put this one in the fire. Let's see, I think we do need to go to 10 bucks. I have not, no. We at least have the price range, so we'll be able to keep track of it that way. So update the price. Save the price. We are now selling a $10 bottle opener. We have one of them in stock. Now. Rats. Oh, did it work? Refresh the page. It worked! Yip de doo. Success. Yes, yes, yes. We are now going to make our $10 one. Another trap in the United Kingdom. So what's, uh, what's in uh, Barker Street Forge now? What's, what's in Barker Street Forge? What do you think would be there now? What business is there? What you business is in there? I could actually tell you exactly. I know exactly what's there. Oh. Yeah. So, but if I want to guess and make it mysterious, that could be fun too. I think there's a nuclear reactor in Barker's... Wait, that's terrible. You can't say that. It would be like, you know, MI5 is going to swarm in through the asbestos roof, which I once fell through. And they're going to break in and they're going to see a load of scrap. There's actually just scrap at Barker Street Forge. My landlord at Barker Street Forge was a uh, guy that runs a scrapyard. Yeah. And, and that's what there is there now. Yeah, I left. They needed more space. Oh, they were always super short on space. Yep. And that was so fun that time we moved out. Oh yeah, flying the power hammers and the anvils. That was a good day. Drifting. I'm really sure to turn that the other one in there. Yep. We need to two. Only needs to really be one. We could say we're now on to a. We're now making a. We now just sold our ten dollar one. Wait. <laughs> right. You ready? We've now sold our ten dollar bottle opener. And then you can look back at me. Oh, I messed it up. We're on to drifting the hole, and I am. Ah! Take two. That's going to be very hot potentially. It's not. Yeah. We're now on to drifting the hole, and I'm feeling pretty good. I am worried about how long these things are taking me. They're taking me a lot longer than I anticipated. But the body's feeling good. I feel like I'm going to survive this day. How many have you sold? Total now. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We are five in. You sold five. How many does it feel like you've made? How many does it feel like I've made? Right now it does feel like I've made five. I feel, I feel pretty on board. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I, I feel okay. I feel like this is survivable. Great questions, Jamie. That's just the stuff I want you to ask. That's great questions. That's just the type of stuff I want you to ask.
Come around. Oh, you know what you could do next heat? Have the camera end on and see if you can like spin it while, while I go. Like, so you spin it as I hammer around. Crazy, you're good, no. I'm so sorry. Come on, come up, up. You can't be there, you got a good place. I'll take you to a good party in a bit. You make a good transition shot into a time lapse. Yeah. Someone call me Jay. That is how they say your name in. Oh, I messed it up. I messed up the joke. Oh, goodness. Then you hate it. You try and say a joke and then you mess it up. What do you just do to the camera? Here for a while. Keep pulling me out. Oh, yes. A little more? Yeah. This is the fastest one yet. We're making progress. In terms of the time it takes to forge each one. Oi, oi, oi. Pure scam for all I care, says somebody. Jamie. Just turned on there. Top mount these. How do you open it up? Yeah. I don't know how to do this one. Can they hear audio now? Is it all good? Bing, bang, bong? Yep. Right. Updating the inventory now. Refresh the page and start buying. There's one unit at $12. dollars i got to wait technically until it sells to make it. Oh, there we go. Do you want to grab that camera? Yep. How can I show that notification? Mark? Let's just go to the top of the screen. Very top, 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 top. There we go. Three. We didn't show that one. Either. No, I know. Ah, yeah. oh, the purchase has come through. Ah, I did that badly. Once more. I, I didn't. I didn't like the way I said that.
do it like this. Ah, no, I don't like that. I can just use a B-roll, just say what you want. Okay, yeah, roll. Yep. And it's sold! Just get one shot, one like hit for every single process. Yeah, so I'm going down the macro. Good, good. I'm really bad at punching these plugs out today. Leatherman. I've got a pretty raggedy slag slug. And so I'm gonna pull it out with a pair of pliers. Liam said, how am I doing? Doing very well. Thank you, Liam. Um, have any of them sold in the US yet? Have any sold in the US? Yeah. So somebody's up bright and early over there. Next shot, I'm going to be at the horn, you know, the drill. You update the price. Oh, good question. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. Damascus beer cozy. I don't think it'd be very cozy out of Damascus. Oh, we've got to pet the dogs there. I feel like the idea of a beer cozy is that it kind of insulates the beer so that it doesn't cool down as much. If it was made out of Damascus, it would regrettably cool down quite fast. Bing, bang, bong. Okie doke, it's happening. I've started to feel things, my energy level just dip down enough. Ah. It's time to dip, dip on in. It's not yours. Here we go. I should have picked a different flavor. I've got another flavor over there. Now we're gonna get confused. Here we go, I'll take the lid off of mine. Have you already taken the lid off of yours? No. Okay, okay, good. I'm gonna leave mine like that then. Well, I'll take the lid off mine. Okay, fine, I'll take the lid off mine. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I won't take the lid off mine. No, I will. Oh, you've already taken yours off. Okay. Oh, no you litter bug. I'll throw this at you.
Does the bottle opener not work on the can? Just stab it. I, yes, I don't have anything here. Lane, time for a refund. Oh, you brought two reins in today as well. Jamie, did you bring in two reins as well today? Yeah. It's funny. It worked! <laughs> well, now you've got to drink it. Oh, I don't, that won't be that good. 600 milligrams of caffeine. I brought three. That's in case things get really rough. Things get really rough. I'm making bottle openers for far longer than my body can handle. And I will be on the verge of a heart attack from caffeine ingestion, which is very stupid and immature. Watch out, Jamie. I'm going to grab this thing of water. Ba, ba, ba. When am I planning to come back to the US? Says Andrew. I am hoping to be back to the US as soon as we can get to Europe to visit family, my wife and I, because that's part of the whole reason we came back. Then there were lockdowns. My wife had flights in January. They then shut down travel. She couldn't fly. We're here in April. Let's do a dog check. Sorry? Dog check. Dog check. There we go. While I keep talking, so once we can travel, go see my wife's family, then hopefully back to the US. So I don't know when that's going to be. I thought I was going to be back in the US in February or March at the latest when I left, and here we are. And then what it also <laughs> depends on is physically getting back into the US, because that's problematic too. If I understand correctly, about the only way that I could get into the US from here right now is by going and spending two weeks in a country that's not in Europe beforehand. So I've seen some people do that. They'll like go to Mexico for two weeks to be able to get into the US because of their COVID restrictions. Um, the trouble with that is I have a lot of other things that need to be done that don't include being in Mexico for two weeks before, before going to the US. And it would not be particularly easy at all to do. Okie dokie. There's another bottle of Are you just time lapsing with that other camera? No, I've really been doing anything last this heat. I'm waiting for you to start the next one. Okie dokie. Someone said you look like Colin. I don't look like Colin. You know, it's funny because people will ask me a question and I'll just be talking while I work, but there's no feedback to know if I actually answered the question or if I just stopped talking half thought, halfway yeah. through the thought. And I was talking about something and I'm like, wait, did I finish saying what I was saying? I don't know. You just got to make a decision. You think that's adequate? Do I think it's adequate or not? Ba, 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 ba. Caffeination. If you are curious what I am drinking, it is unsponsored, but very delicious, and probably very likely to give me heart attacks. I've got two on the go now. I've got You're sipping lemon. from one I've got lemon. Lemon and melon. <laughs> you really get to test and see which one you prefer. What do you prefer right now? Out of those two. And lemon and melon as you're sipping between Easily those. lemon. Lemon. Melon is garbage. It's what? Garbage. Garbage. I wish I had the apple one the other day. Ooh, a sour apple, apple good. is, is good. good. It's good. Okay. Time to punch a hole. I 
How much is this next one selling for? Oh, I haven't sold it yet. I should do that. Wow, I really, uh, not, not, not making life easy for people, am I? Okay, time to sell the bottle opener. So that last one was at 12 That last one was a $12. Okay. So we're now going up to $14. Time to sell it. New price. 14. asking about what's going on. Do you think it's a good time to explain it? Again? Oh, what we're making? Yeah, like the whole thing? Really I'll re-explain the concept. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you to the commenter. Oh, you know what else we need to do? Pet the dogs. Pet the dogs. Ow! Oh, and the $14, $14 bottle opener has been sold. Thank you, man. Oh, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Oh, and you're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Another purchase from the UK. Oh. You said a question, it said, do the bottle openers get fancier as it goes on? That's a In good fact, question. probably they get worse. Well, you'd like to think they get better because my skill increases, yeah. but I will also get to a point where I'm very tired and far over caffeinated. The last ones might not even open bottles. <laughs> <laughs> just said I'll sell a kit. It's just a bar of steel. It's a just joke. a little four inches of steel. <laughs> That'd be terrible. One a second. Happy days, the $14 bottle opener is sold, we can resume making it. So, to those of you that are curious, what exactly is going on in this silly live stream with only one camera? This is happening. This is what's happening. I am going to be here live streaming until you stop buying the bottle openers that I make while I am live streaming. So, I'm going to make, pardon me, there is a website down below, Alex, uh, asteelblock.com. If you go to that website, Every time I update a stock level, you'll be able to buy a bottle opener. And every time somebody buys a bottle opener, I'm going to make it until either I physically just die, it's very possible, fall over, hit my head from exhaustion, or until you stop buying them because the bottle openers get more expensive every time we sell one. So, this bottle opener is $14. When we sell it, the price is going to go up by $2 for the next one, which will sell for $16, and so on and so forth. And so laws of supply and demand would suggest that eventually, no, that's probably the wrong set of words for it. I'm not an economist. I'm not an economist, mist. Eventually, I will price out the bottle openers from being purchased, and they're gonna get so expensive that nobody in their right mind is willing to buy them, which is good, because then eventually we stop, my, we then stop, you know what? How on earth do I have a YouTube channel? I cannot speak for the life of me. Words will not come out of my mouth in succinct fashion. Thank goodness for Jamie's editing, otherwise we'd have no subscribers. Anyway, eventually the bottle openers will get so expensive that nobody's gonna wanna buy one because it's ridiculous. Why would you buy a 10 or $20 bottle opener for $100? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Maybe somebody wants one. Maybe there's something cool. Excuse me, Jamie, I need to pop in from this side here. Maybe there's something cool about spending a lot more money than it really should be bought for. By the way, you don't need to buy a bottle opener, you can just hang out here. We're just grateful to have you in the workshop. And run this little experiment and challenge. Goodness, I'm getting tired. I can indeed. I'm getting tired. Goodness. I'm getting tired. 
you like a little carry, like a little carry handle there on the camera. Comfortable. Pow! Right into the anvil. Crack! Oh, in my face! One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Seven. technically our eighth, but for the thing, it's yeah. Hey, watch out! I need to scoot through. I've had three sips and it's very possible that I'm crashing. It is also lunchtime. Jamie, what did you bring in today for lunch? Um, it's already, it's about to come out of the other. You didn't happen to throw a pizza in at the same time, did you? No. Do you mind throwing in one of my pizzas for me? <laughs> oh, a little lasagna. This is what Jamie's having for lunch. Ba -ba 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 -da. What do you want? Oh, I think I will have that big fancy one on the right. Vegan. Is, is it vegan? Just spinach and ricotta. Yeah, I wish there was salami on it. If or, the pizza doesn't have meat on it, it's just... I agree. If that had meat on it, it looks amazing but it does look nice and cheesy, so we'll go for that. Sound off in the comments, folks. How do you do your pizza? I will tell you that if I have the opportunity to order pizza, I order it like this. Pepperoni and pineapple. Not ham and pineapple. Pepperoni and pineapple. I think it's great. Feel free to unsubscribe if you have a differing opinion. I assure you, if you had a differing opinion from myself, I would unsubscribe from you. We would not be friends. Bum, bum, bing, bum. Oh my goodness. Another one bites the dust. A catchy song. Righto, that one is done. Time to update our stock levels. So, the raising the price, we are raising the price from $14 to $16. And we are now going to update the quantity. And right now the quantity has been updated. Oh my goodness, and it's sold. Australia, Queensland, Australia. That's where the sale came from today. So, uh, another one bites the dust or something. I can just throw it back in the pot. You ready? Another one's already sold. Can you start saying it as, like, as you're throwing it in? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ready? We've already got our next sale. Come on, Yogo. Place. Dogs are getting a little restless. I've got to take them out here in a few minutes. Come on, crazy. Back over here. Let's go. Place. A bit of an unfair day on the dogs. You want to update the price on screen? We're now making the $16 bottle opener. You want to just set up a time lapse on that thing now? Hey, Jamie. Yeah. Oh, is somebody writing bad things? Ah, lovely. 
Okay, so while, do you want to put a time lapse on this thing? Yep. I'm going to get that, uh, I'm going to get the thing on screen number changed. Oh, you've already done it? Yeah, I've done it. I've oh. been trying to keep up. With it. Happy days. Come on, crazy. I'll take you out in a second here, okay? Just talking to the dogs. People can only time them out. You can't ban them. I think you can only time them out, which is... What's the point of that? You, they get a... You can report, hide user on this channel. That's how you do it. Oh. So if you want to get rid of someone, just say that. Good job. I'm going to do that now. If you want to get rid of them. Sounds very funky. You're gone, mate. He's gone. Oh, at last I punched a decent hole. I've been punching bad holes all day. This. Well, you can get rid of all the gear for a, for a thing. For a thing? What do you mean you don't know how to mount it? Well, this is for the rhino, but I need one for the tripod. Well, open, look at the tripod, and then take that thing off. It's okay. the same thing as the rhino slider. Yeah. There's a plate underneath it. And in fact, that plate underneath it will fit into this. Will it? Yeah. So whatever plate you had on it previously, you can, oh yeah, you can use this exact same plate and just put it into that tripod. Look, I don't know how you slide it in, but it should be the same. It's a Manfrotto plate as opposed to our ones. Remember, I do need to access the horn. Yeah, is this alright here? Yeah, it would be. Are you going to have the horn in shot as well? And let's ru let this run for a few bottle openers. Okay. Or I guess until we eat lunch. Not lunch, we don't lunch. My shirt keeps coming untucked. Fix that. Sheriff James just banned someone else. Whoa! Pa -pa! You want to forge me out a quick Sheriff, sheriff star? Where's the badge? Oh, I see what you're saying. It's actually really hard to talk when you have hearing protection on. Let alone listen. I find like when I'm talking with hearing protection on, it's always more difficult. Or I just forgot how to use the English language. Very possible. What was that? You see that? Oh, we gotta go pet the dog. Buck and Bill. Buck and Bill gave us 50 bucks. Thank you, sir. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff.
I'll then give it a little extra explanation. They said that two bucks every time you're going to be here forever. That's true. So what you'll see on screen is uh, this is the graph of how the price is going to increase. We're not going to just raise the price by $2 every single time. When we get to $40, the price is going to increase by $5. And then from there, what does it go up from there? After $40, oh, it's up on that thing. From there, when we get to $90, the price is going to increase by $10 a piece. If you're just joining us, I am making a bottle opener to order. Every time I finish making a bottle opener, I raise the price of the bottle opener by, right now, $2. And I add one item in inventory on my website. And then once somebody buys it, we start making it. Oh my goodness. Hey! I know who he is. Ah! I know who he is. I've seen his YouTube video. He got an Alex Steel Co. grinder. I believe, I believe I'm getting this right. Can you type in his channel name? I believe we're talking about the same guy that Buck and Bill, that is Buckin with a B, just, just so everybody knows. I said Buck and Bill. Oh. <laughs> just wait, when I get extra tired, you will hear the swear words. Buck and Bill from Canada. Yes, he's got a channel. Everybody go subscribe, Buck and Billy Ray Smith. Buck and Billy Ray Smith. Are we talking about the same person? Look badass. Oh, yeah, he's a cool guy. Look at that. Da -da -da -da. Chop trees down. What does he need to grind it for? I, I feel like sharpening things, sharpening axes, that type of thing. I'm trying to find the exact video that you can all go check out. Um, if somebody lets us know in the, in the chat, what is the exact video I'm referring to about the grinder? It's not my uncle. It's, a, it's like two, three months ago. You said he looks like your uncle? Spitting image of my uncle. He looks the same. Yeah, go check out Buck and Billy Ray. Make sure I got it all the way right. Buck and Billy Ray Smith on YouTube. Okie dokie, time to raise the price. This next one is selling for $18. And I will let you know when it's updated in inventory. Your pizza is going to be done in 40 seconds. Oh, good. Right, the price is now $18. And once that order gets in, we are going to start forging it. We're beginning to approach. Am I starting to look very pink as I get warmer and warmer? I think I am. Oh my goodness! Woof! We've just done it. An order hath come in. Thank you very much. It is time for us to forge our $18 bottle opener. And I think this will be the last one before it's lunchtime. But here's the thing, guys. You might as well just hang out the whole day. It is probably going to be very boring. I don't recommend you hang out here for the whole day. I am, after all, just a guy in his workshop talking to himself, rambling, forging things, soon to be complaining about his back. But if you hang out here all day, you're going to see me eat a pizza. Why would you want to see me eat a pizza? I don't know. You will see how frequently I need to pee. Frankly, I'm shocked that I haven't peed just yet. You will see how frequently my dogs need to pee. Frankly, I'm shocked that they haven't peed just yet. You might work out how frequently Jamie needs to pee. How many times he peed during this stream? I don't know. I haven't yet. All right. You'll find out how often I burp when I drink an energy drink. You'll find out all these things. You might even see me do a little training session with the dogs, because right now those dogs are just sitting there itching to do something. Okay, Yogo's lying down. She doesn't care. She's cool. She's like, okay, cool, I'm going to sleep. Crazy's over there. She needs to do something. So we might do a little dog training session here in a few minutes, after I, uh, or while I stop for lunch. I need to take the dogs out to pee here anyway. Might do a little dog training session, play with the dogs. And then we'll be back to forging your bottle openers. 
and we might as well just let the stream run on through. I will endeavor to mute myself when I do go pee. But there we go. I wish I got pizza today instead of lasagna. Don't fancy it too hot. Sorry? Too hot for lasagna. Yeah, it's the right type of day for pizza. Speaking of too hot, I'm going to open that door. No, I'm not. I'm going to forge a bottle opener because that's what I'm here to do. Let's see if I can get this one forged out in one heat. send a text here because we don't have a bottle opener rather we don't have a bottle to test out the bottle openers I'm gonna ask my wife to bring me a non-alcoholic beverage um, Jamie thank you so much In case you've only just joined the stream and you don't know uh, what happens, anytime somebody sends us money, we are required by law to go and pet our dogs. Well, I say our dogs. Technically, they're not Jamie's dogs, but... Yogo is my dog. <laughs> Yogo has kind of claimed Jamie as her favorite person, so maybe in some respects, Yogo is Jamie's dog. Oh, and I've dropped it. Drink, drink, drink. Ah, right. You know what we're going to go ahead and do? We're going to take a little break from forging. I'm going to put something up on screen, Jamie, that just kind of says forging will, or rather, Jamie, can you do this for me? Can you make a little text that goes up on screen that says, forging will resume soon, we're taking a lunch break, we can keep the video rolling, and then we can like mute ourselves and put some background. So if you do it on a clear layer. Yeah, but then it's black. I like the idea of keeping the video rolling. We, we then mute the microphones maybe and uh, put, click on one of those music tracks. Uh, Sorry, I think we have, I was just looping or something. I gotta go pee. And eat pizza. So, here we go. Actually, let's just do this. Easiest solution. We don't even have to worry about muting it. We're gonna have the uh, sound come out from the camera. So it's just not quite obvious. Yeah, it's just atmospheric work. So, anticipate that we're gonna be forging again in like 20 minutes, maybe. So, hang around. Or no.
made it Comic Sans. That's good. Oh, I'm gonna put that, oh. I'm gonna trade lenses over here. Put the wide on. Let's trade lenses with the wide. I'm gonna eat some food. Really, all you want to do is look at yoga there. She just peed. It's a good pee. She also peed in excitement on the floor when my wife came back. What's up, guys? Okay, we'll do some work in a bit. Gotta eat some food. Hey, come on, crazy. This way.
I'm just eating a pizza. Bucking Billy Ray Smith, thank Callum for me please, Alec. Callum sent me your video. He has very well and truly accepted your gratitude. I'll make sure I send him another thank you. I feel very weird just having this camera going while I'm eating. I'll point the camera at a dog. Not me. There we go. I'm pointing the camera at a dog. I just wanted to go and pet it. Okay, you can go pet her. Then I'm just gonna point the camera at the dog. While well, I eat like a caveman. In case you're joining this live stream, nothing's happening right now. We'll be forging soon. We'll eat some food. She's up in a box over there, to your left. Oh. She's getting ready to do some barking. Yeah, One pizza crust for yoga. Pizza ASMR. <laughs> it's gotta be so disgusting. Oh, yeah. You just imagine, I put, I just, they just hear me eat man pizza like a slob. Don't please don't do that. The mic on, that'd be just awful, so we'll spare you that. Richard Cave, shout out to his fellow veterans out, veterans out there. Shout out to all the veterans. Thank you for keeping the world safe and free. He asked about a Damascus Fairbairn Sykes Commando Knife. Go type in on YouTube, making a Fairbairn Sykes Knife, Alex Steele. I've made one. And that was one of my first uh, knife projects. And I absolutely loved making that. That was so much fun. She's waiting in her little uh, bark box over there. I'm talking with my mouthful. We're making progress on the pizza, as you can see. Hello. Sorry? 
Hello now. Feet back on. Oh, I might cut that thing up. Okay. Ah, screwed it up. You mean the whole time? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well. Apparently this thing does something. I thought it was just headphones like that. Apparently it's not. So, it's not that good. Anyway, anyway, what I was saying is irrelevant. I'm just not even really talking about it. I was explaining something a little long-winded and annoying. Yeah, it's better, honestly, it's better not to acknowledge it. What are you eating, Jamie? Cashew nuts. Oh, look, cashew! <laughs> 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 oh, good. It's still saying pigeon. It's still saying pigeon. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Hey! Look at that. Cashew. This is a good Cashew thing. outside, how about that? <laughs> I'm not witty enough to come up with something for it. Go. Tell the audience. Milk. You're the only person. You're the only person I know that drinks a whole bottle of milk. Good for your bones. Is there any way, Jimmy, that you can now go back and blur it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to. No, not while, the, not while the stream goes. If it was something that was published on YouTube later on. Once it was processed, you could go in and pull out something, but not right now. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm assuming you're probably not going to publish this anyway, are you? No, it's gonna, like, it doesn't have much living on value. No. This is only really worth watching and paying attention to if you're here right now. It'd just be super boring if anybody wanted to watch it in the future. This is... So we'll probably... Save people that, that opportunity in the future. Not being too bored, it's fun. I'll do this sort of thing in the moment, but I don't know if anybody would ever want to watch it. So, Jamie has seen Mrs. Steele, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is well, it yes. that what you've seen? Alex normally brings her in a black bag. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, we have to blindfold you. <laughs> Need to sit by the forge and get roasted and toasted. I'm on a very low chair right here. I think I just stood up all around me. It feels very strange. <laughs> isn't that how it normally feels? If you what? Jamie said, isn't that usually how it feels? <laughs> Having a pretty much taller than me. But I'm literally on a tiny, tiny stool. My legs are so tired. Sit down. Crazy. A boy. Come on. A boy. Yeah. Jamie had the thing off of his. What are people saying about you? 
to be doing blood tattoos. Can you fold the tattoo? stream. Currently having a lunch break. Thank you all you live chatters and viewers. Audio will resume shortly after lunch. Currently having a lunch break. Jamie, are those keys? Or should we send them nuts? Or maybe they're nuts? I think they might be nuts. But how are they called? Nuts? How about these nuts? How about your nuts? <laughs> That's nuts. You guys are nuts. What does that look like? Ask us straight what those nuts are. Dear people of the YouTubes, we are trying to work out what are these nuts. I dropped my pizza on the floor. What are, what are these nuts? Let us know. in the comments? I don't know. Quite interesting. That's a really interesting question. What about Oh, you didn't change the focus back. Well, it's a nice little ambient focus. Mm. Some ambient F2.5.6. Ah, that's lame. There we go. F3.5. Nope. Oh. Make sure to put it in slow-mo. I'll put it in slow-mo for the live stream. <laughs> F2.8. Or in the mode, just like Jamie likes to do it. <laughs> Look at that, that's an ambient lunchtime bokeh for you right there. Artie. I would like somebody to give me a... You zoomed it back out and it looks crap. Sorry? You zoomed it back out and it didn't look as good. Well, you can only get F2.8 zoomed out. Yeah. But it actually looked more... More bokeh. What, like that? Because oh. it's zoomed in? Well, it's because the, the closer in you are, the more, the shorter your depth of field, right? So it's clearly enough that it's even at f4.0, even though it's zoomed in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More bokeh. Mm. 
In case you just popped into this stream and you're wondering why it's boring, we're having a lunch break. Please see the Comic Sans text on screen. <laughs> Make the next one in windings. <laughs> so it's just symbols. And you can't read it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <that's laughs> I might just, instead of white, I might make it like rainbow colored test. Oh, very good. That's ah. it. We'll do something soon. Oh, that's good. They were. I'll talk about steel trousers at some point. And more people will do. You can buy the steel trousers from a steel coat and then have them shipped to Europe when they're available. The next drop is happening in June, and we have sizes, I believe, all the way up to 40 waist. So if you need to get a 40 waist pair of steels, you go get them. Oh, we've got to come on, let me read that. Somebody's asking about a sword, monkey nut streams. Your father's done about the last 35 years, always wanted a family sword as an heirloom. Can I help? Because it's expensive to get a sword not properly made. That's worth being a gift. Unfortunately, you'll be able to get two things. If you want an expensive sword, you're gonna end up being able to afford to, to, to get somebody to make you a really, really like nice top end piece. If you want a sword, but you don't necessarily need it to be a top-end piece, there's tons of people that are making really, really good swords for far less money. It's just that you're not going to quite get the same thing as like if you were to, you know, go and buy a twenty thousand dollar sword from a really fancy top-end sword maker. So I would. It's just one of those things. Is you're not going to get the top-end model without paying top-end price. So I can't really help, unfortunately. If, if the budget isn't there, I'd recommend either waiting it out or trying to get a lower budget piece. Sword doesn't need to be, you know, fifteen thousand dollars for it to be a cool sword that could do some cutting. You can cut a hell of a lot of stuff with very basic steel. So the experience of a sword can be had for much less money. Yogo agrees. Last time I didn't. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> ah, I love it. Somebody asked if Jamie, if the reason we didn't take Jamie to Montana is that he wasn't compatible with USA Power. Jamie is a 240 volt, 60 hertz plug in. Unfortunately, in the US, 110 volt, 50 hertz. I hope I got that right. That'd be an amateur move if I didn't. French or English, and do they have accents? Well, get ready, I'm about, to train. I'm about to train my dog. And so you'll hear what language they speak. Monkey cut screen. Can we make an heirloom sword for 15,000 New Zealand dollars? I don't know, I think we need to know more about what it is exactly that you're after. You if you've got 15K. You also need to know what that What the exchange rate is. <laughs> What actually is that? I don't know, let's find out. Uh, yeah. Every time your dog barks, my girlfriend's dog barks back. Oh, that's so funny. So just wait till we're training the dog. Um, question, will 7,700 pounds get an early quality sword? There are definitely people that you could get something really, really good for that. I'd keep looking around at the people that are making custom swords for sale, and I think you can find something for 7,700 pounds, 15,000 New Zealand dollars. 
if you need any you know, help choosing that, send me a DM and I'll see if I can get back to you. But yeah, there's tons of stuff out there for that. I think you can make that happen. Yeah, come on. There is a bottle of it in the camera slider. You know this? It's not a bottle. Here it is. No, it's not. It's for Titan. But... No, look, that's literally yeah, a bottle. Yeah, it's all it. But it is also a bottle of it. And it clips into the seat belt. Look, look at that. It clips into the seat belt. So if you're filming a shoot and you don't want to um, have the seat belt thing beeping while you're in and out of the car, you can put it into the seat belt. I bet that's what that is. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Looks a lot better than that. Yeah, look at that. Neat little multi tool thing. Came with our camera slider from Rhino. I bet that you can put it in your seatbelt thing, save it going beep, 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 when you're like on shoot and you're like ah, in and out. Well, I know it's like, like ranchers and stuff, they, they will buy a little plastic thing or make one, put it into their seatbelt thing, because they're like driving through their field can and they're in and out. Because I have to know. Okay, let's go test. I'm going to go test. Oh, you little. It doesn't go into the seatbelt thing? No, it's fine. Well, then it's a cool opportunity. Monkey Hut, can you uh, email through the website and let us know? And just send us an email and say you were on the stream asking about a sword. No, I said I'm not with email. Yes, our support guys are going to be like, hey, Alec, what happened? We had 5,000 emails to sort through. <laughs> <laughs> this is not cool. But if you go to alexdealco.com and then you go to contact, there will be a contact form. It would be lovely if you could use that. Making tongs, type in Brian Brazeal, B R A Z E A L. Okay. Type in Brian Brazil <laughs> tong making. Brian Brazil has an amazing tong making video. If he watches that and studies it, he's gonna be able to make amazing tongs. Are you still like six tongs? Not like now I'm Just just so you know, I'm not drinking it, so I got gluten on my face. Do you want some more? Yes. Okay. Can I have it all? Yeah, you can take it. I'll take another one. I can see the damn thing. Oh my god. That's very good. That's why you're talking very quiet. I don't want everyone to know. <laughs> 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 Is there no cold strips actually in the US? They call them gorgeous. Gauge. Gauges. Gauges. You really want me to get you something like that? Oh, because like you exposed me like seven times today, and now I cannot <laughs> expose myself. <laughs> right, I'm playing with my dogs. 
So, live streaming you are. I shall turn the camera and you can see whatever I do with my dogs when it's lunchtime. Fun stuff. I'll make it in focus. Just playing with my dogs. This here, what crazy's in? It's a little box. It's good for teaching different things. They call it a bark box. It's like a raised platform. So I taught her to bark in there. We're working on holds. I need hearing protection because I'm going to have her bark. Oh, I can put the actual mic on. Ah, no, I won't put the mic on. I'm not. I'm not going to be. Exactly, it'll be too loud when they bark. The plan is to hopefully do some dog sports with Crazy. So, doing a lot of, spending a lot of time training lately. But you can uncover the other So, yeah, it's not gonna be much in detail, just gonna play with my dog.
dog that's not quite the same as Yogo in terms of her desire to, uh, hmm, I don't know, I'm just not going to say that. You look at that dog, it looks a little scarier than a golden retriever. It has teeth that bite harder, so sometimes it's important that muzzles exist. If she gets hurt one day and she's in a lot of pain and I've got to take her to the vet, you don't want to bite it, so this, this is a good thing to have. This is day two with muzzles. Way
Why? You think it's taking me too long? I've only been. Uh oh. Does it look like uh, we've got the audio coming back through again? Well, it, it will. Sound. It, it is. It's just... Hello, that well, works. Great. Right. We shall sell another bottle opener. And I actually need to start working fast. So here's what we're going to do. I might start putting two pieces in the fire. Inventory. Okie dokie. 
raising raising the price to twenty dollars changing the quantity there is a twenty dollar item available for sale right now and it's gone Woof. look at it go bucks. twenty bucks so next one's what twenty two or twenty five well, here's the thing. Jamie thinks that we need to raise the price by five right now because if we're not moving fast enough to people not buying them. This is the graph that we currently have. Uh, we're so we're really exposed. We've only made 10 so far. I'm working very slowly. I need to really... Look how much better that looks. We look very pink. There we go, that's what we need. Oh, that's good. That's grungy. What did I just say? I have no idea. Still look very pink. Sorry? Chat's going quick. Chat's going quick. We're back at it. Right, we just sold our $20 one. I need to forge it and quit dilly-dallying. But here's what I'm also going to do. I'm going to forge a second one at the same time, Jamie. Oh, you? do you mind grabbing your uh, iPro? You sticking with the two? So I'm actually going to sell. I want to stick with the two. I like this plan. I like the idea of me physically keeling over and dying. They're generally not things you should. Sorry? Uh, they're extras. I mean, we can dump them in there. It's fine. At this point, you can't tell. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. the no, because they're extras. One of them was the one that we forged right at the beginning. Is that? Is that one? I don't know. One of them is from like yesterday. Like that one's from yesterday. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to include that. So right now we're going to sell another one for twenty-two dollars, and I'm going to forge two at the same time. Okay. So here's what we're doing. We are now selling one for twenty-two. $22, it is available for sale, in 3, 2, 1, there is one $22 bottle opener available for sale, now I need to properly buckle down and work, because uh, it'll sell, it'll sell here in a second, well, maybe it won't, we are pretty much reaching, we're going past fair market value right now, for like, you know, just any random hand forged bottle opener. We're starting to creep past that. Here we go. Away we go. Oh, and I'm dropping everything. We're not off to a good start. Jamie, do you want to open up a timer on your phone? We'll see how fast I can make these two. plug out in one golly it's been a little little while since we've done that ay 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 all right now punching the second one which i hope is sold goodness on a roll you know that means something really bad's about to happen too much good fortune is going on right now I got a plug out in one both times right on to drifting the hole of this one right here
Okie dokie. Watch out, Jamie. Can I say I'm improving or are we about to make something really bad happen? Because I just forged the loop on that one in one heat. We're cranking now, folks. like the idea of some longer running time lapses so feel free to let this one run for like another two bottle openers I like the idea of these longer running time lapses let it run for like at least another two bottle openers There's another one. Ah, whole organization. Not good. The mark of an amateur. Wow, I am making a mess. I've lost my thing. Where did I put it? It's underneath this thing. You're not drinking my one, are you? Just double checking. Ah! Drink, 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 drink. Oh my goodness. My workstation is so inefficient right now. Watch out, Jamie. In the pot, there we go! Can you chop your timer? Chop your timer, stop your timer. Can you stop your timer? Oh. Yeah, so... Still for six minutes. For both, that's really good. Let's leave that there in that exact same shot. Don't put it on this just yet. Yeah, well for another two. Yeah, another two. We gotta sell them first. No, from 22 to 24, then 24 to 26. You've only sold 22. I'll tell you what I've sold. I've sold 22. 
Yeah, yeah. So we're going to sell 24 and 26 now. Yeah, 24 and 26 now. We're going up to 28 now. So right now we are selling 24. There's a $24 one up for sale right now. Oh, hey, these ones are moving slower now. This is great. Hasn't sold just yet. It's slowing down, so maybe there is light at the end of this tunnel. Oh, it's gone. The $24 one has gone. We are now on to $26, and we're going to make them both at the same time. $26 one is up for sale now. Anybody want to buy it? Anybody want to buy it? Go buy, 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 buy. And it's gone. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're making a $24 bottle opener and a $26 bottle opener. Thank you guys for buying them. This is sincerely appreciated. I'd love to like say your name and say thank you. But I don't know if everybody wants that. And it's a little bit difficult to kind of uh, organize if some people do want their name out there, some people don't. So I will say this to everybody that buys it. Dear, please insert your name yourself. Thank you very much for buying one of our bottle openers. Much appreciated. We're very pleased to have you here, have you here as a part of this. Crazy, come on, please. Come on, doggo. Uh -uh. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. I think Crazy thinks the extension cable is a toy. She's very fixated on it. Everything is a toy. You make a little prey with it. It's all a toy. I need like one more thing to put things on. Because I keep dropping things. Price. The point is that if it doesn't go up in price, we'll be here forever. Yes, why does it get more expensive? Because otherwise we will be making bottle openers non-stop. The idea is how much is someone willing to pay for one? How much are you willing to pay for a bottle opener? For a simple, basic, yeah. crappy bottle opener. Hey, hang on. my bottle openers are not crappy, he's crappy. <laughs> that is part of the question. How much are you willing to pay for a 10 to 20 dollar bottle opener? Oh my goodness! Golly, that's a twofer. Ah! You gotta drink twice. Two chugs of orange juice. Get them down there. Jamie, can you do me a favor while I take this heat? Can you get that thing and wheel it round to like here for me? So I have, yeah, so I have like a little table and if you take the rubber off it, I basically want a little table right here to use. Thank you so much. Oh, I got the slug in one again. Holy mackerel. I dropped both of them once more. You want to get a tight shot with the live lens? <laughs> telepathy! Telepathy!
onto the horn. Somebody's been watching this for a long time. Yes, I have to use a sippy cup for my drink so I don't spill it. I am about as clumsy as a three-year-old child. I make lots of messes. Sippy cup is very helpful. Goodness, see, I'm making a mess. Ciao, Jamie. Another one's done. Okay, do you want to get that camera and we'll start filming? Uh, we should probably do another bunch. Yeah, another bunch. Good thinking. Good thinking, Jamie. The reason I suggested it is because my back is starting to hurt, but then I realized my back will just only hurt more, so yeah. it'll only be even more relevant if we wait some more time. Poor little Alec with his hurt back. <laughs> no, no, Alec, your poor back hurts while you're making money and making things that people want to buy. You poor thing.
to sell some more. We are gonna sell another two bottle openers. If you're just joining us, here's what happens. We started selling bottle openers for one penny. We sold one for one penny, then we sold another for two dollars. We're making them to order. So when the first order came in for a one penny bottle opener, we made it. We then changed the price and raised it by two dollars, technically one dollar ninety-nine. We sold that, we then made that bottle opener, and I'm gonna be here forging bottle openers until the bottle openers are so expensive that nobody wants to buy them, or until I collapse and die and knock my head on something from exhaustion. Well, until I collapse, knock my head on something from, ex no, I collapse from exhaustion, knock my head and die. That would likely be the order that would be required for me to die doing this. Hopefully that will not happen. The chances are that I just, you get very tired and I say, you know what, guys, I'm a weakling. I've got to go home. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Set this for 22 minutes, which should be long enough to make six. Okay. I've got space. You want to you just scoot her back some more? Can you scoot her back some more? Just have like a touch more. There we go. That's perfect. Will six get us to the 40? No, not quite. Oh, yes, it will. Yeah, six times. Six oh, yeah. divided. Oh, I've got to sell them too, right? Oh, we've got dollars in. We have to pet the dogs. Hey, seven minutes, six seconds. Thanks, guys. Thanks for timing it. Good. 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 Yes. The doggos are having a nice time. Oh, I've part. Uh, mm, not, not very... No, I shouldn't say that. My body needed to let out some cancers. Well, I just said it, I guess. Okay, raising the price, $28. We have one for sale at $28. Oh my goodness, it's already gone. Okay. We just sold our one for $28. Now we're gonna sell our next one for $30. How can you guys do this so fast? I have no idea. The $30 one is up for sale. How is that possible for people to check out so fast? I have no idea. Holy mackerel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here with us. You know what? I think I messed it up. Did I mess it up? It's 28. Ah, I accidentally sold two at 28. Nope, did I? How did you do that? I don't know. I can't, I don't understand things. Ah, I sold two at 26. Yeah, I was getting sloppy with the order in which I was doing it. That's okay. So we're making an extra one at twenty-six dollars. It looks like. Do you not think it's just leapfrog it? What's that? Should we just skip it ahead. No, we still got to make that bottle opener. Oh, you haven't even made it. Yeah, no. It's I accidentally sold two at twenty-six. And so one at twenty-eight. The next one, we've got to keep going basically. What we'll do is, because I didn't raise the price, we can just raise the price. It was meant to be 30, the last one was 28. So we could just put the price to 32 on the next one if we want to, or we put it at 30. But it's that we went. No, we're meant to be at, we're meant to be 28 and 30 on this one, and instead I did 26 again and 28. I think you're more behind. Sorry? I think you're more behind. Well, it's because I had two at 26, so it's pushed us one back.
Thank you, Mario. We've got a $10 from Timothy. He asked, are you using the anvil you developed? Yes, we are using the anvil that we developed. Developed makes it sound very high tech. I think design sounds more reasonable. Developed sounds like there's like a huge amount of like engineering and you know there's something unique about it. I mean, ultimately the key thing I want people to take away anytime we sell any product is you can do it with much simpler, more basic products. Like the belt grinders we sell, you can make beautiful knives on a $70 one by 30 Harbor Freight belt grinder. You can make beautiful things on a block of mild steel. You don't need this anvil. So I always want that caveat in front of everything that we sell. Uh, but yes, this is the anvil that we designed and we had produced. And we will have more anvils for sale soon. We're very excited to get them back up for sale. We very fortunately last year had an amazing success, amazingly successful first launch of the anvils. We had pre-orders open for a week, it went amazingly. And literally it was just like last month that we were able to fulfill all of those which was, I believe, a couple months behind when, uh, when that deadline should have been. And so we were behind. We didn't like that. We'd really like to avoid breaking any of those commitments again in the future. That's like completely the opposite of what it is that we want to achieve. You don't want to be slow to deliver things. So we're going to have more anvils to sell soon, and hopefully in a uh, much more reasonable time frame. Hopefully we can plan accordingly and get things going out there to you guys sooner. So you'll soon be able to get some more of these things. A few specs about them, they're 140 pounds. They, uh, they're like 52 Rockwell, so they're pretty hard. Cast steel. The steel's a proprietary steel from the foundry that we use. It's kind of similar to a 4140 type of thing. It's a mid-carbon steel. My anvil has been holding up fabulously. I'm grateful for it. But again, you can do a whole lot with a much more basic anvil. And we don't want to be gatekeeping you out of this craft. steels my friend these are the steels and you can buy them in June unless you're a size 30 30 waist in which case I think we still have them in stock we still got apparently there's not many people that are 30 30 waist my bad it's a story for another day how did I mess up that so much um, maybe it's a story for today when we get later in the day But we will have more of the larger sizes in stock in June. And if you were wanting a, a w larger waist sizes than we had in stock in November when we last had them, June is going to be your lucky month because we have up to, I believe, a size 40 in waist. Sorry? Thank you so much, Steel Kitten, for being with us today. Have a great day. Just so everybody knows, we're having a slight memorandum. Uh, no, memorandum's the wrong word. See, I'm trying to sound smarter than I am by using fancy words, but I'm not necessarily using them in the right way. Or maybe I am, and I'm just so uncomfortable about it that <laughs> I don't even know I am. We're going to have a pause on petting the dogs for each donation because 
The dogs are currently very nicely asleep right now, and they're having a nice chilled out moment. So until the dogs are awake again, no more pets for donations, because we should give them a nice time to chill out. It's frankly fabulous that they're chilling out while we've got all this stuff going on. Is there anything old iron handles do better than steel handles? Ah, so that's a great question. I'll repeat it in case people didn't hear it. Is there anything an old iron anvil can do that a new steel anvil can't? So old anvils uh, would have been made with a wrought iron body and a cast steel... I'm so sorry. Old anvils would have been made with a wrought iron body and a welded on steel face. Steel was obviously much uh, harder to come by, much more expensive. Uh, back in the day, so they had iron bodies and steel faces. So the face would have been functionally what you have here. The body, however, would have been a more uh, supple and, and, and ductile material and wrought iron. It's softer. So what do you get from that? Well, it would be... I don't know. I mean, let me see if I can break it down. You likely would find it easier to snap off the horn on a cast anvil than you would on a wrought iron bodied anvil. Actually, I don't know if that's necessarily the truth. Truth, because you weld on a horn a lot of the times, and that weld is an opportunity for a failure. In practical use, you're going to see zero difference between the two, provided they've got nice hard faces. You know, you're going to have a nice good, good rebound on your face on a cast steel anvil like you have on old wrought iron welded on face anvil. and. It's a block of steel. There's really not a whole lot to it. A block of mild steel would do 95% of what this will do. If it was the same shape, it would do 98% of what this would do. The, uh, the anvil doesn't have to be very complicated. You can, you, can, you can do some cool stuff with basic tools. It's, uh, it's a lot more about the skills and experience and knowledge than it is about the tools. However, I know full well how nice it is to have good tools. Which is why I made it, because I like things like this. It excites me. I find the shape of this beautiful. There are elements that I picked out that are really important to me. Like having bolt holes in the feet, so important to me. Having a really nice round horn, so important to me. The horn comes to a nice tip, so important to me. So I built the anvil for the things that were important to me, but it's a nice to have. It's not a have to have. Nice to haves are nice to have them. Quite a lot of people asking if you're going to go back to Montana at some point. Yes, I will answer this question again. We answered it earlier. When am I back in Montana? Well, plan was I'd be back in Montana in like February or March. However, we've got more lockdowns here. So, when am I back in Montana? When we can go visit my wife's family in Europe. Then we will hopefully be able to go back to Montana. However, there's still lots of travel restrictions in place. I mean, even getting back into Montana is difficult, even if it's difficult to get out of the UK. So. There's a lot of kind of COVID things in the way of getting back to Montana. So for, for here we're now, we're hoping to be back in Montana in June. We'll see how that goes. Viewers are climbing up, we're up to 2,700. 2,700 concurrent viewers. Ridiculous. The doggo is back over there. I need to sell some things here. So, we had a little errant price, a little, little double up on things here. So we've got to skip one price bracket. So right now we are doing 32 and then 34. Okay, they're both going to sell that. No, 32 is going up now. Yeah. And then in a second we're putting 34 up once it's sold. Okay. So give me a second. I want to make sure I don't get that double sale going on. Okay, 32 is gone. You guys rock, thank you so much. 34, there is one stock thing for 34. <laughs> How? It's already sold. It's already sold. Can you even add it to basket when it's listed as sold out? No, I don't think so. Wow. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. Fascinating. Okay. Good. Two more bottle owners to make. I'm going to have a sip of a uh, sip of caffeine. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Bringing him back memories of Barker Street. They were good times. I can't remember. Does anybody remember what time we used to do those live streams? I can't tell if it was 8 p.m. or if it was 10 p.m. But I was thinking about this as we were setting up. Literally insane how tiring that was. Sam and I doing those live streams until like one in the morning. It was stupid o'clock in the morning we were doing those things. Goodness gracious me. I do not know how we had the energy for it. Actually, if I recall correctly, energy drinks did have something to do with it. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Righto. The hydration has been complete. I will forge. My back is starting Someone to... Someone said if you put one up for $10,000, it will sell instantly. And I was thinking you could trick them. <laughs> How? No. Oh, quick, quick, quick. That would be the meanest thing. But it would be that would be... Oh, God. You'd have to refund that money straight away. In case people didn't catch that, because... <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I don't even want anybody to think that I have that idea. But uh, that would be something. This one's better. Nope. There we go. Now it's in the middle. Yeah, these plugs are not coming out super clean right now. Jamie, yeah. do you want to get some tighter in zoomed in shots from the live stream while I'm going and then like follow it a little tighter?
keep making this mistake. goodness I'm feeling it now my back is getting sore the pile of bottle openers is growing larger we were starting to feel like this was gonna go on forever if I was making these one at a time so what we've started doing is I'm putting two bars of steel in the fire at one go which is when you're a blacksmith, that's a really helpful thing to do when you make anything. Put two in the fire, because while one's heating, you can forge on the other. But we're now at two pieces of steel in the fire. So we sell one, we sell another, we make them both. Ah. It is now taking me six minutes and 50 seconds to forge two of them, which is a huge improvement on earlier in the day. How many have we sold? There should be the last two to make 20, I think. We have sold 20 bottle openers. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. What's your energy out of 100%? Out of 100%, my energy is 50, 60. You know what? I'm going to be a little optimistic. 70. We're doing all right. By the way, the live stream has been going for three hours and 45 minutes. OK. We're going to be here a while. The price is now $34. We're raising it to $36. We're updating the quantity. This is why I love Squarespace. You can do it all from your phone. The purchase has already come in. Look at that. It's already gone. We're now doing our next one at $38. Being able to manage inventory levels on your phone, get notifications right there. So awesome. Squarespace is a platform that truly lets you take control of your business because I think we should too much. Wait for the next one, push some more. That's enough for right there. I agree. Move on to the next. I'm exhausted. Holy mackerel. I'm gonna say like back to it or something. Right, those two are sold. Let's get back to forging.
Yeah, don't let it drag on too long. Like this is, yeah. it's like a transitionary piece. Just like beautiful, like, you know, it might be like 10 to 20 clips almost. Yeah. Like, I don't know, 25 second montage. The dogs are still freshly asleep. Freshly asleep, sound asleep. Oh, yo, yo. Ah, my back is killing me. Oh, here we go. We can also show this. Shut around. <laughs> These are our bottle openers so far. Hey, good job. Come on, yoga pie. Let's go. Come on, up on your place. Place, place, place. Up, up. Yeah, good girl. Ready? Thirty-six or thirty-eight. We're not actually at forty yet because there's glitches earlier. When you touch something really hot with a glove, and then it just slowly that heat pushes through. Ooh, I got that going on right now. No worries. You're counting. I need to fix my punch. My punch is a little skew with.
thing. Ah! Sorry, Jamie. Almost killed you. You got yourself a little dolly there. Oh yeah, yeah. My bicep is cramping up. <laughs> I am so out of shape for this. Oh, great question. I haven't said it in the video. Thumb's doing great. It looked way worse when it actually happened. It's. Can you tell anything happened? No, your thumb is well weird looking, mate. What kind of thumb is that? What kind of face is that? Ah, I dropped the big punch. So, my thumb is well weird looking, but it is healed and it's doing just fine. I'm frankly shocked as how, hard, how fast it healed. I think it was way more superficial than it looked right in the beginning. Jamie, can you do me a favor? Yep. Yeah, get a shot of me breaking this, then I have a task for you, please, if that's okay. You ready? Yep. In the pile? Yep. Could you please? Put this saw, this steel, into the saw and cut me pieces as long as uh, the edge of that MDF. So you just put it down, let, make sure that falls forwards, clamp it, and then you'll see the pace at which I do it. Loud noises, by the way. Thanks so much. On that I don't know how to use a saw. You know how to use a Wait, what are you saying? I explain it. Well, of course I've got to explain it. If I don't explain it and you cut off a hand... I've used this saw about a million times. Yeah, but you know, you got, it's, it's, I've, I've, it I've, you've got to be extra careful. Yeah, but what if you cut your hand off? 
Then if I didn't explain it, I'd feel guilty. He's doing it fine, he's doing it correctly. Yeah, six. I didn't tell you how many. You got six? Perfect. Thank you. Do you know how to weld? What? Do you know how to weld? Weld? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? So I don't need to explain it. <laughs> Great. I'll let you figure it out. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do, basically, is we're going to uh, make handles for all these short pieces. I'll have to put the dogs inside. It'd be pretty simple. Orky dog. Interestingly, you don't need pizza crusts for welding. I hope nobody's judging me for the amount of pizza crusts that I left. I know you are judging me. This isn't good pizza crust. Some pizza crust is good, and it's worth eating. In my opinion, not all pizza crust is worth eating. Some's better than others. There we go, I said it. We'll make sure we blind the dogs by keeping them here, out in the open. That's a joke. Right, uh, you'll need to grab yourself a pair of gloves, Jamie. You see that pair of uh, brown gloves down there? Crazy. Come on, Yogo. Come on. Yogo here. Crazy here. Oh, it's a good girl. That's a good girl. Good job, guys. No. No, no. Come on, crazy. Inside this way. Yeah, it's a good girl. It's a good girl. Super simple. Make sure they're kind of straight. Uh, I'm going to grab those other two. Just politely request you do try and avoid actually welding the table. <laughs> you can use the good helmet if you want. There you go. So it's going to be a lot easier to, to deal with. I'll 
show you one if you put your hood down. You push in first, I think. Got it on. So what you'll do, I'd hold the round bar because it's most likely to move. Aim at the tip of the round bar first so that you don't like poke it with the wire. So tip of the round bar, squeeze, then fill it in. And then you'll flip, flip it over and then just aim right in the middle and then just go right across. Couldn't be easier. I hope you've all got your welding things on so you don't get arc eye. It's a joke, you can't get arc eye from a screen. Good joke. <laughs> I'm joking about getting blind from welding. Clearly I know how to make good jokes. What, oh, you've already messed it up? How do you get it down? Here's a little, uh, a little trick that you shouldn't tell people you use when you have a nice welding table. Just go to the edge of the welding table and pop it and it'll shorten it up. Yes, I should cover my skin. You are correct. I'm distancing myself from the light, so my skin is safe. I need to sharpen my hot cut, as my hot cut hath dulled. Good little opportunity for some tool maintenance for me. it to the table already so that's don't worry about that just make it make it like fill it up so it so it gets there so like put it on the toe of that edge it'll hold it well enough Lots of people are saying that. It's just a gorgeous day out here. Wow, oh my goodness. Blue skies. Oh. Just opening the garage door here. Wows them. That's the type of day where you'd like to put your toes in the water, your ass in the sand. And I forgot what else. Yes, you would then have not a worry in the world. With a cold drink in your hand. That's what you would do. You put your ass in the water. No, toes in the water, ass in the sand. Toes. <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having some fun with myself. What are you talking about? You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. It's just one of those things, you know, like an inside joke with myself. <laughs> the delirium is setting in. I feel like such a chump. I'm like, oh, the delirium is setting in. I've not even done a full day's work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so tired after doing half of a normal fucking, normal 
<laughs> no! <laughs> it took four hours and I'm already swearing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Main camera. You want to do another time lapse? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm still doing five on time. Still doing C3s? Oh my goodness, we're going up to $40 and then $45 from there. So we are adding the $40 one to inventory now. I just want to say a quick hi to my boy Z the Blacksmith. Is he the Blacksmith? Is, is this Z the Blacksmith though? Like, I think I know Z the Blacksmith. You I know, know this Z guy. The blacksmith. Show, show, I want to make sure I know. We have. Well, I think I, actually that's the thing I just took down out of there this morning. From our last live stream, we might have given him a shout out. So let's see. Oh my goodness, the $40 bottle opener is sold. Thank you very much to whomever bought it. We are now. Oh, Jamie, this would be a great opportunity for the camera. I can then say, we're now, we've sold our $40 bottle opener. We're now moving to our four, we're now moving up in five dollar increments. That this is a momentous moment. We're changing the way that this goes. You want, you, yeah. or you really want to hang on to that to that montage? Well, I, the montage is not very long at the minute. It's the thing. It's, it's probably like ten seconds. Okay. And I don't think there's enough. Well, what we can do is film it now, and then you just put it later. Yeah. Okay. Because nobody, you know, that, that that then then you have it in the authentic moment here. You go. Okay, you ready? There. We've just sold our $40 bottle opener, which means that we are now increasing our price increase per bottle opener from $2 a bottle opener to $5 a bottle opener. So between $40 and $90, we're going to be increasing. So that means between the price range of $40 and $90, we're going to be hopefully selling 10 bottle openers, and we will find out. Does anybody actually want to buy a $90 bottle opener? No, right now it's 45. Start refreshing your page now because we've got the $45 bottle opener in inventory. It's already sold. Amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. That's probably a good idea. First non caffeinated drink of the day. Ugly doogly. Forward some bottle openers. Oh, I can get the dogs back out. Yeah, they're having a nice time in there. Yoga's just chilling under the desk. Uh oh. Wait, is that just sold for 45? No, we're about to make those. Okay. Hey, Yoga, come here. She just came out, so now I have to deal with this. Come on, Pupper, up on your place. That's a good girl. I have my hearing protection somewhere. Where did I put it? Aha! Found it. Where I left it, conveniently.
a great job at punching holes today. I found my downward spiral point. That's a very off center hole. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm gonna cut this one off and start again. It's happening, guys. It's going downhill. I have to cut this one off too, it's off center. Hopefully I can salvage it on the horn. Okie dokie. Somebody says turn off welder, good idea. How do you know we didn't turn off the welder? I'm very impressed and very grateful. My, my goodness, I'm very grateful. I cut off this. I wish we could play some normal tunes on the old speakers here. But I believe we would get copyright struck. And that would be uh, no fun. I've got to cut this one off and start again as well. Just, it's not going well. Sorry? Deodorant? You saying I smell? I almost swore again. Do I actually smell really bad? Yeah, there's, there's one up there. You, yeah, go grab one. Make sure it's not my favorite one. He just put his middle fingers up at me. Kids these days. Jamie, even if it's not part of the montage you're trying to film, yeah. if we just have it time-lapsing anytime you're not using it, yeah. it's at least time-lapse footage 
that can play a part of a, a later montage okay. if needed because then it helps just it's 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 all that you know like if you imagine you ever watch any mr beast videos I'm a, yeah, yeah. So like sometimes he's doing a challenge where he's just there forever, like he was in a coffin recently. You know, that thing is, he's got one camera. We don't have another camera. It'd be good if we should have got another camera that's just like time-lapsing all day long. But he'll have one that's time-lapsing the whole time. He'll tell the story like, hey, time has passed by just rolling a bunch of that time-lapse footage. So it's always worth having something filming, even if it doesn't fit that exact montage. I hit my finger with the hammer and it was painful! Let me go have a read. Fifty euros. Fifty euros. Holy mackerel! Thank you very much. Since I probably can't get a bottle opener, thank you, Anthony. Uh, I need to put something else to stand on because I'm too small for my own anvil. Another slightly off center hole, not as bad as it could be though. I gotta get something else to stand on. I'm, I'm hurting my back from like stretching up. It's not just yet. There you go. You got the shot at least. What do you need something to stand on? So when I have to put the piece of steel between my legs, the anvil's too high for me, and so I've got to like stretch up on my tiptoes, which then bends my hip in this weird way, and it's just uncomfortable. Alec with his uncomfortable fruit. Ah, I keep getting so close to swearing as if it's just a normal day. <laughs> you, you even done the voice. Then, well. I did the voice. <laughs> We've got the voice when we're like mocking one another and bantering about. And the voice is like this, it's very high pitched. Why, why is that? Why is it high pitched? Yeah. You know, it's just like. We're just trying to picture like there's some character that's making fun of somebody. I don't know. But anyway, it then usually involves some expletives and yada yada yada. It's all very friendly and jovial. It goes back and forth. Oh, but I was, you know, gonna make fun of myself for complaining about my back and not being tall enough to do it. Righto. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing things and stuff. Much better, much better. Back on this side of the horn this time. Would you mind grabbing that back to a lens? Yep, 
Got it. Now what? I grabbed it. Just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> I've never made that joke before. I'm doing something or other. Can you tell her to get back on her place unless you released her? Oh wait, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Silly me. I'm going to be doing this. Oh, crossed over. Ah, I'm dropping. dropping things, dropping I might have forgotten to sell two. I think I forgot to sell two. You sold 45 miles, right? Yeah, and that was a while ago. I think I forgot to sell. Do you want to count these again and keep a tally? Because um, if you see how many orders we have, there's one false order, which is mine. The most recent order number will tell you. 24. Yeah, that'd be correct. So we might need to sell these. I'm doing things that I've forgotten how to do. What am I doing? I'm making a bottle of now. How about you? I'll get my hot cut and I'll give it a whack. Sorry? The last one went for 45. So do we need to do 50 and 55? So you need to sell 50 and 55. Okie doke, so we're making 50 and 55 right now, slightly out of order.
clarity's sake. Oh my goodness, so funny. So, we will sell these, we will put them in the pile, we will sell the next two. So what we're going to do, right now, we're going to be going through four things that we're going to sell. So, here we go. Why don't you wait another two and do six? I, I want get to get hold of my rhythm again. Because I'm all, I'm all over the place. So there's four of them coming up for sale in a minute, is that what you're saying? Four of them coming up for sale here in a second. Because we've got to sell those two there, yep. and then we've got to sell the next two on from there. So, what we're doing now is we are selling dollar price 50. Firstly, if anybody buys this, thank you. Why? There's tons of people that are making beautiful bottle openers for $50 that are nicer than this. But I love you anyway. Thank you for buying it. Thank you for being a part of this live stream, joining us here. Are you having fun today, Jamie? You good fun, yeah? Yeah, it's it is good fun. Nice interacting with the chat and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's super good, super good. My back hurts. I have to say, I'm thrilled I'm wearing Crocs. Nice, like, it's like a lounge. I feel like I'm in, I'm in the lounge, you know? I'm in the living room, I'm just kind of chilling out. I'm starting to get a bit sick of standing in these, to be fair. Yeah? yeah. She brought some flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine wearing flip flops? Like, and you know, you know where it goes in between the toes. You get a little bit of scale in between the toes there. Ooh, that'd be bad. Right, fifty dollars. There is a fifty dollar one up for sale. Coming in, coming in. Once, going twice. Let's go. It's up for sale now. We'll see what happens. Ba bim ba dum bum 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 ba da. Is it gone? Oh my goodness! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. From Wash. Washington? Ah, actually, it might be. It's W A, but I think it might be W A in the A U, if you know what I'm saying. We'll find out. So that it could be our furthest, furthest one so far. Yes, it is. This one's going to Australia right here. So this is a $50 item into the dog bowl. What happened to my bottle opener? I'm so sorry, the dog ate it. It was in the dog bowl, there's nothing I could do. Next up, we are selling our $55 bottle opener. Whoever buys this, thank you very much. You're awesome, it's a fun experiment, fun challenge. Do you have a message for them? Um. Hope you open some good bottles with it. Yes. What should they open? Oh, you know. Bottle of. Oh my goodness! Hey, hey, look at that. Thank you very much. Very grateful for the purchase. What's that place called? I don't know. I couldn't tell if that was Cambridge. We've got to be careful. We don't want to actually I know, say I it out loud. I don't know if that was the name or the place. I thought it was the place. That's a cool, cool place for a ah, It's a really cool, really cool place name. It, so it's, he's in Cambridgeshire, but there's just a cool place name in Cambridgeshire. Can I tell you, it sounds cool. Thank you very much. At. <laughs> you know when you try and like, you want to make up something fake in your head, but you're looking at the actual thing, and your brain, because I'm trying to make a fake address, like, okay, hang on. Thank you very much, Mr. I can't, I'm trying to make up a fake name that's not at all influenced by the actual name. But invariably, I'm influenced by it. So if his name was, you know, 
I, I can't make a fake name. If his I'm, name was Trevor. If his name was Trev, I'd be like, him... I'd be likely to call him. Brick. <laughs> oh, we're selling two more before I make these things. I'm going crazy. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We're now selling our $60 bottle opener. You guys are awesome, thank you very much. There's tons of awesome people you can buy bottle openers from. I hope you check them out as well. That one's 60. We're going up for 60 right now. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm now gonna add the stock level. There's one stock up for $60, and it's gone. Thank you very much. That's awesome of you. Thank you guys so much. It is now time to go to $65. And we are gonna get making. You guys are freaking awesome. <laughs> wow. It's gone. Thank you. Let's get to making. That is correct. Next price, $70. and you can follow it around the screen a little too. Yeah, that's true. Righty ho, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm not doing a good job of punching these holes. I'm fallen from my abilities of the past. Wow, I've made such a mess of that. Okay, I'm going to be at the drifting plate now, Jamie. My drift is getting a little buggered on the tip. Is that a swear word? Buggered? We should just give up and start swearing. I mean, <laughs> does anybody under the age of 12 have the patience to keep watching through this? Honestly, let's be frank. Does anybody under the age of eight? <laughs> at, what age, at what age is it appropriate for kids to hear somebody swearing? 
I fucking doubt it to be fair. Well, Jamie's gone ahead and Jamie's gone ahead. <laughs> He's gone ahead and fucking done it. <laughs> wow. My drift is all messed up, so we're gonna give it a grind here on the grinder. That you can't see. Ah, I dropped my thing. Whoop. Imagine a spinny thing that you can buy at alexfieldco.com. And it goes. <laughs> That's the best thing. Okay, look. Back to the thing that what's it? To do the thing we do. Okay, coming through, Mr. Popple. Ah! What's that? My friend Chris is in the chat. Oh, good. He's terrible at playing poker, but he's a nice enough guy. <laughs> Does that mean he beats you every time you play him? No, he's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means he beats you every time you play him. <laughs> uh. Do you want to move the camera a little bit so I don't whack it with a hammer? What, what you're about to do now? Whack a camera with the hammer if it's yeah, not moved. Where? Here. See, I'm putting that one inch drift in there, or it's actually larger, it's inch and a quarter drift. But I have it over a one inch hole, and that's a super quick way of making sure the sizing on your bottle opener is okay. Because if your bottle opener loops about an inch, your sizing is pretty good, and it'll open your bottles. It doesn't have to be exactly there. What's that? 
the guy who bought the, um, the one from Cambridge, he said that you can say the name of the place. Ah, what was it's it? War Boys. War Boys. Yeah, we had a customer from War Boys buy a bottle opener, and we thought that was just the coolest place name. How cool is that? War Boys. Where do you live? War Boys. before you go back to Montana. Oh, I really, really want to do a collab with Colin. It's just a question of if we can find a good enough product project for it. So if you have an idea for what I can help Colin with. Honestly though, it's kind of like asking a toddler to help Michelangelo with a painting. It's like, hey, toddler, help me with this painting. Hey, Alec, help me build a jet engine. It doesn't really make sense. It's like a toddler walking up to Da Vinci and making some strokes on his painting. I mean, you could hardly make a pen work, and you didn't even make the pen. Exactly, I didn't even make the insides. <laughs> I didn't even make the insides, and I couldn't make the pen work that well. It took me a lot of fussing to get it to work. So I don't know how much I can contribute to him making a jet engine or a screw tank or similar feats of engineering mastery. I could stand in the corner and go, ooh, ah. Watch out with that angle, I don't want to show off my cleavage too much. What? Watch out with that angle, I don't want to show off my cleavage too much. Yeah, is that even funny? I mean, it just sounds crass now I say it. Like, it just seems lame. Like, a, just a really lame attempt at humor. What's new? Yeah, it's, it's normal. It's just a little more crass because it's later in the day and I've kind of just got comfortable with the fact that there's people watching and I've forgotten about it. Oh, you've disconnected the camera. Uh, it was the Viltrox. The old Viltrox. Is it back on? Yeah, I will accept. That was just a lame joke. That wasn't that good. <laughs> More of a crotch shot. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. What do you mean a crotch shot? More like a crook shot. Oh, hey! Hey! Right here. <laughs> It would have worked better if you had Crocs as well. Yeah. You've got to get a pair like this. You should have given me that one a bit long. <laughs> Why am I wearing Crocs, you might ask? Because I want to feel comfortable, like extra comfortable. I'm like extra relaxed for the day. There we go. Well, that's a good punch tool. Top down? That's a great idea. Uh, we'll, we'll do it in like 10 minutes once we change this angle. Yeah, we just put it like straight across. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move this out of the way. Perfect. We'll do it in a bit. Have you been hearing if Crazy's doing any whining? Sounded pretty quiet? Oh, Good. Last time I checked, it looked like she was pretty comfortable and doing okay. Did I sell 
these. Jamie, I don't think I sold these, did I? I didn't sell these. We've got to sell them. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I mess up, like at the end of the week, I'm going to have to do some serious catch up as I go to ship these things. But I lose count and I sell more than I actually made. But I don't think I sold these. Let's sell these things real fast. Oh yeah, she's doing great. She's just sleeping. Oh, she was upside down. I love that. It's the best with an upside down like this. Okay, we are selling one for seventy dollars. Jamie, for your records, I'm adding one in stock at seventy dollars. And it's gone. Thank you, sir, from California. Now we're doing the seventy-five dollar. Seventy-five dollar bottle opener. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on, it's gone already. Mess the math up so badly on this. Uh, what do you mean? That shouldn't be 90, that should be 80. 5 times 10. Wait, yeah. so something's gone wrong because we've got 30 of them. Yes. But we're only at 75. Uh, this, I might be doubling stuff up at one point or another. Okay. By accident. I don't know. We're just it doesn't matter about this tally anymore, does it really? Well, it's just so, so that we... Well, how about you do this? Every, how about you write down the actual numbers of each one that we sell? Right. So that then, like, when we make one, we can see, oh, we've made one, that was a 70. Yeah. And as if it's the, the skew is the price, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you, like, you just write down the number 70. We just sell 75. We just sold 75. Increase. Three more before the next increase. Ah. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Oh my goodness. Little girl goes sleeping away. Oh my goodness, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Oh, yes, you are. See, now you're curled up in a ball as well.
little rough. That one needs another heat. What is it? Yo -yo. Oh, that is cool. That's a really, really cool idea. Can I repeat it in case you didn't hear me? Sorry? You might not have heard me, do you want to repeat it? Yeah, so Jamie's just said that a commenter has given us the idea of making a yo yo. I'm going to add that to the old ideas list because I like the sound of that. Thank you to you, Mr. Commenter. sell another two. Thank you all for being here. We're still going. Oh. You know what? I actually need to go have a pee. I'm going to go have a pee and then we're going to add a product in stock. I shall see you shortly.
so they didn't hear me tinkling into the old ivory. So is that what it is? Is it ivory? Ivory. What's, there's a nickname for the toilet. It's, it's not an ivory. Ivory or piano keys? Um, porcelain. Yeah, into the porcelain. Very good. Right, so I'll make these two, and then I'm taking the dogs for their own urination session. It might just be a really long delay. Yeah, porcelain is what people are saying. So the price now, Jamie, is 85. Oh, you wanna do that? It's gonna drop on my head <laughs> when that magnet goes off. Donk. Get some exercise in. Lat pull downs. Oof, yep. Yeah. I'm feeling burn. <sighs> Trying to work out how you'll get it all off. Well, I'm wondering because that obviously has a cage and everything attached to it. Yeah, you'll need it all off to be safe. You're right. Geometry on this punch is a little funky because it's not shearing plugs all that easily. So I might have made it wrong. Maybe it needs to be more obtuse.
my goodness. yo-yo idea into the old uh, the old ideas list here making a yo-yo This whole challenge is going to be done by the time that camera is ready. Ah. Sure, you might not be using a different. Uh, oh, it's. You need a longer screw. Huh.
and another one bites the dust. Because the screw, if it's in so deep you can't turn this, because it like blocks it. So it's just on. But huh. It's not coming off. That's weird. Um, well, we're about to be at the $90 sale. Okay. We could film that retroactively if we wanted to, actually. Is that the $90 one? No, this is an 85, I think. The next one's 90. I'm gonna go take the dogs out. Um, well, I might as well wait for a second, this thing. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. We'll finish this, we'll sell it, we'll then talk about the next price jump. Grab some C1. Go from now. It's not hot yet. So this is the $85 bottle opener. And I'm starting to feel it. It's funny. Because why are you not doing this at the next stage, not the 85? Because this will be like our talking segment into. We're doing it at 85, talking segment into 90. That's the idea. But wouldn't it be 90 into 100? No, like we're now about to get into the $10 increments, is the idea. But we're not, we've got one more file, haven't we? I'm a moron. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, I was wondering why you've only got one of the five. I'm just finishing up the 85. Yeah, wait. No, 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 we're about to sell one for 90. This is the $85 one. I'm about to sell the $90 one and make the $90 one. So this makes sense. Yeah, this is good. So what is that? 85. This makes sense, because now once we've done this, we now jump to a $10 increase on the $90 one. No, it doesn't. It does. The difference between 85 and 90 is $5 now. Yeah, which means we've sold this at 85. Which means that now we have to go up in $5 to sell the next one. You've already gone up $5. We're going up to $10 after 90. So you need to make one more, which is the 90, and then it goes up $10 to 100. Yeah, from there. Yeah, from the next one, not that one. That's 85. I know. <laughs> Hang on a second now. Does it make a difference there? Yeah. Because once we make the $90 one, we're now at a $10 increase. I know, but that's We're not about the $90 to start one. jumping to a $10 but increase. But that's not the $90 one. That's the $85 one. I know, it's not the $90 one. I'm saying we're about to start our $10 increase. You Brian. need to drink some water. Yes is the answer, I need to drink some water. Too much water for you. Yep. Okay. I'm confused. Dot com. Wait, is there a website called I'm confused.com, the nation's number one? No, that's sportsdirect.com. <laughs> Wait, no, there's a website that's confused.com. They're all saying I'm right. They're all saying you're right? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'm confused.com, <laughs> nation's number one. Sports Direct. Loud noises coming in. So I had Jamie weld on those bars, but I, I, I set the measurement too long when we cut them. Loud noise. You should have cut these a little bit shorter because they, uh, they balance out in a weird way on the first couple of ones. So I'm just shortening these down. Loud noise. Cool. You heard it. Wow.
okie doke. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell one, which will be our $90 one. I'm only going to make one at a time this one. And I'm going to have this bleed into a little bit of a break. Take dogs out. I will then take five or ten minutes. Hopefully, I will <laughs> regain some... Well, I want to make one. You want to make one? I want to make one. You want to make one while I take a break? Well... I intend for the next five or ten minutes to be yeah, spaced out. but you're going to have to tell me what to do. <laughs> That's what I mean. I intend to be spaced out. <laughs> so I wouldn't be a very good teacher. I could teach you after I take my break. That's what I mean, yeah. And that's a good reason for people to stay hanging on while I take a break. And hopefully regain a couple of IQ points. Yeah, you need that. Yes. <laughs> How are those carbon monoxide detectors going? Is that... Is there, we got a little carbon monoxide going on right here? Am I going slightly hypoxic? Is it hypoxic you go when you carbon monoxide? Maybe there's a slightly different term, but... I am at least clear enough in the head to know that when you inhale carbon monoxide, your voice goes really high-pitched. And you talk, talking like this. And carbon monoxide is also the gas that you put in balloons. Uh, what? I'm just messing around. I'm pretending carbon monoxide is, uh, is helium. Hey, actually, public service announcement. If you have a forge, you must have a carbon monoxide detector in your workshop. Highly recommend it, because you could die otherwise. Somebody's had an idea. I don't know how we've never had this idea for a project. A wine bottle opener. You know, like with the mechanics, where they like... Oh, with the actual mechanics? Yeah. I was about to say, you edited a video of me making a wine bottle opener no, the other like month. Like an actual one. Like an actual one? That's a great idea. That would be a cool project. Yeah, because some interesting mechanics in it. Yeah. You want to know something? I never knew how an actual wine bottle opener like that worked until like a few weeks ago. Yeah. I didn't know that you levered it out. You know those ones with like the fancy thing and you lever it? I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was just like you put it in and then pulled. What, the and then my wife the was... The just for show. I didn't even know. I, I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind. I thought it was like a can opener or something weird on that end. It, I'd never processed it until my wife opens a bottle and she levers the thing out. And I go, oh, there we go. That makes sense. I need to sell this one first before I make it. Okay, we're now selling one. Ninety dollars. Stock level one. Whoever buys this, you sir, are awesome. And I'm going to make it for you right now. Oh, it's starting to take a while. Oh, it's sold. I was about to say it's starting to take a while before it's sold. It's gone. Well, it'll be interesting if mine for $95 still sells instantly. Now, yours would be $100. Nah. Oh, yeah, it would. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I almost thought... You almost... I almost thought, what are you on about now? Yeah, that's fitting. $100. The thing is, then we've got to keep track of exactly which is which. You must remember, right now we have a pot over them. Okay. You know, we're not we're not allocating the exact dollar amount to it. Yeah. It's, well, we'll it, it'll be impossible to, to keep side. track of. We'll put yours to the side, and then we'll just make a note, like, hey, this is a Jamie's well, actually, cube. It just won't have a touch mark. Good point. Can I make a J out at the end of that? Uh, yeah, we could chisel in a J. Yeah. With something. With something. It's a shame you haven't got the letters, Sams. Yeah, they're in, they're in Montana. Or we could take the ball bar and carve in a J afterwards. those stupid things on my fingernail. You know on your cuticles? See your cuticles? Like when you've got a little bit of, bit of skin that's hanging up? One of those... those buggers to deal with. And some of the things you do... What? Never take 
pair of dirty Leatherman scissors onto your fingernails? Not to a cuticle. Let's just go to the belt grinder in a bit. Okie dokie, now making the $90 one. Is that thing filming? No. I'm gonna film at the end. Ah, yes. I don't actually know what you say. You know when you say, ah, yes, without actually knowing what the other person said? That just happened. This is why I need a break. Literally no harm time lapsing this anyway, it's just more time lapse footage. Even if it's while you're holding it and it's shaky. saying ear protection, Jamie. I've got put it on. Why is that? Good enough. What? Looks like crap. I'm gonna cut it off. Start again. What are you talking about? Look at it. It's great. It's all off to the center, off to the one side, and wonky. Ah, uh, that's a good thing. Let me try fixing it. If not, I've got to cut it off and start again. It is a little uh, mm, funky, funky. Oh, current price is 90. By the way, I'm gonna fix that.
to the encouragement on fixing it, it looks nice again. <laughs> it did not take very long. Yes, and when something is bent, it generally requires hammering to fix it. Who would have thought? <sighs> we need to make sure we capture some of my descent into madness in that video. Because it's happening. The old work stamina is uh, left. Started to develop some chub here on the old hips. Well, it's going to start, the price is going to start increasing quite rapidly. Yes. What am I doing now? Ah. Well, my spiral into madness is beginning. This is our $90 bottle opener. Somehow people are still buying bottle openers. What does that mean though? What's the significance of 90? And this bottle opener going into our dog bowl signifies that we are now not jumping up in price by $5 but we're moving to a $10 jump in price. Which means things are getting ridiculous. I'm very grateful that people were buying this many bottle openers for that much money, but now the next one is gonna be $100. Whoever buys this, you're awesome and you're insane. Thank you. I do not know what words I should put out of my mouth because I'm exhausted. My brain is functioning so poorly. We've got this live stream going. I can barely put together a sentence. For whatever reason, there's 2,300 people that want to listen to me ramble like an idiot. What we're going to do now is teach Jamie how to forge a bottle opener and whoever buys our $100 bottle opener is going to get Jamie's first forged bottle opener as well as one of my own. I am going to fall asleep on my feet today because it's barely the middle of the day and I'm already tired. So here's what we're going to do, folks and Jamie. A little like five, ten minute breather. And then we'll go step by step. I'll make one, you'll make one. We'll zip tie those two together, metaphorically or literally. It would be a practical way of keeping them together. Yeah. We could use a bit of wire. We could glue them together. We could tape them together. The Alex Boschhuizen. Hello, sir. How are you? Mr. Bill Blades. I am... Mm, yep, 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 yep. Making noises, weird noises. Time for a break! Breaking time! Ah, what does that mean? Oh, put your Comic Sans back on. There we go. We've got to change it to after break, though. Forging will resume after the break. Your boy needs to have a second here. Ooh. I'm gonna play with a dog, maybe. The dogs definitely need to go pee. So I'm gonna go do that.
that they didn't fill up yet.
ready to get to it, Mr. Pommel? Tip tap top. Miss Popple, can you check that we're getting audio through on this? I see RX and TX on your little screen up here. Yep. No? Does nothing pop up when you go bling bang blong in your voices? Uh, no, just focus. Press the slide. Did I press what? It doesn't matter. It it's coming through. Good stuff. Here I'll go. Crazy place. Come on now. Good job. You're a good place. That's a good girl. Right to her. So if we get time this and retroactively be like we decided to celebrate this number oh wait we already introduced the fact that we we're going to teach you so we can just time lapse let's just time lapse we could throw it if you want it can be time lapse up there it might be mildly interesting from that angle like this is going to be very much like talking piece talking piece transition piece talking piece transition piece so even if it was one time lapse of teaching you we could be like here's the result and that's a neat little segment should we do that you got enough battery in her Oh my goodness. She's a little wobbly. It's loose, but it'll be fine. Um. <laughs> uh, for legal reasons, I do not endorse this use of equipment as climbing gear. ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba ba Oh. The Nomad's Crooks says that we are running a scam. Just you wait. That's true, we are. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with something funny, but my brain is jelly. I have a brain of goo. Okay, funny things. Let's go. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Got nothing. Okay. We're abandoning humor. It's not gonna work. Holy mackerel. Anyway, people are saying, is it a scam? We sold the first one for a penny. I mean, come on. Now. There we go. Let's explain the graph again. We'll explain the graph. If you have just tuned in, here is what's happening. Firstly, Read the description, that can probably help you understand a little bit of what's happening. And I'm now gonna ramble and it might make you more confused. It goes like this, we start the live stream this morning and we sell one bottle opener for one penny. We sold that bottle opener and we then raised the price by $1.99 to $2. We sold that bottle opener. We then raised the price by $2 and we kept selling bottle openers with an increase in price of $2 all the way up to a $40 bottle opener. Now, we told people at the beginning of this, market value for one of these things is like 10 or $20 for just a random forged bottle opener. So we've gone way above that, which is crazy. But the intent of this day is for me to forge bottle openers into either, until either I keel over and pass out from exhaustion, which is looking very possible, because apparently only like four hours in, I am already a jelly person. Like the insides of me are goo. It shows how weak I am, but that's okay. We're either gonna keep forging bottle openers until I pass out and die, or until the bottle openers get so expensive that you stop buying them. Nobody's forcing anybody to buy a bottle opener. In fact, 
I would love it if you went and bought bottle openers from all of the amazing people that make amazing bottle openers all over the world, because there's tons of them. If, however, you want to have some fun, you want to hang out with us for the day. He said he's retracted his comment. He's retracted his comment? He, retracted, he read the description. He said he feels stupid. That's because he is stupid. Jamie! <laughs> oh, that's not friendly. Jamie just called him stupid. Now look, we try and be friendly and now it's all gone. Oh, look at that. There's 1,997 people watching. If you were 20 years younger, that would be when you were born. <laughs> Only the people that have been watching for the last three hours would get that joke. Okie dokie. Anyway, that's the explanation. Nobody's forced to buy. We're just here to have some fun and hopefully make an enjoyable day for all of us. Crazy. Come on, please. That's a good girl. Also, whoever gets the next one, get two bottles. That's a rightness. Uh, I'm going to buy a bit. Oh, we need to sell it, don't we? Well, not the, the 90. No, the 100. Didn't we already make the 90? Sorry? Yes, we have to sell it and then we make it. <laughs> Jamie, we make it, then we sell it. So, so, ah, rats, no! <laughs> we sell it, then we make it. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna come up here, we're gonna sell our next one. Right, is there anybody in the chat who's been here from the very start? Because I thought we were making them and then selling the stock that we'd made. Alec think it's the other way around. Yes. Where we're, make, where we're selling them and then making Okay, them. so you remember at the beginning of the day, we start the live stream, it's on the black screen. I make sure there's one in stock at a penny. On the black screen, somebody just clicked on and bought that one penny bottle opener and we're like, oh, somebody's already bought it. We better make it now. And then we made that first one after it was already sold. So then after that first one is made, we then open up the price to $2 and we then make the $2 bottle opener. I am 150,000 million trillion percent. Well, I'll let you that is that. 100 million trillion thousand over 100 percent square that I'm... Someone just said I was old. You've told them all that I'm 40 years old. <laughs> I'm 27 years old. Look at that grizzled beard of a 40 year old. <laughs> right. There we go. We've got to sell our $100 bottle opener. This one comes with Jamie's first ever bottle opener. Are you sure you're willing to send away your first ever bottle opener? Yeah. This will be your child. Do I need to give you a commission of this sale? The whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So the price is now increasing in $100, uh, no, ah! The price is now increasing in $10 increments and we're gonna sell a $100 bottle opener and whoever buys this, is getting plus, whoever's getting this is getting bottle opener plus, uh, whatever. You're gonna get Jamie's one. Whoever oh, bought this. Just said you're jealous I can grow a beard. Yes, I actually am. I'm uh, We had this conversation yeah. the other day. Alec doesn't even like facial hair on himself. I, I wish I could just not have to deal with my hair every single week. It's annoying. So if I could just not have the facial hair, I'd be fine. Okay, 100. The, the thing is that, as I say, if I could, it'd be fine. There is a way that you could do that. I could laser the hair off my face. But how stupid would that sound? Like, oh, I'm gonna go laser my facial hair off because I'm too lazy to shave green. it. Is it like, yeah, I, there's a really good YouTube channel, oh, Arthur TV. He does these like reviews of, of um, reality shows. So he did a series of reviewing air, airport reality shows. They were very good. He also, done a series of reviewing 90 Day Fiance, and then the spin-off about Big Ed, 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life, I think. He uploaded one yesterday, and there's this thing that he commentated on in the episode, where Big Ed, this like character, this like really short guy, small neck, he's using a paintbrush to smear on hair removal cream onto his chest, to remove all his chest hair before a date. It's got a paintbrush and this how chest removes remove the hair from the brush. Well, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe a synthetic hair. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. While I was talking about Big Ed, Arthur TV. I like his channel. Very funny chap. Highly recommend. Who bought it? We will find out. And then we will not tell his name out loud because we haven't got confirmation oh. that he's happy. Oh, that camera might see it. 
If only there was a way of removing That's those things. That's not even the live stream, is it? No. <laughs> oh, we are sending this, we're sending our two bottle openers to North Carolina. Where? North Carolina. Carolina. Carolina in the north. Okay, okay. Right, so Jamie, I would like you to take one of the gloves that you welded with into your left hand. <laughs> now, you remember, you've got to put it inside your left hand, like I said. <laughs> Did you realize I said it all wrong? I said you've got to put your left glove into your left hand. Right. So cut your hand open and feed it in. <laughs> like you're dressing a wound. So, watch close. Ignore the chat for the next little while. You're gonna need to pay attention because I'm likely not gonna make sense. So you'll need to make sure that you follow it along with like a 10% of what I say that actually makes sense. You're gonna have your punch in your left hand, set your thing up here. Okay, doke. In terms of the distance down, you're gonna go about that far down. Same from the top though, from, from the, the It's more from the top down than it is from the sides. So you're further down from the top than you are from the sides. Side to side, rather. And then you're gonna hit, and you must take the punch out on every hit. The reason I want you to do that is it's a good habit. You can see your hole develop. You get to the bottom, you feel it's hard. You hit the bottom. You come back over. Hit again. You'll feel when you're at the bottom because you get more rebound from the anvil. You'll flip it over. You line yourself up in the middle of that and then you punch out a plug. So, the reason we hit once is it also means that this punch doesn't get hot. When this gets hot, it deforms. It's already been getting hot and deforming throughout the day, and so that's what we want to avoid. Okie doke. So feel free to take as much time as you need. You'll put the bar of metal between your legs. And happy days, hunky-dory. Which side of the hammer? It really doesn't matter too much. I was using the round. You know, I oftentimes pick hitting tools with the round side of the hammer. It's a little more forgiving. Cool. Pretty good placement. See if it looks in the middle, adjust as needs be if needed. Make sure you go in the exact same groove. I think you kind of I think you might have missed that first groove. Up there. And take it out. And then take another heat. There's like a slight timing thing you gotta do, which is you gotta like hit down without moving it, and as soon as possible, like you're gonna hit it and you let the rebound pull the punch out. Right. That way it doesn't get as stuck. It's a weird timing thing because you're like holding something still, hitting it, and then letting it bounce up. So it's kind of a slightly funky motor pattern. But helps, saves it getting stuck. Because when you leave the punch in, that steel contracts on it, and it will uh, it'll get it stuck. I haven't, um, I haven't swung a hammer since last January when I came to Montana. When you forged that knife. Yeah. That fo some of those photos from that day came up in my, like, uh, you know in your photos? Yeah. Your memories come up, some of those came up. I thought we both looked very young. It was a year ago. I don't, I, I looked younger, you looked younger. You don't look any different. God, I'm really hammering the point home about this aging thing, aren't I? Honestly, it's just because I'm insecure, because I felt I've started to feel myself aging. <laughs> Good. So flip her over, give it a little light tap with the hammer, flatten it down some more. Good. And then turn it back over, go back in from the underside. That kind of crisps up the definition of where your slot actually is. Yeah. Now it's super clear. This is a perfect temperature for it. It's easier to shear the plug out at a lower temperature. Wait, wait. I think I need you to come down that way a little bit. There we go. It's easier to shear the plug out at a low temperature. That needs to be a hard hit. Okay. Yeah, it wants to be like a definite, you know, hey, I'm here to, I'm here to punch a plug. Not like, hey, I'm knocking on the door. I'm trying to say hello. It's like, nah, -uh. this plug's coming out right now. There we go. Woo! Did it come out? Not it's quite. Hard. So you see it's sticking. Yeah. Now this is a good example. Your plug is evenly distributed in the middle. It's in the middle. I don't need to say evenly, just stupid English. I'm not doing well. That's perfect. That'll pop out really easily. Come over here. 
and then flip it opposite ways, and then use that little crook there and hit think, and then just take another decently hard hit there. Good. That should have popped it out, and now literally you can pry it off with, with the tip of the punch, and it'll fall right off. Perfect. Beautiful hole. So next up's gonna be drifting. Well, Think about drifting. Or, Sorry? In or out? Uh, I, I, I put it in, because I'll get my drifting done in a few hits. Oh. Think, I wanted to say a few seconds. Yeah. I said a few hits, and as I said it, I was like, wow, you sound like a twat, Alec. <laughs> you sound like a bloody twat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get mine done in a few, few hits. Oh, what are we doing? We drifted a hole. The key thing about it is your material is going to cool down really fast as soon as there's steel inside it because it's going to conduct all the steel out, the heat out. So you kind of want to work as fast as you can while still remaining in control. Don't anticipate getting the drift the whole way through in one heat. When you get a significant black ring around the punch, that means it's cooled around the punch, we'll just knock that drift out. You'll like lift it up like I do at the end and go bang knock the drift out, take another heat. Don't worry about getting it done in one heat. If you do want to get it done in one heat, you want to be hitting at a pretty good cadence and making sure you don't fumble the setup. Now what you'll see as I start this is I'm going to be moving the drift side to side, ding, dang, ding, ding, dong, until we go in. Like this, bing, bang, 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 bang. Reason for it is I want to support the hole as best as I can through the drifting process so we don't get it sucking down into the hole. So side, 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 drive, drive. Drive, drive, drive. There you go. You got your glove on your left hand because the drift will be warm. And after you, sir. How often do I have to repair my punches? Earlier on, like a few, I don't know, four or five bottle openers ago, I went in and I dressed my punch off camera. I think I was talking to myself on the lav mic. So, if you'd harden it, it would have lasted a little bit longer. That's pretty good, beautiful. Hit and side to side, side to side, every time. You've got to move it across. What do you mean? Like bang, bing, bang, tong, bang. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's knock it out and we'll do it again. I'll, and I'll re-explain so it's clear for you. How do you get this out? So there's a few options. Now that it's so cooled, I recommend just hitting it all the way out. You can let go. And just magic. I didn't realize that you meant moving the whole piece. I thought you meant just wiggling that. Oh, like this? Yeah. Yeah, so I meant whole, moving the whole piece, so this whole punch. Right. If you had a big hole like this, it'd be ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, every hit. Uh, just to save it, yeah, as opposed to this is what you're imagining. Yes, they are technical terms. Somebody said, don't worry, Jamie, I interpreted it in the same way. Good. Good reason for me to increase the way or improve the way I describe it next time. Good. Now hold the bar with your left hand, not the punch. And drive, drive, drive. It'll go straight through now. Beautiful! Look at that. Since you've got heat and it's a little bit bowed, take it onto the flat with the flat side of the hammer and give it a whack. Beauty. That'll do. In, uh, yeah, and then you put yours half in the fire, not all the way, and then I'll push it back in as I take mine out. Get yours warming up. So, we're now going to forge this loop out. What I want you to be thinking about is the cross-section of the loop. So if you imagine you have a ring and you take a cut of, of that ring material, like you cut a chain link, and then you open it up and have a look at it. 
Right now, what we've got is it varies through the whole thing. So at the back of our loop over here, where it connects, it's kind of square. Yeah. Here, it's kind of rectangular. Here, if we cut it across there, really rectangular. Rectangular, like it changes the whole way across. And what we're trying to do is defi decide where we hit and how hard to make it consistent. So you're going to be modulating the power of your blows and thinking carefully about the placement of your blows. Maybe it turned off because the receiver died. That will die. Walk it walk. So we'll get these on charge. got a good joke, Jamie. And that's not funny, I just said I had a joke. It's okay. When the batteries die, we can just start gutting the batteries from the carbon monoxide alarms. From the what? From the, the carbon what? monoxide alarms.
you know what we can do? While that's time lapsing, we can charge up another two batteries over here. Happy days. It's gone again. Apparently it's gone. Apparently it's gone. This on. That's off. No, it's on. Tic tac tock. Tic tac tock. You're in slow mo? Is that something to do with it? Oh, did you bump a setting? Tic I think it might have bumped a. S did you bump a setting somehow? Tic tac tock. Are you sure it's fine? What? You sure it's fine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Sound good, sound good. Yeah, so come up, flat side of the hammer. Now you're looking to hit that edge. There, bing. That's a good, now a bang, now a bong, now a bing, now a bang. Okay, now go for a big, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's the angle, hit it. Good. Ah, it's down my shirt. My Pectoral, pectoralis majeure has been bent, burnt. Okay, now that's a big one, straight down on the top. <laughs> I mean, oh no, Jamie, that's I'm really so sorry. When you're like down here. It's really difficult. You gotta like tw twist your body across there. It's really. Jesus Christ. Well, if you don't hold it quite at the end of the bar, you don't have to bend as far. So, like, if you're holding it here, you're just bent like that. Yeah. Ow, I just tweaked my back. Did yeah. Yeah, that feels well awkward. It's really weird. It's and like making bottle openers is difficult because you've got to practice all this weird like motor movements while you're hammering. You'll see when I'm hammering, my feet are walking around as we get to one stage. Yeah. It's, it's really strange. So it's not easy to make your first bottle opener. Well, hold it at the end of the bar with it. Stupid thing for me to have done. Yeah, so if you hold it closer, it'll, it'll probably be a little bit easier. And like your grip will change on the bar as you come around. You'll like start to grip it more like that instead of in your hands because you can't get your wrist across there. Right. So you'll start to, you know, if you grip like that, you let go of the grip and keep it in your thumb and forefinger, it gets a little looser and easier. There we go. Now you need to be straight down on top. You see that stuff needs to still be there? There we go. Good stuff. Flatten that all off. Just to make life easy, straighten out that bar. That stuff back here. So wait, how stop? Sorry to sort of interrupt you like that. You don't want to crush the loop. That's perfect. Good stuff. We'll take another heat. He bing. Bing bang bong. Happy days. Is the Alex Steel Blacksmith 2019 in description supposed to be 2021? No, actually we've decided to time travel. We thought 2019 was a better year than 2020 and 2021, so we left it in 2019. You know what they say, you make your own reality. So, we've done it. Come all the way up, you need to be higher up. That's it, that's it. A little lighter. Now a little harder. Good. And now you take it out and you flip it around. Yep. Perfect. It's going to be a much better bottle opener than my first bottle opener. It might even be better than. <laughs> it might even be better than my first bottle opener of the day. It's looking very nice, Jamie. Good work. Okay, so let's examine the cross section and see what we're looking like. I'd say it's slightly rectangular up here in the sense that you need to flatten more. So that top bit, that there? Yeah, like as in you need to flatten yeah. more this way. Okay. See what I mean? Okay. Like it's thin here, yeah. wide there. 
So a little hammering there. You could even do it at this temperature if you wanted to. So does that mean that it wants to be a bit more of an angle? No, not like this. It wants to be like that, as in on the flat oh. of the anvil. Yeah. yeah. So just like this. Like hammer the end, yeah. Good. Great. So now I'll put mine in the fire and I'll show you the next step. This is where the, the moving it around the horn gets really, really difficult. Because what you're going to be doing, I can demonstrate it on yours. What you're going to be doing with the hammer, with the bar, is you need to turn it 45 degrees and shove it as far up the horn as it goes. Honestly, this is, this is some good stuff for those that are watching. We're going in depth on the old bottle openers. We are going in deep. We shall tell you the whole scoop. We have a what? Hell yeah. When the dogs are sleeping. We shall give them pets for your donations later. Hello, Jeremy. Thank you very much. I gave you a French accent as I said Jeremy because I saw that you were in Canada and you had accents in your Jeremy. I can also say Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. You're very kind. And thank you, Paul. Thank you all. Good old Jezza. Jezza. So, yes, I'll explain what we're doing. So we're trying to make actually a diagonal cross section here. It's a, it actually ends up, it looks pretty, but then it's also, it has applications in other forging areas. This is something I learned from Brown Brazil, like literally everything I do aside from Damascus, which I learned from David Lish. So, you're going to turn 45 degrees and shove it as far into the horn as it will go. You do not want to do it here, because that horn is too small of a radius. You want to match as much of the radius as, as, as the final radius of the actual loop. 45 degrees, shove it into the horn, come all the way up, and you're going to first start hitting the exact same way you did, way up to that transition, bang, 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 bang. But now that you've pulled it out 45 degrees, the tip of your bar is no longer going to hit the ground, and it actually makes it physically possible to rotate through 300-ish degrees and actually forge the whole way around. This is why it's handy. Otherwise, you have to keep taking it out, readjusting it. Here, I can do the entire pass, bang, 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 and then flip it over and do the other diagonal. And I can make a square and forge squares twice as fast, or rather, with twice as few steps, but twice as few material repositionings. You lose a lot of time in material repositioning if you're just forging square on. You actually have to come in here and flatten it. Here, you're doing the same thing. Whole way around, turn it 90 degrees, rather 180 degrees, whole way around. Super handy way of doing it. Picked it up from Brown Brazil. He's the man with a plan who knows how to forge and is fantastically good at it. It makes, no, mine's on the left, yours is on the right. Yours is looking nice. You can just say it. You can just come right out and say it. Well, no, I just didn't know. You can just say, Alec, I think I'm doing a good job of this bottle opener. And then say, yes, Jamie, you're doing a great job of this bottle opener. It's looking nice. Just wait till you screw it up on this next heat. Yeah. Build you up, tear you down. <laughs> Okie dokie. Have a look here, Jamie. You're going to miss out. You're missing out. It's happening. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> God, waste my heat, why don't you? <laughs> I told you what I'm gonna do. You gotta see it. I know, but I've seen you do it today as well. That's a really good point. You haven't seen me do it like 40 times. <laughs> God. So shove it in as far as you can. Bang, 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 boom. You see I flipped it over and we do the other side. You also remember we come right up to that shoulder. And remember we are hitting straight down with the hammer the whole time. We're never changing that. and all off and there you have a nice little uh, thing you change that cross section 45 degrees 
and you get a little diamondy cross section. It's still a square, it's just twisted 45 degrees. Oh, 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 what's that? Have a nice day. What are you trying to say about that, Jamie? I'm saying that's why it was hard at the first, the first thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thought you were saying something else there. I'm sure I brought Jaffa cakes in with me today, but I cannot find my tube of Jaffa cakes. After this heat, I'm going hunting. I'm going Jaffa cake hunting, because I think they might be in my car. Oh, but wouldn't that be good? Like a warm jam. Yeah. That's a no. There we go, good luck. Right side? Uh, flat side. Jokes, he needs to use the round. I'm joking. It's good. Flat side's good. I have used the round side in the past, but the flat side will work fine. More angle, more angle, more twist. There we go. Yeah, hold it higher up the bar. Good stuff. Again. But there's, there's a lot to keep track of. Come on, higher up the bar, higher up the bar. Let's go back in. Okay, time to go get me some Jaffa cakes. Hope nobody stole them while I was talking about them being in my car. Jamie, would you like a Jaffa cake, sir? Uh, <laughs> As if any other outcome was going to come from that pondering. Cheers. Oh, you took two, <laughs> you bloody bastard. <laughs> I about inhaled mine. See, these are very good. See what's on the inside? It's lovely. You want to make sure you finish as high as you possibly can, because okay. otherwise it doesn't give you a full round, and you get these like angles like this on the round bit, right. instead of it actually coming out more bulbous like. So what you want to do is make sure you start really like as high up as you physically can, like that. So if you hit that, yep, that's part of the keys. Once more, good. And now you come up to here and you hit that. We'll take it. Like a... I have melted Jaffa cake all over me. Right. 
good making. What? You just need to make it good. Right. <laughs> no, I'm serious when I say refinement. Yeah. Lighter blows, flat side of the hammer, shoving it up as far up the horn as it can go while being 45 degrees, gently hammering from the top. It'll crisp and refine the overall shape and keep it round. And these are just light blows. Yep. Beautiful. This is going to be a fantastic bottle of it. Like, that's really, really good looking. And the key, guys, is you shove that freaking loop as far into the horn as it goes while being 45 degrees. And that makes sure that as you hammer, while hammering straight down, you keep it round. Jamie, that's freaking phenomenal. Peep, that, that's just not a common thing to do to end up with a perfectly round loop off the horn on your first bottle opener, well done. Thanks. It's so hard when you're English and you're engaging in English humor and banter through an entire day to Don't sincerely give complex, sincerely <laughs> give compliments and not just retract it <laughs> by then being a complete douchebag and being like, jokes, it's actually shit. <laughs> And you spend your whole day just ragging on each other. Oh my goodness. I'm filling up a water bottle, not urinating. So next step, I was saying this earlier in the stream, this is like one of the most useful parts for, for getting good round shaped loops, is the use of a one inch hole and a large round punch. You do not need this, but when I first learnt this trick, I can't remember if I learnt this from Brian Brazil or from Lyle Wynn, who is another amazing blacksmith, a student of Brian Brazil, who is you know, become equally as talented in tool making and just a fantastic blacksmith and a lovely man too. Either from Brian Brazil or Lyle Wynn, I learned this trick. 25 millimeter, one inch round hole, large punch. This makes sure that you size your loop properly, but also it takes any irregularities out. So you put this over the hole and very lightly you hit and you drop it down. And if it looks like you're pretty close, you're good. But you can also flip it over and just verify that you've got the height, the, the size perfectly right. The reason we're flipping it is obviously we want to keep that nice cross section in the middle. And so as we're just working out if we're close, you flip it from back side to side to side. Now, I wouldn't recommend, Jamie, you give this a try at this temperature, but our next step is going to be you take a ball punch and you line it up so that it's kind of on the edge of that loop and you start hammering down. I'm gonna draw exactly where you want it on the face of the anvil so that it's ultra clear for you. The best way to describe it would be like four fifths of that round punch is on the flat bar and one fifth of that round punch is hanging off. You don't want the whole of the punch on the flat bar, otherwise this lip in there is too pronounced and it doesn't end up thin enough to actually get under the bottle and pry off the cap. If you hang too much over the edge, it gets too thin and you end up splitting the lip of your bottle open. Straighten it out. Now to yours. Now remember, once you put this in there, that round loop that you've made is sacred. Don't smash it. You know, if you need to straighten out the bar, hang the loop over the edge. Otherwise, you've got to start again. And especially once you pull it out with the ball punch, you're in, a, you're in a, a tricky waters to try and salvage it. I'm kind of sad that I sold it now. I'm going to keep it. Sorry? I'm kind of sad that I sold it now. <laughs> Even with my sippy cup water spout, I've managed to dribble water over my face. 
more proof that I am actually three years old. It might be already to size. You'll see, oh no, it's not, you can keep going. Yeah, give it one more from that side. Good. There we go. Now you're to size. Now it's stuck. Good stuff. So you can lay out where your round punch goes if you like. We won't do the whole thing at this temperature. Huh? Yeah, that looks fantastic. I just spat all over you. I'm very sorry. Low temperatures are great for laying things out when you don't know where things need to be. Because you're not going to do much damage if you get it in the wrong spot. It's less malleable. And you can also see the work that you're doing. Look at me, I'm speaking mildly coherently. That break worked magic. No. You don't say that. You say that break worked. I've already started turning to you, I just dropped something. Hey, look at that, see? It must be the forge fumes. You're too close to the forge, things are starting to go bad. Maybe that's why I'm speaking well right now. It worked like magic. It worked magic. It worked magically. Who knows? Lost it. I'd say one more light hit and you're perfect. Now that's a little too light. Now that's a little too hard. <laughs> that's perfect. So now from the back side, gently straighten it out. The back side? Yep. Good. Now you see your flat bar has a little yep. in it. So hang that loop over the edge and then just gently hammer up there. Feed your bar in. Good. On to the next step which is cutting it off. Make sure it's straight. I sort of picked up a bend there at the end. Like this way, no? Yeah. So now we're going to cut it off. Cutting it off is ultra super duper simple. And the key thing to just think about is you're trying to line up this edge with the scores that you make on the, uh, on the other sides. So looking straight down it is useful. And because I made this hot cut funkily, the edge is square, but the actual meat of the hot cut is twisted. Just worth bearing in mind it is a little funky. So take a few inches, line it up straight. Whack, turn it over, feel for it, come across, hit, lock it in, you get some forwards and backwards pressure, helps you know you're in the groove, you see that? If I gently slide it across, there's my groove. You could say it's groovy. Score it, and you don't need to do this. We'll carve yours in with a ball bar. I'll touch mark mine. Straighten it out. Before you break it all the way off, perfect opportunity to brush it. And then break it off. A little more. There we go, perfect. Get a little lighter now. Your scores are a little funky. Yeah, so you've got to fix that. You don't want to keep following. You want to have clean material on this side. So what you want to make sure that you do is you like kind of reverse it the other way. So if you want it clean on that side, you now roll this direction. And that follows that, that, that now follow the uh, furthest away from your groove. Yep. 
Good. It'll be ready to break off now. So just make sure it's all straight, brush it, and then we'll break it off. So we'll put mine up on there, and uh, if you grab the camera, yeah. we can show it again. This will be like a 10 second, five second timer, three yeah. second. Like literally like, hey, we're gonna show Jamie how to do it. Boom, Jamie, here's Jamie's. I do not endorse this use of uh, ladders, and uh, not ladders, for legal purposes. Can you put the ladder back on? Ah, yes. Uh, lav batteries are the most writer. They're both free. Oh, oh, really? Green. That means they're charging. Yeah, it, it only goes green when they're charging. They then don't show color when it's done, I think. kind of uh, vlog style this intro to it. So if you pass me this. And there we go, that's mine on. Turn that off. And there we go, that's mine on the left, Jamie's on the right. I gotta say, Jamie, great work! Loop on yours came out great, I think that's an awesome first bottle opener. Looks pretty good. That's right, now I've gotta open up the Squarespace app again. We're now going up in price. In $10 increments, this is insane, guys. I can't believe that people are gonna buy a bottle I can't believe that people bought a $100 bottle opener, let alone that somebody might buy a $110 bottle opener. Okie dokie, the inventory has been added. Let's see, will somebody buy it? Will somebody buy it? It's still there, it's taking longer than usual, so maybe it's gonna slow down and this day won't go on until three in the morning. Maybe, maybe. It's still there. Have we found the limit, Jamie? Are you sure you put it on? Yeah, I put it on. There's one unit. I think we might have found the limit. It's gone. Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. Oh my goodness, it's gone. <laughs> it's sold out already. Art of craftsmanship's in it. Pardon me? Art of craftsmanship. The art of craftsmanship. Uh, Jamie, I'm shooting a little extra because I, I feel like we might not have told the camera this. So I'm, this is a little extra for you, Jamie, in the edit bay, which is this. So the person that bought our $100 bottle opener is also going to get Jamie's first ever bottle opener thrown in too. And just for clarity, 100% sake, that would go before I then open up the phone and show the Squarespace app. And then, so it'd go, you know, Jamie, and we're including Jamie's, and then then to the Squarespace app. Thank you, sir. Here is your camera. Thank you to whomever bought the bottle opener that I'm about to make for $110. You rock.
More bottle opener making. Yeah, we can just time lapse the making of a few more. Uh, oh, I gotta sell, I can put two in the fire at a time, and then I can just sell the $120 one now. Yeah. And so we'll get that one done. So $120 bottle opener is going up for sale. I can't believe I'm saying that. That's, it's mantle. If somebody wants a $120 bottle opener, you're awesome. Slightly crazy, that's okay. It's available for sale. If you want it, you got it. Is it gonna go? It's still in stock. It's still in stock. It's still in stock. I get that, can you get that other camera rolling? I've just put, oh, it's gone. We just sold the $120 bottle opener. It took 30 seconds to sell. All the ones before sold in a matter of a couple of seconds. We might be reaching our cap. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you to all of you. This one's going to Ohio. Ohio. It said Ohio. Ohio. This one's going to Ohio. Right. Raggedy edge. How long are you going to run that time lapse for? 12? Okay, that's good. I was going to say not to plan for a big, huge, long one. I I'm concerned that we might reach the hour limit. Like, I'm concerned we might be getting close to reaching the limit where nobody's gonna buy it anymore. And so we wanna be prepared to pull, you know, to, to like, get ready for filming those ending scenes if indeed nobody wants to buy it anymore. Or, maybe we have to do this, Jamie. Maybe when it slows down, we gotta like start spicing up the, spicing up the pot, you know what I'm saying? Throwing in some extra stuff, like doing some razzle dazzle as it gets more expensive. What do you mean? What to them? Yeah. No, that's, that's defeating the whole the thing. The thing is, I'm not tired that's enough yet. the whole thing. Yeah, but I'm not tired enough. If it stops now... It can't stop now. I'm having a good time. That makes it unfair on people who bought before as well. You change the well, admittedly, they wouldn't be spending $150. They were lucky to get them when they were cheap. They were lucky to get them when they were less expensive. Jamie, that was my quench cup for the punch. Oh, yeah. My goodness, my muscle here is spasming every time I swing the hammer. Do you want to try and drop it? Ah! Um, how much is that sold for? 120? 
110, 120. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm so weak. That's so funny. Oh, my goodness. If I was 16, I would be laughing at myself so much. I'd be like, oh, look at this guy. You just said like a minute and a half ago. I'm not tired. I know, but then my arms start spasming while I'm working. Oh, like I felt like I had a low point. Then we took a break. We talked, you had to forge a bottle. I'm now, I'm now ready to freaking go, Jamie. <sighs> Apart from the arm. That is weird. What am I doing? Oh, your hearing protection. The chat will be like, Jamie, for your hearing protection. Thank you, chat. I don't understand how you can be here without it. You it's know, not even that loud. It's horrible. It's not that loud. It's painful. I've lost, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is scientific or accurate. I feel like your hearing goes like, hey, you got good hearing? Then your hearing starts to deteriorate and you become more sensitive to loud noises. I used to film music festivals, so. Oh, maybe your music, your hearing, your, your, Maybe your hearing has deteriorated from the music festivals. Because I feel like I'm super sensitive to loud, hear to loud noises, but, yeah, but my hearing is, gets yeah. worse and worse. Pussy! Wow, that's... I can't believe you would say that. That's not even offensive either, so... Are you sure? I'm yeah. sure there could be a way you could draw a fence from it. No way. If you Google why using that word is offensive, you will find a number of blog posts that explain why that could be offensive. I just saw an awesome reflection. The light hit your watch and it put a light onto the, uh, onto the forge. Oh! Jeez! Jamie! It's six o'clock. Let me know when you want to bugger off. Sounded like I wanted to motivate you to bugger off. <laughs> Why am I on this side of the angle? I'm never on this side of the angle. Watch out, watch out. Oh, that, 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 that arm is cramping. It's cramping every single time I swing the hammer. <laughs> it's good though, because it's, ah, it spasms as I lift the hammer up. So invariably, I'm lifting the hammer up more easily by pure virtue of this involuntary muscle contraction. Ah. So it's actually great, and I'm really pleased that that's cramping. Um, I just saw a good idea in the comments. You know, like, we were talking about when we went and done the skull thing. <laughs> You know when you get a cramp and you just let your arm do what it wants? Shit, hang on a second, it doesn't do it there. Here we go. No, it's better, it's better. I'm good, I'm good. I'm just making it up in my head. So, you said the skull thing. Well, we went down the skull thing, the forge the skull. Yep. 
Um, and also when you went in the fans and stuff, yep. different things. So we just mentioned glass blowing. Oh, there's a glass blowing place near here. I'd love to do that. That would be awesome for a video. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. We'll call them up tomorrow or the next day or something. We'll see if they'll let us come shoot a video. Where I try glass blowing. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. I used to forge so much in a day. God, I was a little madman when I was a teenager. I've been here forging for like six hours. And my bloody arm is cramping. It's a joke. Not that the arm is cramping. It's a joke that I have a cramped arm. Like that's, that, no, but hang on a second, I haven't explained it well. I'm a joke. After seven hours. I have a cramped arm after seven hours of forging. Do you know how ridiculous that is? There's people here who are hobbyists that are like able to forge 12 hours a day because they practice at it. What a joke. How weak am I? Can't forge for seven hours without a cramp. That's what you get when you don't practice something. My day to day is not what it once was. not practiced shall perish. Muscles not used shall atrophy. Again, want to be ready to have just in case the footage of me selling the next one because it's going to just take longer and longer unless somebody's really keen, which I hope you are. saw that, that was kind of cool. It might have been blocked. It might have been like obstructed from view. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. Right. Oh, let me throw two of these in, into here. So we'll get like a shot of going bing bang. I just burn myself. Ready? On to the next one. Oh, rats. The batteries in this must be dead. This just died again. When did they die? Ah! After
after our last talking segment because I turned it back on and I had audio. Rats. No, we're okay. I thought it just died as soon as I turned it on. These uh, Sennheiser G4s, they'll show two bars of battery even if it's about to die right there and then. It's kind of frustrating. Kid Orc. Okay, that's 110 and 120. This is a huge amount of fun. It is completely ridiculous that somebody would spend $120 on a bottle opener like this. This is a fun experience. It's not quite what is usual in running a small business and making and selling the things that you sell. about Squarespace a bit. So. That's what I was about to lead into. I, I wanted to say something like, and that's why it's really helpful to... It, but but this, this is an example of... focus on the making instead of spending all the time making a website because it's so easy. There we go, we can do that. But even in this kind of funny example of using Squarespace, this is a great... It, let, me, let, me, let me get that wording right. But even in this... It's a funny example of, of a day. Funny example of a kind of humorous example of a day. But even in this small example of a day, it kind of showcases how easy life can be. When you invest your effort in building a website on a platform like this, because we've seen this screen loads. Maybe show the actual website on your phone. Yeah, there we go. We can do that. There's got to be something better to do with that. I feel like I'm almost repeating a lot of what I repeated at the beginning. Did that make it in? Were we talking about like the convenience of being able to manage all your stuff right there from your phone? You know, being maybe in the workshop, in the you know, you can be in the thick of it and managing your website and managing your business. Here we go, there we go. That's a good one. Yeah, but I think it's important that we don't want it all just in the start. We've got to right. That, that's why I'm trying to include it here. Even in this humorous example, it really hammers the point home that being able to have a website built on Squarespace and while you're in the thick of making things, update your business, interact with your customers. You could say like... Check your analytics. Here we go. Check your analytics. See how many unique visitors you have. See how many page... Oh, uh, hang on a second. Here we go. So that's the $130 ride. Mm. So even in this funny example, it just goes to show why it's so good building your website on Squarespace because you can update your products on the go. While you're in the thick of it, here in the forge, you can check your analytics, you can see your sales, manage your business, and we've got a sale for $130. It's ridiculous. Say it takes five minutes to forge one, it takes 10 seconds to put it, it takes on five, sale. It takes five seconds to forge one, it takes 10 seconds to put it on sale. No, no, you said seconds instead of minutes. It takes five minutes to forge one, it takes 10 seconds to put it on sale. You could literally, it takes five minutes to forge one, 10 seconds to put it on sale. I don't even know, if I want to make something completely different, I can make the product from my phone. I can take the photo. If I was making custom work for people, I could just, if I was making custom work, I could make whatever I wanted here in the, you know what? We're gonna do just that. We are gonna make our $130 bottle opener, and then we're gonna make whatever the hell we want, and then we're gonna make whatever else we want to, and just throw it on the website, because it's gonna take us, because it's gonna take us 10 seconds. There's a long, drawn-out thing. Well, it might, it might cut shorter. Yeah, I'll cut it shorter. But and that leads us into an interesting little idea too. I can just do a tangent thing, and that's a good way to like, hey, a little extra plug on the Squarespace. We go to a tangent. I just make anything, and then we sell that too. Because like, hey, we might as well just sell it all, type of deal. That's how quick it was.
I'll have to update the theme of the website to work with that though, because right now it's a little more individualized. Individualized? with me. Oh. Oh, I'm making a bottle opener, aren't I? Uh, you can put that pizza in the oven and you can have a couple slices if you want it. you. I understand it's not just hunger, it's also like it being freaking seven o'clock at night. Right, are you ready for a speed one? Get the timer going, Mr. Popple. We're going to see what we can do here. Let's see how quick you can do it. See rapid fire. Rapido, rapido. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, rapid fire, here we go. good sign when you're doing a rapid fire bottle opener. I got the plug all jammed up.
rush, you forget things, you mess up. How much am I messing up? Did things in the wrong order. Cut it before I should have. And now I have lost the heat. I would have been done if I did it in the right order. This is classic, classic me. <laughs> I did a classic me. I rushed and messed up. Time for the bob punch. Are you ready with the stopwatch? I will say when. When? What the hell am I doing? I, try, I press stop on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at? 3.45. 3 minutes 45 seconds. That's insane. This has improved so much. The fastest one I got when I was trying to work out the bottle opener that I was going to make was 6 minutes 50? 6.50 yesterday? Yes. 6.50 yesterday. So we're making improvements. We are improving our bottle opener forging skills. That is awesome! I kind of want to just keep making bottle openers until tomorrow. Like, I'm having a good time. Maybe you get a 150 and then start going backwards. Yeah, that would be so terrible. Until there's three and then... Yeah. Might not be a friendly thing. But I'm having a good time, guys. Right. Quick little update. Yep. Five seconds. No, here's what we're doing. We're making another product, we're adding it. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna make something. I'm gonna grab a little bit of steel and we'll go make something. Schmancy, simple, simple. Beep -beep -beep So I wouldn't even say anything for this camera because we just did big talking segment. This will be transitionary. I made another because this is part of that talking segment. It's part of that little plug moment. So this is going to be literally bing, bang, bong, bang, bing. I made a hook. Bing, bang, bong, bang, bing on the website and it's already sold type of deal. All right, so if somebody wants to buy a hook that I make, I'm making a hook that's about to be for sale. I'll just put this up at a, like a normal human price, not like the crazy people that are somehow managing to spend $130 on a bottle opener. And when I say crazy people, I mean it in the best, most appreciative way. You freaking rock. Can you say that you're a crazy person? To, or can you say somebody's a crazy person and them also feel loved and appreciated? Well, you should be able to. In this day and age, someone will have a problem with that. And I'm sure there's already someone commenting on there saying, You can't say that to your customers. I and love they these. They're going to have that voice as well. They're going to have that voice. That's a joke. No, it wasn't a joke. What's their voice going to be? You what? What's their voice going to be? I no, you know what? I just did. Yeah, you know Can't what? Do that. <laughs> Anybody that's buying a bottle opener for $130 has got a sense of humor. Yeah. They've got a sense of humor. Otherwise, they wouldn't be watching this thing because if you don't have a sense of humor, you don't get why this is a, a, a interesting and funny thing to do. It's a fun experiment. We're having a good time. I know these people have got a sense of humor, so when I say they're a little bit crazy, you're probably nodding your head. If you're getting ready to buy a $140 bottle opener, you're nodding your head. You're saying, yes, Alec, I'm a little bit crazy. That's great. I am also. I don't think I needed to tell that to anybody. You probably noticed it. A uh, little bit of a funky individual. Are you ready? We're going to make a bottle opener. You're not making a bottle opener. You're making a hook. Ah. My mistake. I said the wrong words. Can I just say I'm impressed with my own cadence? 
not forged a taper in a while. I think I'm going to sell this hook for five dollars. It's like a wild card in this whole game. Or should I do this? No, I can't do that. You won't even never know what I was thinking. <laughs> Unless you're telepathic. Telepathic? Yeah, you can mind control. Okay, we're like how many hours into a stream? Like it's been pretty consistent the whole way across. That's it? been amazing. 2,200 people. We've been going for it says it there. seven hours, 12 minutes. I'm almost tempted to leave this stream up as an archive. Maybe it picks up views. You know that tong making live stream we did? It ended up with like a, a million views. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go, Jamie. This is good. This is the good stuff. Oh, you missed it. Already done. I'm joking. Uh, this is this is a nice nice part of it. You're gonna see me roll over the tip. If you film like there and relatively close, like throw the camera right there, it's gonna look good. Uh. There you go, lovely view for the stream. It's my back. Showing off his plumber's crack. Ready? Yeah. You ready? You don't look very ready. Well, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move once you get that up. Peter McMannon. I thought it was Peter McKinnon for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, no way. Oh, I need a uh, little cup of water. You need a what? Little cup of water. Bam, bing, bang, bang, bong. Da ling, ding, 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 ding. Back up. Hey, people are appreciating seeing you do your work. Awesome. <laughs> I just read Stab McSh. Maybe that. Maybe I shouldn't say his name out loud. Anyway, I read a guy named Stab something or other. Ah. <laughs> Tucker says he wants it as an archive afterwards. If you get 150 on the bottle open and go back to a penny again, he says. Okay, you ready, Jamie? I'm gonna go bend it on the horn. I'm going to mention because what's cool about this when I was making things for people, Squarespace wasn't as developed as this. 
it's gone above and beyond in terms of its improvements. When I was making things for sale, if I could have literally from my phone, not like take a photo, import it to your computer, all of that BS. New product. Been super helpful. I was doing that on the eBay app. I'd like sell stuff on eBay, take a photo and do that. It hadn't quite got to that point yet. Touch mark in there. I learned how to make a J hook from James Spedding and Roger of Hulk and Forge when I was 11 years old. When I was 11, I made so many of these. And it was so cool, because I made utter trash hooks for a long time without even knowing it. And then they got better. And then they got better and better. If you don't, we need to drill a hole in this bad mamma jamma. It needs to cool down. Bing bang bong. It's my hammer summoning call, bing bang bong. Yep. If you say it too loud, you've got to be careful, a hammer can hit you in the face. Yeah, it's come flying. What? Oh. Yeah, it's like when you recall a dog. Uh, how am I going to drill a hole in this while being extraordinarily impatient? Over here, over here yonder, with this drilling device. live stream over here. Nah, nah, don't worry about it, I'm already done. Well, I'm not done, but I'm about to. I have to drill the hole by the power of electricity. I love it 
when that light starts coming through the window, aside from when I need to do something. It looks beautiful, but I feel like I'm blind. I keep getting flashed from that sun. Okay, right, now you can get the main camera for a little photography. So you, the aim of your thing is to show me taking a photo of it. Ready? We got the photo. We're going to give it a quick edit in Snapseed. Gonna make a new product. I'm not going to say anything. I'll say something maybe at the end. Okay. Or even that, you don't even need to do that. Like, you can, go bing, you can just show that I'm typing. I don't even need to say anything. Okay. I think it's, it's, it's easier to, to make it quick if you say something. Like okay. That. Thank you. Appreciate the feedback. Let's do that. Okay. Maybe it just needs to be two words. Quick description. I know. Publish. I, I, I haven't finished my oh. description yet. I'm still finishing it in my head. Oh! Oh! Buddy! No, I'm serious. I'm still trying to work out what i got to say. I know, but that's all you need to say, then, for, the, for this. Okay. Quick description. Well, no, you could have carried on typing. I didn't know what else to say. It didn't have to be the end. I'm saying it's the end now. <laughs> Purchase price. Whoa, no, that's too much. We'll add a purchase price, five dollars. We go one for sale. Publish. And now check this out. That's available for sale. It's already going to pop up here in our All Products tab. Oh, you need to say that again. Oh my goodness. Ready? Yeah. Sam, we were over here. It already populates automatically in our All Product. Let me do that once again. It now shows up on the main website and it's already freaking sold! Thank you guys! My goodness. I, I have to say, to be a little sincere here, when I was starting off with this stuff and I was struggling, so I was like, I, I went to the workshop to make one pair of tongs to sell for 20 or 25 pounds. If I knew that it'd be possible to make something and sell it like that, I would have probably freaking cried. What I mean to say is, holy frickin' crap, that's a special thing, and I know I don't appreciate as much as I should how fortunate of a situation it is that we can have this fun day. Like, where we're making these things and people are spending all this money for it, it's stupid, it's ridiculous, and it's very, very rare. And I, I've got to feel more grateful than I do, because this is special. Now. Sorry? Is it 140 now? I think so. Yeah, we've got to raise the price and, and make it. Like the fact that I can even consider that somebody might buy a $140 bottle opener, it's crazy. Alright, one more. 
I think I'm going to be uh, leaving you. Heading off, good. Say farewell. I shall head deep into the night unknown alone. Yeah. Yeah. Or nobody buys a $150 bottle opener because, oh, $140 bottle opener because they're reasonable. If they're unreasonable, they'll buy it. And we'll find out how late I'm here. Thank you for here. Thank you for your help, Jamie. Right. Goodbye. See you later, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, See you on Friday. See you on Friday. Yeah, I'll uh, send all this footage to you. Do you want to send this up to the timer? Uh, no, I'm gonna. F I'll, I'll set it all up. I need to see one because I got to do a thing with what's it in a deal or who. I got to put the thing up for sale. Right, we are about to sell. We are about to sell a $140 bottle of milk. Thank you, Jamie. This is much appreciated. Really appreciate your help today. It's been a lot of fun. See ya. Have a good one. Sorry? I kind of hope I am. I, I like the idea of, of a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, what would be the word? A little bit of suffering. Did I bring a sleeping bag? No. But I have two dogs to keep me warm in case I need to sleep here at night because it's too late in the evening to drive. <laughs> okay. See ya, Jamie. Have a good one. Okay, back to the bottle openers. We're about to sell. Back to the bottle opener, I now need to find out, do we need to make a $140 bottle opener? It's getting pretty crazy. There is now a $140 bottle opener on the site. This is entirely unreasonable. And this is a position of great privilege and great fortune that this is even something that we can entertain, that somebody might buy this. They haven't bought it yet. They frickin' bought it. We gotta make a bottle opener for $150 to go to New Jersey. Like I've made that talking segment too long. Welcome to the behind the scenes of me making videos. I will share with you my inner monologue as best as I can. Maybe that's interesting. So one of the things, you know, as you, as you saw with Jamie and I as we're filming, we do, we do a lot of takes, we're redoing things, we're really trying to make sure that we get stuff dialed because I'm not good enough at saying the exact right thing for a video on the first take really 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 difficult when we're filming a video as you will have seen if you're watching through the day there's a huge amount of thought as we're filming about how the actual edit will then end up being dealt with and it's, it's quite the challenge oh Jamie's arrived again how's it going oh you don't you can't get out that's fine Jamie if the gates locked just stay here for a while uh, well what you can do you can take my buzzer you drive up there, you buzz yourself out, you quickly whip around, come back down, throw my buzzer back at... How, how long does the door say open? You might just James Bond it through. <laughs> we sold one for $150. Yeah. Insane. Insanity. What does that look of realization? I was, because I, I, through the whole day, I can't remember if I've kept track of the prices well enough. And I then had a moment where I was like, wait, did I, did I do it right? Did that make sense? I'm just losing my marbles, is frankly it. So what you gotta do, you gotta head up there and see if you can buzz yourself out fast enough. Don't crash. You said I'm gonna drive quickly then. Well, <laughs> I mean, I might be encouraging something really stupid to happen. If you feel like, you got time, like it'll stay open like a minute. Yeah, that's not that long to get down. Give it one shot, take it safe. If not, I've just got to pause what I'm doing and I'll come buzz you open. Good luck. A 
I hope I did this right. I'm, I'm double. Ch I got. A, I'm, I'm second guessing myself here, guys. I'm second guessing myself. Have I messed something up? Did I do it right? Okay, no, I did it right. I'm. Golly. Ah! The sun's hitting me in the eyeballs! Ow! Look at that. It's like right. Ah! <laughs> it's like right there. Can I reflect anything at you? Oh, Yoko's going crazy. She sees the reflection. There we go. Look at that. Good luck! Jamie's back. He's throwing the key fob. There we go. I should be working. Instead, I'm playing with reflections. Hello, can you see me? This is an urgent call for sanity, because I've lost it. Blink, blink. Blink, blink. Oh, he's gone. Hopefully he makes it. Okay, talking to myself some more. Going crazy. Current price, oh, update that, $150. Bing, bang, bong. Oh my goodness, I did make a mistake when speaking to Jamie, and I might have made the mistake when speaking to that camera. Somebody in the chat got that nailed. He said, I still need to make the $140 one. Okay, I see I got confused. Because there's a shipping charge, because there's a shipping charge, I saw 150 populate on screen. I then started talking about the figure 150. In fact, we had only updated the product to $140, which means I might have messed up the words that I said to this camera. So, this is part of the fun of filming things, is sometimes you gotta like, do a little like, <whistles> wrangling with chronology and redo some things to actually make the YouTube video make sense. And I think I might have messed up in the way that I spoke to the camera. I probably started talking about $150, even though, thank you commenter, We've only sold a $140 one, and I still need to make that. So I need to make a $140 item. I need to also make sure that I didn't mess up my filming. Conveniently, the microphone has now died. Shoot. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. We'll get there eventually, folks. So I need to make a $140 bottle opener. That's fine. I will make this $140 bottle opener. As I descend into lunacy, please don't tell me these batteries have died. Ah, they're gonna die! They will die. Ah, how am I gonna redo that? That's very tricky. Could I now pluck from my memory, or I can listen to it. I'm gonna listen to what I said on the camera. Frickin' bought it. There we go. I got it. I got. The, I got where to cut. They frickin' bought it. I'm now gonna enter in 
Like, you've got to like run this monologue in your head as you do things, so you film it right. I'm entering, so here we go. I've also got to tell Jamie some info for when he edits this tomorrow. Jamie, cut after they frickin' bought it. I'm gonna enter with a bit of hot steel on one $140 bottle opener coming right up. $140 bottle opener coming right up. That's how I'm gonna say it. Okay, we'll make sure we're rolling. We've got audio. You boys have audio. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Making a bottle opener for 140. Well done, chaps and chapesses. You're all very helpful and I'm just very grateful. Okay, doke. Three, two. $140 bottle opener coming right up. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that mic just died. The microphone just died, which means I might. <laughs> we, we, we got this juggling with battery going on here. The microphone keeps dying. I don't have battery. I might have lost that sound clip. Ah. Good, good. We still got the sound. The mic is dead. We still got sound. Happy days. I'm going a little crazy. That's fine. It's fine. Going crazy isn't a problem. It's not a problem. Switch these batteries out for some normal batteries. Uh, I did not prepare properly. Ah, I have one normal battery. I'm gonna put one normal and one Empty. Hopefully that works. Yes, full battery on display. Happy, happy days. Got a light coming into the workshop. Just beautiful day. I need a Jaffa cake. I need to make sure that Alec doesn't forget the key fob. You guys, how can you be so awesome? You know what would have happened? It would have got to the end of the day. It would have been like midnight or whenever people stop buying these bottle openers. And I wouldn't have had this key fob. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I would have been delirious and exhausted. And I would have been saying to myself, oh no, I can't get out. Jamie didn't give me the key fob because I would have forgotten it. And then I would have cuddled up with my dogs and had a nice night's sleep on the floor. It's funny, I was seeing key fob in the chat and I'm like, oh, they're suggesting I make a key fob as my next like wild card object for the day. That's a cool idea. <coughs> Oh wow, that doesn't sound good. I hope that's not a continuous cough that I don't have a fever. <coughs> oh, that sounds disgusting, I'm so sorry. Oh wow. Just had a sudden onset of coughing there. Anyway, I was saying, 
I was seeing key fob written in the chat, and I'm like, oh, they want me to make a key fob. That's cool. Yeah, I could make a little leaf keychain. That would be fun. No, we got it. Oh, somebody says to pet the doggo. She's sleeping. That's such a good girl. Such a good girl. Yes, it is. The doggo has been pet. Right. Yes, the virus run. <laughs> How much propane am I making this project? No, that's not the words that are meant to be said out of my mouth. How much propane am I using in this project? Uh, I really am I'm not good at keeping tabs of this. We might spend today and the whole day 30 pounds on propane, so it's really not too much. If any of you have any hearing protection nearby, put your hearing protection on and then eat something. Because what that just helped me realize is how disgusting it must sound for you all to hear me eat things while I'm wearing a lav mic. Because I have that internal sound in my head. You know, you, know, you wear hearing protection, all of a sudden it feels like you can hear the inside of your head. Or well, maybe it's just me. But hearing the internals of my mouth eating the food, just so, like, no, I can't, I can't make the noise. It just makes me imagine that it must be, uh, for those of you that are a little squeamish of, of the eating noises, it must be kind of nasty, so. Welcome. <laughs> I am sorry. It broke where I did not want it to, but that's fine. Ah, I have lost tongs. Found tongs. They're here. That's a rather crispy bottle opener, if I may say so. Time for 150. This very well could be the top limit. And this could be where we're done for the day. A grand and fantastic day it was. This has been a lot of fun. This has been the funnest day I've had in the workshop for a very long time. So thanks to all of you guys watching. Thank you for being here. Thank for, thanks to Jamie for being a good sport through the whole day. This has been a damn good day in the workshop, if I may say so myself. I'm adding one 
in stock at 150 but ridiculous dollars. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Thank you guys for being a part of this. This is mind blowing. 16 year old me. 16 year old me would flip his excrement. That doesn't make sense. See, I say the saying, flip a shit. I want to make sure that's a common saying. Because otherwise, otherwise it's just like, why would you say that? It's in Urban Dictionary. Okay, I think that's common enough that I could say flip my excrement and can like get away with not swearing. Okay, there's one in stock now. It's not sold yet. Will it go? Will it not? <laughs> ah, it's gone. $150 bottle opener. I dropped my phone then. It is on the floor, upside down, in forged scale. Frickin' 150, goodness gracious dollars. For a bottle of guys, insane. Shall I put this camera? I'd like your input, folks. High, low, down, above, around. I don't know if you'll be able to give me the input quite in time for me to actually have made the decision. But if you all sound off in the comments, by the time I've actually finished up this decision, we could say that one of you gave me the idea, which is to put it up high, maybe on the power hammer. So whoever said, hey, Alec, put that camera up high on the power hammer, Thank you very much for the idea. We're working in sync, you just don't know it. It's like one of us is just reading the minds of the other. That's a good girl over there in the, in the corner. And that's a good girl here. I'm gonna make this bottle up, then I'm gonna take the dogs out, play with the dogs a little bit, before we find out if we will be able to sell a $160 bottle up now. I'm now walking in circles, doing what I do best. I get distracted, I forget what I was doing, and I walk circles around the workshop. All day, every day. I probably waste an hour a day doing this. Just walking around, looking at things, and then suddenly going, wait, what was I doing? And forgetting I had something to do. I am an empty. Ah. So welcome to my inner monologue. It's actually a really strange thing. Like, how weird is it that I am here alone in a workshop and I'm just going to be talking to myself for the next however long? There's nobody else in the room. I have to pretend that you guys are here, right next to me. Oh, it's such a, it's such a strange thing. It's strange enough making YouTube videos on the ho just as it is, because that is this weird moment where you're talking into a camera having to, you know, create, create a, you know, though ultimately it's not a fiction, one has to create this fiction in your head while you do it, that there's somebody behind it. You have to do that, in my opinion, to be able to properly, uh, <clears throat> I use the word empathize with the viewer. It sounds kind of like, like I'm preaching, I'm not preaching. I'm trying to describe my thought processes so that there are actual words being said because otherwise you're just going to see me walking in circles without words being said. I'd walk in circles if I was talking otherwise. But it sounds like I'm kind of trying to, you know, educate on the way that I think about YouTube. I'm just trying to say some stuff. Get the old in the monologue going. I use the word empathize with the viewer to describe what needs to be done to make sure that the story that's told makes sense. 
I don't know if that's like an accurate use of the word. I know that there's, it, it, it might be a little bit of a surface level thing. But anyway, I'm gonna put that bad boy up there. I've got a problem, because I don't have a mount for it. Shoot. So that means while I film that shot, this camera needs to go somewhere else. That one has a mount. What other options do I have? The plate. Yeah, so I was saying, one has to, I'm, oh God, I'm really rambling. I literally should say nothing because I can't keep track of my thoughts while I'm doing this. And I said I should say something. I'm just, I'm just gonna go crazy for a little bit. Circles, not circles. Hmm. Where am I gonna put the camera? Golly, that's embarrassing. Here we go. That's the plan. Yes, my phone is still on the ground. It's here. You wanna know something I hate as a blacksmith? I hate the, the proliferation of magnets on things. Obviously you can't help it on a phone, there's things inside it. The phone's picked up all sorts of dust because the magnets inside of it. But there's so many gadgets now that like they have these magnet magnet things on it like hey this is magnetic it's your, it'll be your friend for me anything magnetic is not my friend because it picks up dust you see that computer up there can I say firstly what a champ that thing is that computer has been a freaking workhorse since like 2016 this bad boy right here yeah it's uh, it's been doing a lot of work since 2016 got sidetracked Yes, it has magnets in the charging port. It's one of those like Apple MagSafe things. Um, and uh, well, this is so funny for people to see. Wow, I went sidetracked again. Welcome to my train of thoughts. It has a MagSafe power charging port and it is such a nightmare because I've got to make sure that no dust gets in there, which means I keep it on charge the whole time which means that I mess up the battery because you're not meant to keep a battery on charge the whole time. Okay, train of thought finished. That's why I don't like magnets. Ma and I got dust on my fur. Let's work on the next chain of thought, folks. So, train of thought number two. I lost it. Rats. Yes, I was just talking about now that I'm running this inner monologue and I'm realizing that I'm being observed, it feels so ridiculous how scatterbrained I am. I always find it uh, funny. Any time I've been on a podcast, you know, I've had people ask me about, you know, how we organize and plan videos and those type of strategies. I am an extraordinarily chaotic, unorganized, and scatterbrained person, as evidenced by my ramblings. I cannot keep a train of thought in my own head without somebody there in front of me. I just can't keep a train of thought going still, going there, like, you know, can't keep it going. And I'll just like zoom right in on something, go and then I forget. <laughs> I'll just take these little, these little crossroads and go all over the place. It's, Probably not very good for trying to be a professional live streamer for the day, but somehow I have been able to make a career out of making YouTube videos. Thanks to all you fine video, fine, fine videos, fine people watching. <laughs> when was I talking? I had a conversation about, I had a conversation with Jamie along this exact line, which is like him going, Alec, how, how have you managed to get this far? It sounds a little bit, uh, pretentious to say this far, um, but you know, we would we'll just use it for, 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 the, for the sake of talking about this example. How can you get this far while being so unorganized? I managed to make the most of my strengths and I managed to build a whole, you know, business and way of making a living 
that completely suited my scattered brain strengths and nothing else. I didn't go down the rabbit hole of making planned and organized YouTube videos. I went down the rabbit hole of like shotgun blasting YouTube, just making whatever I wanted to make on that particular day and then making another video the next day or the next day and the next day. And I managed to play to my strengths, pick up skills and intuition only based on my strengths, not from my weaknesses. You just double down on the strengths, knowing there was a hell of a lot of weaknesses. And it managed to get me somewhere. There might be a lesson there. Sorry about the chewing. I have to eat things. I'm hungry. Wrong thing. Almost got the plug out in one. In fact, I did. Fell right out. I'm happy about that. Thank you guys so much for the message about changing the price on screen to 150. We are making a $150 bottle opener. Gotta appreciate the Smiths of the Middle Age had to forge all day for hours. Hell yeah, you gotta appreciate it. It takes so, goodness gracious me, it takes so much effort, strength, or it must have taken so much effort and strength to be surviving in the uh, middle age time. Why did my hand? Why did my hand let go of the hammer? <laughs> the handle didn't break. I just let go while hammering. It must have taken so much physical strength and endurance to survive in the Middle Ages, is what I was saying. You know, it's, I gotta say, like, when I was younger, I was able to do a whole lot more in a day than I am now because I was doing it every single day, hammering on an anvil, you know, doing physical things, and one obviously either, either kind of you know, builds stamina and endurance and muscle to fit the tasks that you're doing regularly, or it just kind of one emaciates into the form that, that is required for the things that you do. I spend a lot of time on machines, spend a lot of time on a computer, and spend a lot of time playing with the dogs. So, that kind of happens. I lose track of that fitness and endurance that I once had. At one point in time, when I was, like I've said, I was 16 and I was just doing this stuff all the time, this would have been no sweat. Like, you know, <laughs> I would have made, I'd have mocked myself if I was like, oh, I'm tired after forging that many bubble openers. And I know when I publish this video, there are going to be a few individuals who are like, oh, you're so lame, Alec. You're tired after forging this many bottle openers, you privileged expletive. You know, you get to sell a $150 bottle opener and are frankly, completely deserved. Anybody mocking me for being tired after forging this few products, working this few hours in a day when there are billions of people having to work harder in one day around the world every single day. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a just mockery. That's a just mockery. I will take that and say, yep, definitely that makes sense. Truth be told, my feelings will be hurt because negative comments hit hard. But hopefully I'll be able to rationalize it and, and then step back and go, wait, hang on, no, that's, that's actually really funny, that makes sense. Hello, everybody. Who 
Who should you call when you fall from exhaustion? Asks Metaredo from Poland. I will say Zinkuje for the uh, for the PLN. You should call when I pass out from exhaustion. Nine nine nine. Absolutely not now, though. Please, dear God. That would be a bad idea. In fact, if I pass out from exhaustion, if it looks like I didn't hit my head, just let me stay asleep. I'm gonna have a good sleep. Happy days. No, but then the dogs, I have to take care of the dogs. The dogs will be all upset, they won't be able to pee. Oh, I need to take the dogs out after this, I need to remember that. Bum, bum, bum. Somebody has asked me to speak German angrily. Macro Micro pulls a 23 hour shift, sleeps seven, and then does another 17. He does six weeks of work in three weeks. 23 hour shift, then seven of sleep, then a 17 hour shift. Presumably then a 23 hour shift after the sleep. That's a lot of work in a regular schedule, if I might say so myself. I think some people are, are built. It's like a, it's like dog. Some dogs are just able to have so much drive, their recharge rate is so quick. And there's just like a difference in, in the way that they're able to, to use their energy. Some people are such hard workers, and some people aren't. And I think in the past, I had a whole lot of that like fire and like that energy to work. And I think some people are able to sustain that for longer periods of time than others. And there's like, a, there's a mental health component to that too in terms of one's like, you know, where their mind is at and, and, and how, they're, how they're motivated to do things based on their headspace. I know there's a lot of that involved. I mean, in the grand picture, I think some people are just able to work a lot more than others, and I'm just so impressed. You know, when I hear people working really, really hard, I think it's so admirable, especially when they do it for a continuous period of time. Because, you know, as I reflect in this inner monologue now, Right now, I have a gloriously cushy existence, which is I have a YouTube channel, you know, I have businesses, and I am here having fun making videos, and I get to make $150 making a bottle opener. Like, that, if, there isn't, if that's not cushy, I don't know what the hell is. Um, there's a hell of a lot of people that are working a hell of a lot harder than me. I did do some of those, uh, I did do some stints of time working a lot more. So the admiration for people who are able to continue it is big. I have big admiration for those that are able to continue it. Because I knew that I was not. And I spotted that, you know what? I'm not one of those people that can continue those serious bouts of work for years and years and years. When I was building the YouTube channel, it's kind of weird to be talking about this in my life. Anyway, hopefully it's interesting to people. When I was building the YouTube channel, that was two years of like grueling work. Holy man, grueling, grueling work. And like those two years of grueling work, they, uh, I burnt some matches doing that. I burnt some matches that I'm not sure will ever, will ever be gotten back. And it helped me realize, like, wow, there's a hell of a lot of respect that has to be had for people that can, that can burn the fire for years and years and years at high intensity. It's extremely admirable and very, very rare. Because I could not. Somebody can be offended because I talk about dog's drives and motivation and then talk about people. Probably a way to be offended about that. It's 
very interesting though. You know, I'm, I'm getting into dog training. And it's really fun looking at my two dogs and trying to work with them and seeing how they're different in some respects than one another. It's just lovely. I'm having a good time playing with the dogs. fun about that is to learn about learning theory as it applies to dogs and animals which from what I understand it was first explored because they wanted to learn more about how humans are going to be learning. And so it's kind of a cool thing to try and you know, work out. It's like okay so training a dog to do a certain behavior elicit you know a certain response to a certain stimulus how, how does one you know how does one do that how does one condition a dog to do these things you know you do it through these various forms of conditioning that's the 150 dollar item and it's interesting to then think then about like okay when i live how am i learning because every time we live and we do something we're learning we're responding to stimulus our brain is uh my oh, myelinating make sure i get that myelin have i got that my and Myelin, it's myelinating, myelin, make sure I say that right, myelinating, myelination, I think we could say myelinating, and every time that we're experiencing anything, I, I, from what I gather, we're constantly myelinate, myelin, I'm not a neurobiologist, anyway, we're constantly learning things, through all the days that we live, input is helping form you know, eventually a response to that input. And it's cool, you know. Going into, like, training my dog and having fun learning about that is then teaching me also about how myself, and how I'm responding to things and learning about things subconsciously without even thinking it. Fun stuff. Cool. We need to sell another bottle. We need to find out if somebody's willing to buy it. We have a camera. There's a ghost. Oh, actually, we're not going to sell the bottle opener just yet. I want to take care of my dogs. Nah. In fact, it makes more sense for me. I'm so sorry. That what an awful noise I just made. I hope you didn't get that. It makes more sense for me to sell it right now. So we are going to sell the next bottle opener right now. Then I'm taking five minutes, ten minutes with the dogs. Frankly, ah, uh, you know what, guys? I need to spend more time than that with the dogs. I'm going to take uh, 15 minutes with the dog, and I'm going to set a timer on my phone and take the dogs out to pee. I'm going to play with the dogs. They've been sitting, being very polite for a while. I need to give them some kind of time right now. Uh, and then we're going to make the next bottle opener, if it sells. That is the grand question. the next one right so we got the next price increase coming up in case anybody wants it It's live. Will it sell? I presume it's just going to take longer and longer to sell every time. This is insane. From Dallas, Texas. From Dallas, Texas. Oh, I'm gonna make you a fine bottle opener after I play with my dogs. So, 
Dear friends of the internet, thank you for being here. Stay put, go get a drink, go hang out. You know what you can do too if you have dogs? Go play with your dogs. I go see what I can get up to, see what mischief we, me and the dogs can get up to here without going too far. I'm going to be back in 15 minutes. You can put a timer on. Fifteen minutes starting now. See if I can get up to any mischief. I need to pee. The dogs need to pee. I'll see you all in fifteen minutes.
Can you hear me? The 15 minute break is up. Can you hear me singing really, really badly? We're done taking a break and playing with the dogs. I tried pre playing a little game of Krabby Hands with Yoga. It's usually like a good way to rile her up. She is uh, pooped today. Whenever we go for a walk, if we walk three miles, she manages to walk about 10, say run, chasing birds. I was just speaking to my wife on the phone. I think Yoga might be a little bit pooped from that walk. There we go, this is live. I have a clicker on me in case I need to reward all of you folks for being here. That's a joke. The clicker is for the dog. Um, yeah. Please guys, spam the chat if, uh, if I mess up and the audio goes bad at some point. Because that's very possible. I'm the only person here and these mics are like on their dying legs. So that could totally happen. What's up everybody? 1774 viewers on the stream. Hey crazy, come on. Let me help you out here. You get a little tangled up there. Let's just do this. This will be easy. Less confusion. Come on. Come on, puppy. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. Yoga will hold her place really, really, really well. Oh, I can leave that open for her. So, welcome back. I'm rambling. If you're new here, let me explain the situation. I started out the day 
Oh my goodness. Camera up, your head is out of frame. I can do this for you. Where would you like the angle? Here we go, now you see a little bit of yoga. Make sure yoga is in frame for you. If you're ever wondering why the framing is like this, it's just for yoga. I don't need to press record. That's not how that works. Right, let's make some things. Saying turn on the sound, did it just go? Beep, pop. No, it didn't. So here's the deal. We started out the day selling a bottle opener for one penny. We then raised the price by $1.99 and from there started raising the price by $2 every single time I made a bottle open. Until we got to a certain price point at which we started raising the price by $5 every time. So, about 20 people got a bottle opener for under $40 and we're currently at the ridiculous figure of $160 and I've got to make that bottle opener for a fine gentleman from Texas and uh, we're just going to get right to it. Wow, that was a lot of energy for me being uh, quite tired. Oh, I need to film on the other camera at the same time because I also make YouTube videos. Bing bang bong! These are the noises I make to test mics. I go doop doop da bing bang bong. Oh, do I drink more rain or do I not? Tough call to make. What happened to Jamie? Jamie has gone home. He has a long drive home. Oh, kid okay. One $160 bottle opener coming right up, my dear friends. Sound off in the comments, chat, if you are here from the first hour. Let me know if you've been watching it since the first hour. I want to see if there's a lot of people watching. Average watch time, so most people that click on, 251,000 people have clicked on this thing. Most people watched for 4 minutes and 39 seconds. But there's, there's, that, there's that special few who just hang out for the whole time. And I want to just say hello and thank you. Yes, me. There we go. YouTube, Blobby, Jack C, Azamath, Matthew, 
Noosa Cat. Tippy Tail McTitty from the. Wait, oh, I said McKitty. <laughs> Oh, his name is Mook Kitty. I said something I shouldn't have said. Uh, yes, there's tons of you guys. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Oh, somebody joined 10 minutes in. is coming back in the old uh, forearm bicep. I don't know what muscle that would be called. Obviously there's not a bicep in the forearm but right across here. Wozum. You guys are watching from a long time. That's awesome. Thank you all for being here. Next up who is going to be here watching until... Ah! Can you see that? Of course you can't. You're too far away. Like a little muscle that popped out from the crampy. Golly. What a little weakling I am. Ow! Locking up. So, I don't know, about an hour ago, two hours ago, something, <laughs> my right, right arm started cramping up. And uh, it is still cramping. That's good. It shows that we are doing something mildly uncomfortable, which is exactly what I want. Kind of see the clouds uh, through one of these windows. So I'm trying to get a shot of the clouds. Like, the kind of story I'm trying to tell is like, hey, time's passing, the sun is about to set, type of deal. I don't know if it'll work super well. Not the best angle right here.
the one bites the dust, folks. So we are at 160. Up goes the price. Up goes the price. Tuck my shirt in. Get ready on the website. If you are wanting to buy a more expensive bottle opener. Because I'm going to update it. Holy mackerel. It's at 160 right now. That means we are raising it to $170. That blows my mind. There we go. $170. Is it gonna happen? Or are we done? How much longer is somebody willing to keep me straight? It's gone. Thank you, sir. You know who you are. You know who you are. Oh my goodness. I wanna just shout out your location, roughly, not very accurately. I'm trying to be very cognizant of not sharing too much personal information. I made one slip up. Um, but, big thank you to somebody in Ontario for purchasing this bottle opener, keeping the stream going. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the incredible amount of money. We're gonna make you a bottle opener. That's it. I've got to focus some. I'm, I'm starting to go a little cuckoo. Cuckoo's been there the whole time. I'm starting to really lose track of what I'm doing. You know, punching hole. this angle while this heats up for you guys so you have a better vantage point. I imagine this must be getting cold. In case you haven't been watching for like eight hours, you didn't hear me say it. In past live streams I've had all the fancy like switching gear and all of that. I do not have it uh, today. All of that gear is in my Montana shop. But so when I do a live stream from the Montana shop I will give you something better. For now however I wish I had more angles, I do not. I appreciate you hanging out with us nonetheless. Ah, yes. Uh, so I had this thing up earlier, which was showing that we were increasing the price by larger sums of money. That's what we're meant to be doing. We're meant to be increasing the price now that we're at past 140, I should be increasing the price by $15 every time. I've got to say, I actually just kind of want to just keep making bottle openers for a while. I'm having a good time. And I'm kind of hesitant to make the jump too big because I'm enjoying being here. And I want to at least be doing this until I don't like the idea of being here. Otherwise, this isn't a challenge. This is just a really fun day. Maybe I should drop the price increase down to $2 a piece. I don't know. But I am indeed not following my rules. You are correct. I said that, uh, that we'd be jumping up by 15. I'm just having too much of a good time. So maybe we'll do a few more at 10. And I'm just gonna push it up $10 increments. Maybe in a little bit we'll go to 15. But there's certainly not enough suffering happening right here. I mean, I'm having it a little too easy.
people are saying I should drop the price all the way down. Trouble with that, I, I, get, I like the idea, but I don't think that's fair on the people that held out and I'm willing to spend all that money right now for me to then just drop the price on the actual item. I'm trying to run that through the old, uh, the old fairness calculator in my head to see if that's at all a reasonable thing. You know, we toyed a little bit with the idea of like, oh, we go up to 150 and then back down to 110 the whole way down. Then I'll be here doing the same thing double. I am going to run out of this bar of steel, so we're soon going to have to change it slightly. Use a different bar of steel. I don't have the exact same size. But I don't think it'd be fair to drop the price. I think I'd be, that would not be good. Zach, good to see you. Zach McConochie. I'm sorry you got to go, but I will see you soon. Just having to spot your comment saying you're headed off. What's up, everybody? Oh, 20 people saying increase the price and two saying drop it. That's good to hear. I have a, a, a very... Whenever I look at the chat, I only see a few comments. It's like on screen, maybe like 20 in front of me. My eyes are only spotting so many, so it'd be really easy to make a mistake. Uh, and, and like look at one comment, and that's what I focus in on. And not know what the general consensus is. And obviously the general consensus is important when we have an ethics question, such as, is it fair to drop the price? But uh, it's good to have somebody give me that grander view and say, no, there are about 20 people saying raise the price. So that's good. We'll do a few more with a $10 increase in it. We'll see. Oh, it's so cool. You can see on my little concurrent viewers chart, I can see a dip every time I take a break. I'm taking three breaks, three dips. Yeehaw. Eight hours, 48 minutes of stream. Can we get to 12 hours? How funny would that be? Oh, I completely lost track of what I'm doing. Did the wrong thing on that heat. I need to, uh, next bottle of Rimex, sort of zone in. Like, get back in the groove of things so I'm properly paying attention. I don't like that enough. It needs to be fixed. William says keep raising it. He wants to see how much people will pay. Flip a coin after each one. Heads, price goes up $10. Tails, it goes down $10. I've actually got to say, that's a, that's a pretty unique idea. I really like that. For a future video, oh, I, I really wish I could spot your name so I can take, so I can probably give you, okay, here we go, I'm taking a photo. There's a really special idea there. Flipping a coin to decide the price or something. That's freaking fantastic. Ryan May, thank you. Done. I've got to make a note of this. I love it when you guys give me these amazing ideas. It is ridiculously helpful because it hopefully means that I can make interesting YouTube videos that people will watch. And I think that idea is to have a concept that like, I can really build something off of. So a big thank you. Brian, amazing idea, but it's really, really appreciated. Okay. Got to get in the old groove here. Keep it sloppy. That, uh, that one hole, sorry, I had to mess with it a little bit. It was off center and I didn't like that. So I'm now going to put the drift back in and hopefully. Oh, it's better. Are we all the way there? Pretty close. If I do that. I like it. I like it. Ooh, that was the one. Much better. Forge. This button is where you really kill your efficiency. But that's okay. We're here to have a good time.
to do a forging session until the forge dies. Honestly, that's an amazing idea as well. There's a really good video concept there. Thank you. Where oh, Mike G, you sir R A G, I believe as the cool kids say. Circle that. That's another amazing idea. And some photos. Forging until the forge dies. There's something really special about that idea because I think a lot of people are curious about how long does a forge continue to live. The truth is, is that if we did this on the forge at the workshop in Montana, uh, we would be forging indefinitely because we're plumbed into, uh, plumbed into gas. So there's nothing to stop. There's nothing to stop forging until we stop paying the natural gas bill. So a few months, then we'd stop forging. Here, however, it'd be an interesting way for you to find out about how long uh, how long a bottle of gas lasts. And just for you beautiful 2,344 people watching, I will tell you, on a forge like this, a 100 pound or 47 kilo bottle of propane will last you, ooh, I won't say. Depends what you do. You'll get a minimum two days of forging and a maximum four days of forging. And so it would be a high and low for a 47 kilo bottle. How much does a 47 kilo bottle cost? Depends where you are and what deals you've got. I would suggest, however, if you're a professional at least, I don't know if you'll get away with it if you're a hobbyist. If you're a professional, not hot, it's fine. If you're a professional, by goodness, anytime you buy bottled gas, Haggle, 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 haggle. They've got the ability to do some beautiful stuff with the margins. And those uh, sales reps, all of them that I've come across whenever I'm buying bottled gas, the sales reps are willing to work with you on price if you ask for it. Um, you can pay a lot of money for a bottle of gas if you're just buying one and, uh, and you're not negotiating for quantity. And they have tons of ways that uh, you can save money in the long run, whether that's saving money on like, you know, the rental of the bottles of the certain things that you have. Well, uh, there are ways to save money there. There are also ways to save money on the actual price of the gas itself. That is amazing. This is in the pile at an incredible price of $160. We're now selling the next one. But anyway, anytime you're buying bottles of gas, haggle, haggle, haggle. Um, ask for a better deal, they will likely give it to you. That's, you know, usually when you're dealing with a sales rep of an actual kind of company. So like if you're dealing with a sales rep of Cal or Gas, who is, uh, you know, these people here, they'll be able to help you. Just like the regular person at the counter at the gas station isn't going to help you when you're buying a bottle of gas. I'm talking on a slightly larger scale, you know, you're dealing to an actual gas supplier, not, you know, going to your gas station and filling up one, like, 10 pound for a pain bottle. I hope that context makes sense. What we're now doing is we are raising the price. We will find out, is there somebody in these 2,346 people, or out of the 259,712 people that have clicked on this video, is there somebody that is willing to pay the utterly incredible, ridiculous, mind-blowing amount of $180? I'm putting a $10 increase on this. I don't want to go to $15 just yet. $180. Get ready. If somebody wants it, if they are willing, if you want to keep me here forging, there is a $180 bottle opener that you can buy live on the website right now. Washington, Washington Estate. You've kept this live stream going, and you've given me an exorbitant amount of money for a bottle opener. You rock. The insanity continues. The insanity continues. Shout out to Washington State.
for giving. Well, how, how can I phrase that? I'm like trying to say something along the lines of like, shout out to Washington State for birthing the person that hath purchased this uh, this piece. I don't know if the chap is born there or not, but uh, you get the type of thing. You know? Well, let me say it dramatically so for the sound bite. Thank you to Washington State for birthing the great person that hath bought this bottle opener for 180 schmacker frickin' ruskies. I mean, we're almost talking two Benjamins. Did I get that right? I'm saying the right word? Yeah. Almost two Benjamins. You guys are crazy, and I'm so grateful. It's so much fun. I hope that you are enjoying this as much. I am, if you're in ridiculousness as much as I am. I hope you get the humor in this and the fun of experimenting and finding out what is physically possible. I'm gonna be here until it becomes so expensive that it is impossible for somebody to justify it. Thank you, my friends. Let's make a bottle of that. And I'm focusing on this one. I say that every time. I actually am. So I'm going to try and not talk from now until when it's finished.
is a $180 bottle. Unbelievable. It's on to the next one, folks. Couch potato, thank you for the $14.99. You guys rock. You guys rock. Here we go. It's happening. $190. Here we go. $190. There's one in stock. It's in stock. It's in stock. And it's gone. We've got to make a bottle of it and send to Minneapolis. Insanity. Utter insanity. Utter insanity. Go to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Wait, my brain is gone. It's fine. I want to make sure I get that right. Make sure I. Uh... Holy cow! Holy cow! Go to Minnesota. Thank you, sir. Let's get you your bottle up now. Get you your bottle. My bicep has been cramping up in the forging, but it seems to play up when I'm at the horn. When I drive the drift, it's all fine. We'll see what happens on this next heat. Then again, since I just thought about it, I'm probably gonna like make my bicep start hurting. Uh oh. There's an excellent connection for me. What happened? Oh. Back, we're back, we're back. It's back. Apparently we're back, guys.
muscle's not cramping up on this bottle opener. That's good. Still got some life left in us, boys. And girls. We still got a few more bottle openers. As I said, I'm about to run out of this material size, so we are going to slightly have a modification. I'll update the photo, I'll do all that stuff. We'll be good to go. Apparently it's a little laggy. Internet's working. Hope it's all working. So it's coming in in 144p. like that. It's helpful for tweaking this type of stuff. You can get the horn in where other horns would not go. Did you see light jump by? I've got to say, it's amazing how over the last few years how streaming technology has gone on. So apparently some people are saying still going in 1080. It's uh, amazing how streaming stuff has gone. So I have a camera right here. It has an HDMI output. Then I have an HDMI cable. The thing is, is that computers don't just have an HDMI input where you can put the HDMI in. If they have an HDMI, it's just an HDMI output. What you need is something called a capture card to take that HDMI and put it into USB format. And this stuff, when I first started doing this stuff, and I remember when I did the Alex Steele live show with Sam, back at Alex Steele live show episode one, that was like right at the beginning of live streaming anything. Live stream on Facebook was just kind of getting going, and I wasn't seeing a whole lot of it. And so it was, uh, you know, that type of stuff was just kind of getting started, at least for blacksmithing. And the type of thing I was following and seeing was happening. I'm sure and the type of things I was following and seeing happen. Right? I'm sure there's tons more streaming happening in the gaming space, but at least the type of equipment that I had to get, I really struggled to find it. It wasn't out there quite, uh, quite the same way, and so I had to spend a lot more money on capture cards to actually get the footage in to the computer to work. And then I had these black magic capture cards that were always super glitchy and they were really expensive. Then had to you know, have an HDMI switcher. That one's done. That's made. We just made a hundred and ninety dollar bottle opener. Anyway, this, I went on Amazon, I typed in capture card because I don't have my live streaming gear here. I got this thing for like 30 freaking dollars. Look at that. Things on Amazon. For like 30 bucks, that that HDMI capture card. I used to spend hundreds of dollars for these things. That's pretty sick. Anybody with a camera with an HDMI output can now start live streaming for 30 bucks. How neat is that? Now what do you guys prefer? You wanna be tight in on the anvil or you wanna be wide out? I mean, the forging is probably pretty old, but then again, it's probably kind of boring just looking at me. I'm just standing there doing things, hammering away, talking to myself, like a crazy person. Like that's all I'm doing, just talking to myself like a crazy person. See how that frame is. Oh, I'm getting tight ends, I'm getting wides, wide, wide. Oh, there's definitely a lot more wides. 
wide, wide, wide. Zoom in, close, wide, okay? I'm seeing wides. I'm also blown out. I've got too much exposure, or rather too little exposure to the sun. That's what you get for a British winter. So I'm gonna turn it down, raise her up. Let's see, I'm a little overexposed. A little, little better on the old skin tones, yep, yep. I'm more tanned than that, for goodness sake. All right, I'm about to raise the price, by the way, guys. So, heads up. We are going to try and see if it's physically possible to sell another bottle of Hello. Yep, much better exposure. Is this possible? It's getting expensive. Is this camera still working? Yes, it is. I have one rain energy drink left. We'll have the dribs and drabs of this. I actually think there's gonna be a point where this lasts so long uh, that I need to start raising the price really high, not because I wanna stop forging, but because it gets unfair on the docks. Because those poor little thingies are they're just hanging around being patient for me, waiting to, waiting to go home and do things. So, we'll start raising the price. We'll get this to 200, and then maybe, maybe that's when I say we do have to start going to a $15 increase. So we were at $190. We are now raising the price by $10 to $200. This is insanity. I accept this. This is ridiculous, like, levels of fortune that I could possibly conceive of selling this bottle opener with you know market value from you know just absolutely you know any any blacksmith could forge this bottle opener and sell it for 10 20 dollars it's ridiculous and mind-blowing that i'm raising the price to 200 dollars and i'm now about to add this in stock but this is this is the experiment that we're running the challenge that we're having who will outdo the other will the price raise so high that I go home, or will I simply, through personal exhaustion, or through needing to go home for the dogs, will it be me? We shall find out. I think the dogs are okay for now. I want to make another bottle of them. And we've got to make a bottle of them and go to Chicago. Another one sold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang out another little bowl up in here. I'm gonna keep going. I've got dog food with me. We've got water. Yoga's curled up. She's, in, she's awake. Oh, crazy's resting. Let's get it done. Hit a paddle, let's get out of it. We are making a $200 bottle opener. Ooh, a little short on material there. In with a new bit of steel. Here we go. Bottle opener for Chicago. Thank you all. I cannot read these comments. This is just too far. This is just impossible. I can't read anymore. You guys are commenting too quickly for me. And there's no more Jaffa cakes. What am I doing? I'm making a bottle opener. I had something else on my mind. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Not that. This. Kablamma. Here we go. Wow, the chat is going crazy, guys. You guys are flooding the comments. See if I can make a really quick one here. I've been, I've been slowing down and I, and, I, and I have a lot of slow time here in between pieces. Let me see if I can crank this down. 
it possible to go less than five minutes? That's the challenge that I'm going to set myself. Five minutes, three, two, one. A little challenge to stress the old system here. Let's see what I can do. Time is going for five minutes. Oh, yes. See, a little challenge is always good. It spices up the, spices up the old uh, situation. There. I feel like the forge is getting a little cold. Oh, I don't know why the forge is getting cold. I only have one burner on. Like a, like an empty. I can turn it down a few psi. Three, two, one. What was my record earlier in the stream for the fastest one that I made? I can't remember. for nine hours and 23 minutes. All right, who the hell are people spamming? Where are the spammers? Spammers, be gone. Fastest one was three minutes, 45 seconds. Wow, I've really slowed down. That's fascinating. Interesting, like, one person study on human performance over duration. How? much tiredness affects my perceived efficiency versus my actual efficiency. Because right now, I actually feel like I'm moving really fast, you know? I'm like, oh wow, I'm really going, I'm going, I'm going. But in fact, like if I step back for a second, I'm trying to analyze myself, I realize actually I'm functioning really, like I'm, I'm making fast movements with my body, but like that heat, I didn't have all my stuff planned beforehand. Uh, and, and I wasn't thinking through what are my next five blows. I was thinking, okay, what are my blows right now? And that thinking time is taking much longer. It's funny, you know, we're nine and a half hours into the stream. That's not even abnormal. A nine hour work day? Golly, how many of you guys do that on the regular? Probably a huge percentage. A lot of this stream, you know, if you're just joining, you probably haven't picked 
up on me making fun of myself for having any sort of suggestions that I'm tired at any point. But it is ridiculous that at any point in time I'd be like, oh, I'm tired, all oh, my arms are cramping up, considering the like utter cushiness of this whole situation. Oh, that's one! There goes the timer. I was like two seconds late. If I wasn't talking, I would have got it. You know what I'm saying? But that was a five minute one. And that's a minute and a half slower than my best. A minute and 15 seconds slower than my best. But yes, I have been, you know, I, I want it to be known. I realize how funny it is that I'm here like, oh, I'm tired after nine and a half hours when a ton of you guys are doing days like that on the trot. I, uh, I feel that that is right. Okay, so I've got this time lapse done over here. I am gonna change lenses on this bad mama jammer. Oh, you know what I'm gonna be interested to do? To kind of reflect on, on this, I'm interested. I'm gonna look back at this live stream and I'm gonna look at the way that I talk at like one minute, at one hour, uh, two hour, three hour, all the way through to nine hours. And it's gonna be really interesting. I'll be able to see, wow, how much does my, my speech change, my energy levels? You know, how, how do all these things change over time? Because I feel like, you know, I'm slurring a lot more, a lot slower. Let's see how it goes. Right, quiz popping, y'all. People are saying we need a mod. Yeah, a mod would be good. I need to know if there's somebody that I can trust to be a moderator, and I will make you a moderator, and then you can go spam things. If you're trustworthy, let me know. Just say, I'm trustworthy. That makes sense. Oh, this guy, who's just sent a whole load of things. You're not trustworthy. Hide you, oh, frick. I just made them a moderator. Oh, goodness gracious me. I gotta go deal with this, guys. I'm so tired, I right clicked and I hit make moderator. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, hang on a second, guys. I gotta do something. I gotta fix this moderator issue. I gotta mute this. I got a phone call. Alright, listen up everybody. That was Mrs. Steele. She called me to let me know that you should all behave. And any of you folks writing silly comments, moderate your damn selves. Okay? Let's get this under control. Let's have a good live stream. Everybody's saying that I can trust them. Wow. Somebody's saying I shouldn't trust them. They sound like the type of person. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are funny. In fact, I'm funny. I just made a spammer a freaking moderator. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do I deal with this damn thing? Oh, Dead Rabbit, I believe is your name. I've been doing this for too damn long. Here's dinner with Mr. Steele. He just gave me 50 bucks. Thank you. 
I have a dinner date with Mr. Steele planned for a week of this night, a night of this week, I can't remember which, I don't know when, I don't know where. It's planned, it's in my calendar, and I'm looking forward to it. And I will make sure that your $50 goes towards that date. Thank you very much. $55. Thank you, sir. Wowza. <laughs> Hey, Greg from Missoula, Montana. How you doing? How is it over there in the old treasure state? Please tell me I didn't get that wrong. I'm looking forward to being back. Yeah, phew, I got it right. How is it going over in the treasure state? That would be embarrassing if I didn't get that right. Ha, Hadoukanen. Alec can swing a hammer, but not a ban a hammer. Let's get it. Oh wait, no, I gotta do a thing, a thing. Here we go, we're making something. Forgot about that. We're making a YouTube video. Hello, YouTube. Tic Tac Tac, shoot, we're out of battery. Oh boy, hopefully. Oh, hopefully we survive. The battery's on my plate of food. I need to make dinner again soon. Oh, this always happens. No. No. Oh, I hate it when I do this. <laughs> oh. oh, no! I do this all the time. Especially when I'm tired. Okay, here's the scoop, guys. I don't know which batteries are. Ch I don't know which batteries are charged and which are not. The battery's dead over here. Oh no. Okay, I don't need to do that. Okay, guys. Here's the deal. I need a detective in here. This is my battery charger. I had it plugged in. I walked up to it. I took batteries out. I don't know which batteries I took out. I don't know which are fresh. I don't know which are used. Because some of the batteries in some of my hands are dead. And some of the batteries in some of my hands are alive. So this is what I gotta deal with right now. I gotta just play a little gambling game here. I'm hoping that all the batteries in my left hand are good. table, the ones that are full will not bounce. They look pretty bouncy to me. But these are the ones I'm counting on being full, so. Charged batteries are, you guys are pranking me! Charged batteries are heavier, no they're not. See, it's too late. Charged batteries are heavier. <laughs> trying, to, trying to make me look like a stupid person. You guys are funny. All right, we got full bars here. Ah, 
Somebody said to put them back in the charger. That's actually a good idea because the charger has a battery charged indicator on it. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm just an idiot. Why would I? That's just mean to people with a southern accent. See, it's late. I do not have a filter right now. I rarely have a filter. But it's not. It's not very much there right now. Okay. Where are my damn batteries? Got two right there. I'm soon going to be getting ready to take some AA batteries out of my carbon monoxide detectors. And this is a backup. It's not a carbon monoxide detector. It's my doorbell. I will take batteries out of my doorbell if I have to. That shows you that I am serious. If I will take batteries out of my damn doorbell. We need to sell an... Ah, I forgot what I'm doing. Yeah, just acting like a, like a silly person. Right, we have... Ah! Phone batteries. See, Yoko's looking at me like I'm a crazy person. She's looking at me like, hey, Alec, you're not right in the head today. What's going on? I just did the same thing with the camera batteries. I now have two batteries in my hand. I don't know which battery is the fresh one and which is the one I just took out of the camera. You'd say, Alec, you're too tired to work. This is unsafe. I do this exact same thing four times a week. Not quite every day. Okay, I did the right one. It's red on the charger. I don't do this every single day. Four times a week, I run around thinking which is the right battery. Tic tac talk. Still got audio. Okay, here we go. Film in a YouTube video, welcome to the behind the scenes. This $200 bottle opener is going to Chicago. Now we've been doing $10 increases on each sale at this point. We're now at a $200 bottle opener. We're gonna raise it to a $15 a piece, but we're gonna raise it to a $15 increase. Ah, uh, that was rambly, I can do better. I can do better, that's crap, come on, come on. Come on. Man. We've been doing a $10. We've been doing a $10 increase each sale. We're now gonna go to a $15 increase. We will see, will somebody? Ah, uh, there's, there's something better, I can do better, come on. Think of some good words. So, in our quest to find out how much money is somebody willing to spend on one of these things, we're now going to make a jump of fifteen dollars every single time one is sold. That was better. That was some better language and words and things. Three e. What is somebody saying three e for? People saying, oh, yeah, yeah. we got it eventually. Why is this filming now? Was I not filming when I did it? You want to know the worst thing in the world? Ah, uh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to talk about myself here a little bit. Got to get a little, little bit of that. I've got to tell some of the story about, like, hey, how am I feeling? I'm going crazy. That's the answer. I've currently been live streaming for 9 hours and 39 minutes. I can barely put together a single sentence. I'm going completely delusional and mad. But in our qu But in our But in our quest to, but in our quest to find out how much is somebody going to spend on one of these bottle openers? We're going to start raising the price, not $10 ago, but $15 ago. So the next one... ...needs to sell for $215. Is 
it already sold? No. It hasn't already sold. Good. Make sure I'm not making a mistake here. Here we'll find out. Will somebody spend that ridiculous amount of money? Or are we going to be playing the waiting game? Is it going to happen? Will the notification pop up? The chat, we got 2,500 people waiting to find out. What a day. It's still there. It's still there. Have we reached the extent of ridiculousness? Am I going to keep forging, or is it the end of the day? It is still in stock. This is the longest. This is the longest, this is the longest any of these have stayed in stock. Chair. We'll see who has more patience. Oh, it just gone. <laughs> it's bloody well gone. It's out of stock. We gotta make a two hundred and fifteen. Dollar bottle opener. In the fire we go. The party continues. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Simon. You're awesome. Simon, thank you. I'm saying your name because you said it in the chat. Thank you very much, Simon. Everybody, sound off in the chat. Thank you, Simon. We are continuing. I'm going crazy. Right, let's make a bottle up. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> I've got to be careful. Fortunately, this type of forging isn't. It's not like I'm running a power hammer, but I'm... <laughs> like I'm, I don't feel like I'm at risk of really hurting myself today. There's some... I will, oh my goodness, I was using the lathe right now. Oh good. That'd be like, I would die if I was using the lathe right now. Here, I can hurt my hand. I feel pretty good about this. We're making a $215 bottle of that. Here we go. Yee-haw. Let's get at it. Let's get at it. Oh, man. I've got to take a couple PSI off the old forge here. Throw one of these bad boys in. Incredible, incredible. If I start singing a song for everybody who buys a bottle of them, I need to feel okay that they'd be okay with saying their name. Since Simon 
very kindly said in the chat. You know, I feel I feel better about sick. I mean, you're there in the chat. You're, you're letting people know. Maybe I, I shall serenade you with thanks. You like Blue Dykeman's song, but instead, thank you Simon's song. You know, I'm actually quite pleased. I've decided that I'm going to turn on the filter of normal normality, and I'm not going to serenade you, Simon. I will say thank you very much, like a normal person. Thank you for your business. It is much appreciated. Uh, we are looking forward to fulfilling your order. <sighs> it took a lot of self-restraint. took a lot of self-restraint. Spider on the ground. Is it uncouth to kill a spider? I'm sure I'm using that word correctly. Good. Is it uncouth to kill a spider while live streaming? just about to start saying like, wow, my arm hasn't had a cramp or spasm for a while. I'll let you finish the rest of the story about what then just happened. You know when somebody's like, hey, let me tell you something? They're like, hey, let me tell you something. Oh, oh, shoot, don't worry brain didn't work. Most of the time, you can look back a few seconds and you can remember what you were saying. I've lost that. Like that history, like I can't go like command, how do you search for history on a computer? Is it command K? Ah, shift command H. Shift command H is not happening in the old brain right now. It is a, <laughs> there ain't none of that. I have zero idea what my train of thought was. Or is everything. What was I saying? I had something to say. Ah, yes, I was going to say this while I was contemplating the lack of history. Live streaming and trying to like do something entertaining. It takes some energy. Remember when I did those live streams back with Sam in the day? I'd do it and I was, well, at the beginning, the very beginning of doing it, oh my goodness, so much like pump after it. It was all oh, so exciting, so exciting. But uh, it was a, it's like physically demanding. You're speaking to a camera, you're trying to like keep up with things to say. It is exhausting, it takes a lot out of you. And I'm just saying that so I don't feel quite so embarrassed about how tired I am after only working for however many hours I have been working since getting here at the work. I feel very tired. My brain is very fuzzy. And uh, there we go. 
Let go of the tongs. Fun. <laughs> Done. Done. That is a $215 bottle of Nah. Where are we? We are here. There we go. Da 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 da. Da 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 Right, time to raise the price. It's so difficult to mark these stupid spam comments. Hide user. This hand does not need to be up. I can put it down. Guys, stop freaking spamming the chat. There's kind people here who are enjoying the chat. You spammers are making the chat less enjoyable for these kind people, which ultimately is making people click off here. Can you make people click off of here because they didn't enjoy the chat? It's not good. It means less people are watching. It means less people are enjoying this stuff. It means I take homeless bacon to Mrs. Steele. It's not good. Come on. Leave the damn spam comments out of here. Ah! I'm going to sell another thing. Let's go. Get it. I missed it. Come on now. Let's go. Let's get it. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Sell another one. <laughs> Somebody's worried they're gonna see me have <laughs> an industrial accident. live stream. Oh my goodness, Yoga has found the spider that I was asking about whether I could kill it. She loves spiders. She's so intrigued by them. She likes looking at them and like sniffing them and playing with them. It's probably a bad habit. I'm going to put her back on her place. The good thing is, here in England, there isn't a single thing that will allow her to get hurt by a spider. Are there any poisonous spiders in England? I don't know. Anyway, I was doing something. Here. I was raising the price. Let's do that. Oh, let's go raise the damn price. Two hundred and thirty smackarooskies for this bottle of. <laughs> Okie 
Ricky, get ready. We've got one $230 bottle opener up on the site. Let's just keep refreshing. Martina Steele. That's annoying. That's the problem. Hang on a second now. Ah, oh, crap. It's still in stock. It's gone. We sold the $240 bottle opener. It's going to Belgium. I gotta make a phone call. And then I gotta make a $240 Belgium. Oh, I gotta make a $240 Belgium opener. Belgium opener. Okay, hang on a second. People are telling me to hydrate. I need to do that. I need to make a phone call too. Ah, uh, let me mute myself. Beep. Bang. That was Mr. Steele calling to ask if I was sane. I told her, yes, I was sane. In fact, I think I'm insane. <laughs> that was not funny. I need to go urinate. I'm going to go urinate, and I will spare you those noises. I will be muted while I urinate.
making a $230 bottle opener, which is amazing and crazy and awesome. Okie doke, let's get it. People are saying they can hear me. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny. Let's make a freaking bottle of knife. Somebody played the zipper down prank and it didn't get me. Oh, uh, you wanna know what the zipper down prank is? You tell me my zipper's down, and then I look at it. <laughs> and you're like, hey, culture! Didn't get me that time, did ya? Ha! Ha! <laughs> right, let's punch a hole. Blacksmithing. But I should update you.
ready to put pizza in the oven. I don't know about you guys. I'm getting hungry. I've got a pepperoni pizza I picked up yesterday. Oh, yes. Second pizza of the day. Thank you very much. tell if I'm starting to reach like a, a flow state where I can just keep going or if I'm so tired and delusional that what's in fact happening is that every five minutes I'm changing my mind as to whether I'm exhausted or whether I'm full of energy because that I presume would be when you're getting delusional Because that presumably would be a sign of getting delusional. You don't even know how much energy you have. I have decided that I'd quite like to eat some food. This would be the perfect opportunity to use a knife, but that's on my pocket, and that seems like that'd be too much work. We're in. Time to get cooked. Oh. in the oven. You'll be glad to know. Ah, we need to sell another bottle of Set the timer. Thank you! Hakan Blomqvist. I hope I pronounced it right. Thank you for telling me to set a timer. If you didn't, I would be, uh, hmm, uh, whew. 
insert expletive of your choice. That's not even funny. She sounds stupid. Jeez Louise. Somebody on the live stream said I should set a timer, and that is life saving. Let's find out am I cooking this? Let's find out if I'm cooking this pizza in vain. And in fact, we can go home. Or is somebody willing to buy another frickin' bottle? Good lord. Two thirty to two forty-five. Two hundred and forty-five smackaroonies. So sorry, smackarooskies. There is one in stock at two hundred and forty-five. Goodness gracious dollars. Let's see, will it sell? Will it sell? This is quite comfortable. <laughs> oh my goodness, unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable guys. Onwards, the day continues. Another one shall be made, yes it shall. Get to it. Let's make our next one. It's good. Every time I sell one, there's like a little, uh, hmm, oh, like dopamine spike. Like I'm all of a sudden like I'm good to go again. How interesting would that be? While I'm doing this day, like measure find out how my brain chemistry is changing through it. Like every time I sell one, a little ching 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 ching, -ching like, oh, exciting. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I'm really tired. Then I'm like, oh, really exciting. Then I'm like, oh, wow, I'm really tired. I sell another, exciting. Bing, bang, bong. <laughs> Bing, bang, bong. <laughs> Bing, bang, bong has become my new, like, saying today. No, Bing, bang, bong. Somebody want to make me a Bing, bang, bong t-shirt? Make a Bing Bang Bong t-shirt and we can, we can sell a Bing Bang Bong t-shirt. I'm far too tired to come up with a good business deal though, so maybe you shouldn't make a Bing Bang Bong t-shirt because I, I, I'm not gonna be able to come up with something interesting and, and like useful for it. Don't make a Bing Bang Bong t-shirt, that's a bad idea. I can't promise you anything right now. Sorry that I'm doing impolite things like chewing on my fingers during the scream. It's disgusting and, and not polite. I've kind of like had to, <laughs> like I've had to. I haven't made the conscious decision. I'm losing my manners as I fall into this pit of exhaustion. So I will do things that are nasty. I shouldn't do them. I'm just like ripping apart my cuticles. It's a stupid habit, it's not good. chop myself. Alright, let's punch a damn hole. I lost my glove. Where did I put my glove? Uh, 
Should I have left a glove? Is it in the fridge? How good would that be if I left it in the fridge? <laughs> There's a right glove. Where's a left glove? I don't want to use that left glove. I have a better left glove. It's somewhere. But I don't know where. Where did I leave my glove? This is so... I, okay. Come on now. Alec. One glove. Where would you have been? That is not the left glove that I need. If all else fails, I will take that left glove. But I'm committed here. I like the other one better. So, I was here, I did a talking segment. I sold one, I did a talking segment. I then came over to here. And what did I do when I was here? I got a pizza out of the fridge. Could I have actually, no, double check the fridge. It's not there. I came up to here, there is a pizza carton. <laughs> the glove is on the oven. The glove is on the stove top. I found the glove. Right. Got the glove. Okay, okay. Let's get back into the groove here. for an impromptu tool review. How do I like this little spin-out tray? I absolutely love it. I wish I had one sooner. This is amazing. I highly recommend you make one on your anvils. Okay. Steel top. Somebody said to make a habit of putting the gloves in my pocket. It's a really good thing to say. I actually have another strategy that I use when I'm in a particularly losey phase of life. Sometimes I really lose things a lot. And that is I have a hole in the gloves that I cut in them, and then I'll put a carabiner on this belt loop here, and I carabiner the gloves to myself. And uh, little things like that. I tried to work out, okay, how many minutes of every hour did I spend looking for gloves? I was going insane. I was just looking for gloves all the time. And I figured I'd probably spent two minutes every hour of a productive, you know, every productive hour of the day looking for gloves. And then, like, you know, you can do those calculations. If you waste two minutes an hour, how many hours is that a day? How much are you trying to make an hour uh, or, or a day or however much? How, how much does that two minutes affect it? And it can be insane. Little small changes. You make these little tweaks, run the calculations, find out how much you're costing yourself. And, uh, and yeah, so I made, I made that little improvement to like get in the habit of putting things on the glove on the carabiner. And sometimes I get in the swing of actually doing that, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes the glove ends up on the oven. Could have ended up in the fridge. But uh, I liked doing that when I do that. It's the right type of project to do it, because I don't always need a glove the whole time. bottle up and finish before my pizza is ready. But I want to tuck into a good pizza.
in 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. If I don't finish this up quick, I'm gonna have a burnt pizza. What will happen? Will his pizza get burnt? Or will it be crispy and delicious? With an amazing melted topping and delicious pepperoni cuts. Pepperoni slices. Who knows? Find out after the break. Reporting live from Alex Steele's workshop, we have one burnt pizza. If he's not quick, this pizza is going to be completely uneatable. We better finish up this bottle of beer fast. The clock is ticking. time. Oh, I think I can smell it. Oh, please tell me it's not burnt. Oh, it's perfect. That could not be a more perfectly cooked pizza. I need this so much right now. Anybody will buy a bottle opener at the next price. What am I doing? I'm going to close the door a little bit because it's chilly.
I type so fast when I'm this tired? Deal with the thing. See if I can. Hmm. Oh, no, I missed it. Guys, just a second. I've just got to do some business. Um, bing, bang, bong, bongy, biggy, bing, young, gaga, ding, dang. I need to eat a pizza. I'm also making a video. I think that's still recording. It's still recording. Uh, I'm raising the price now. There we go. Whew. Little check in, you know, a little pep talk of myself, and we're good to go. Remember to change the price on the top of the screen. Yes, good question. Thank you. Let me do that now. Oh, I need to go do that crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna take you out to potty. I'm gonna eat, take you out to potty. I'm gonna get both those guys out to potty. Ah, uh, come on, brain. Let's do things. Let's go. Let's go. Current one sold for two forty-five. Okay. Eat. Dogs out for potty. Sell this next one. Let's get it gone. Take a little break. Play with the dogs. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to get myself a piece of paper, and I'm actually going to make a list of the things that I need to do so that I have those lists. Do this. Things. Ready to go. So that I have a list. I'm going to make a list of things to do so that I have the correct order and sequence of the tasks that I need done on paper. Eat. Update price. Sell, break, dogs. <sighs> Eat, update price, sell, break, dogs. I even wrote my list in the wrong order. Oh, well, maybe I wrote it in the right order. Oh wow, I just got so hungry, I felt like I was about to puke. He, the dog wants out. She's not having a good time. Okay. We're raising the price. $260, will it sell? I'm gonna go help the dog. I understand 
the argument of not letting a dog out when they're whining because you are then going to positively reinforce the whining as a means of getting out. Hey, it's sold from London. We're going to make another. No, it, she's good in the crate, has a good crack rec track record. Take a 15 minute break, deal with the dogs, I'm not worried about positively reinforcing getting her out. Because she's good in the crate, and I'm more interested in helping her chill out here for a sec. So I'm going to do that. 15 minute break, everybody. Come back soon. See y'all later.
I'm not here to say that the break is over. I'm just here to give some very unfortunate news. And that is that I have no snacks here at the workshop. Which means, having now consumed one pizza for lunch, one tube of, ja of Jaffa cakes, and one pizza for dinner, there is nothing to eat here other than the crusts of the pizza that I just ate and the crusts of the pizza that I ate for lunch. But I do not think that the crusts of either of those pizzas are worth eating. So I'm just throwing it out there. Oh, hang on a second. We do have a snack. Jamie, uh, Jamie Popple, who was here earlier, he has left half a cookie. The alarm was not necessary. We have half a cookie's worth of calories. I retract my, my uh, alarming alert. We're gonna resume the break, as in the break is continuing. I'm not getting back to forging just yet. I'm gonna go play with the dogs. You wanna see me play with the dogs or do you not? I mean, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, break continues. I'm gonna go play with the dogs. You can watch the forge, see you in a few more minutes. Is it exactly 15 minutes? I don't know, probably not. But I'll see you in a few minutes. If you hang around, you hang around. If you don't, have a lovely day. You guys are all awesome. Thank you, I will see you in a few minutes when I'm done playing with the dogs. Having read the chat, it sounds like people want to see me play with the dogs. Don't expect much. I feel like something that's tired. microphone fell off me. Oh! One of my microphones has fallen. If you're ever curious how we get sound, they are taped onto the inside of my shirt with rye coat stickies. R-Y-C-O-T-E stickies. And uh, we've just found out how long rye coat stickies last before your thing falls out. It is precisely, hang on a second, 10 hours, 58 minutes and 59 seconds. I'm gonna stick another one back in. The mic that you're connected to is still working. There we go, you might as well show you. Interesting stuff, kind of. So look, you have this little fuzzy, fuzzy boy in there, right? Boom, get rid of that bad boy. Here's the uh, end of your lav mic. You stick one of the right coat stickies on, then you buy rye coat overcovers. Do not buy undercovers, the overcovers are better. How do I know this? I was told it by somebody. He was a guy that probably knows what he's talking about, but he told it to me. He said buy the overcovers, not the undercovers. Use the overcovers as undercovers. Take it for what it's worth. Peel off the stick. Stick your lab in your shirt. Even when you are blacksmithing and forging, you, my friend, will get good audio. There is no excuse for having your lav mic hanging over here and clipped like this. It's no fun, nobody likes that. I've done it, I've done it in the past. You don't need to do it anymore. Rye coat stickies, the best solution for lav mics. Sometimes I just get passionate about the strangest things. Ah, do the dogs need to poop outside? Well, just before I ate my pizza, I took both dogs out. And I'd like to update you on their bodily functions. Crazy peed a lot and pooped a lot. Yogo peed a little bit. Here's something funny. Yogo barely pees. 
crazy, peas a ton. Funny, they both work in different ways. Yoga has much stronger, oh, sorry, pardon me, crazy has a, a, a requirement to drink a hell of a lot more water than yoga. Crazy just drinking all the time. Yoga's like, eh, nah, I'm okay. And this isn't like a, it's just, I think it's just a difference in them because crazy is not drinking so much water that it's a medical problem, having spoken to a vet about it. And yoga is just fine. <laughs> it's funny, they just have different water intakes. One wants more water than the other. And as a result, one pees a hell of a lot more than the other. Are you interested in knowing this? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, crazy, break. Oh, yes. Yes, that's a good girl. Oh, who knows what we're gonna do? I don't know. Ah, come on, break. I took a girl. I did some good girls. Yes, they are. Let's uh, hopefully not have a dog escape under the door. Oi, oi. What's gonna happen? Oh, oh, oh. I hate yoga. Yeah, are you angry facing? Are you angry facing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh oh. You mad at her? Hey, pup. How you doing? Yeah. What's you sniffing for? Sniffing for food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you see where I spilt pizza on myself, yoga. Who spills a solid like pizza? Ah! Ah! Oh, <laughs> that's a good job. That's a good job. Yeah. Oh, she's biting my belt. <laughs> yeah, Bubba. Oh, Yogo. Yogo's a funny little doggo. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, you're a funny dog. You're a funny dog. You're a funny dog. Ah, oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, look at that. You know, crazy saying no, thank you. Yeah, no, nah, crazy doesn't want it. Yoga, enough. Hey, over here, come on. Ah, for you. Here. Yoga, here. Good girl. Down. So fascinating seeing these two dogs. Good girl. Down. Good. Center. Crazy, center. It's so fascinating seeing these two dogs. Uh, for you. Down. Good girl. I'm trying to work out how they, how they kind of operate. It's really funny. Crazy doesn't want to play as much as yoga. Like out of 10 inter like play seeking opportunities, Crazy will do it once for every night. For every 10 times that yoga tries to seek play from Crazy, Crazy will engage once. She really is not that fussed about it. She wants to find a ball, she wants to find food. Uh, she wants to kind of do some work. Yoga wants to play. What yoga will do, she'll come up and then yoga doesn't have quite the same, quite, quite the understanding to read crazies, at least this is my interpretation of it. She doesn't have the understanding or interpretation of crazy social cues to say, okay, got it, you don't want to interact with me right now, save it for another time. So I gotta sometimes like chill things out because crazy's trying to say, hey, no, thank you. I don't want to play with you while yoga is playing in a very boisterous in your face manner. So I kind of gotta put a stop to it sometimes. Ah, for you, for you. No, come on, down. Good girl. I open the drawer in which is con that foy. Down. I open the drawer in which is contained her tug toy. All right, bite pillow. So that's a bad idea because now that's all she's thinking about. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just gonna play with the dogs a little bit here, and we'll get back to the forging in a few few moments. Somebody gave me five dollars for snacks. That's very kind. I will pay the snacks to the dogs. How about that? Where's my treat pouch? Oh, cute eels. 
Should we have the symphony start, perhaps? Uh, turn down your volume. I shall make the dogs bark. Because it is fun. And I've lost my hearing protection. Here it is. Back to forging soon. I'm just playing with the dogs for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Go on, up in your box. Good job. Oh, I'm spinning around. I'm yes, that's a good one. Speak. Speak. You're a little tired for it. A little too much. You want to speak? Oh, that's a good girl, Yogo. Yogo's up for a little speaking. Abba. Good girl. Money mark. Good girl. Oh boy. Down. Come on. Oh, that's a good down. Chip. That's a good job. Yes, it is. That's a good girl. Come on, up in your box. Yoga center. Yoga's got a little flip into center. It's kind of cute. It's <laughs> yes, center. Oh, Yoga's a little excited now. She's got a little more energy. That's so good. Oh, you almost had him. See, I let it. I let it go for too long. Center. That's a good girl. Do a little turn and jump. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yoga center. Wee! That's a good job. Heel. Yeah, come on. That's a good one. That's a good girl. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you will. Oh, angry face. Angry face. Oh, come on, angry face. Yoga, hit it. Almost. I know. You want to hit it, too. Yoga, hit it. Yes, that's a good girl. Yoga, center. That's a good job. Speak. Oh, yeah. Once more, you can do it. Come on, girl. Yes! That's a good girl. Sit. Down. Yes, well done. Oh, you're a good girl. Good girl. Come on, Yoga. Come over here. Oh, that's a good job. Down. That's a good girl. Crazy, Abba. Do a little holding with crazy. How about that? I need to get a clicker for this. I don't know how interesting this is to a lot of people, but for some reason we have 2,300 people still watching. So that's mind blowing. I'm just playing with my dogs here. I wonder if I can maybe see over my shoulder what I'm trying to achieve. I'm gonna put my training jacket on. This training jacket is so helpful. I look very silly in it, but I'm very grateful to have it. I'm willing to accept you all calling me very silly, but it means I play with my dogs more efficiently and effectively. <laughs> yes, I'm, I've measured the efficiency and effectiveness of my, of my uh, dog training habits and I've decided and concluded I need a jacket. One jacket. It will help me in many ways. Get my clicker ready. Oh, I dropped a washer. Come on, crazy, up in your box. Let's go. Come this way. Oh, good, good. Come on, up in your box. Good job, well done. Abwa. 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 Oh, it's a good job. Good girl. Yeah, you left your box. I'll take it, though. I like some energy. Good enthusiasm, good attitude, that's important. Oh, hey, 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 yeah, you want to do something, huh? Yeah, you're ready to do something. This has been a lame day for my poor dogs, but hopefully we can make it worth it with a little training. Come on, up in your box. If you guys don't mind, I'm just going to keep training for a little while, and then we'll get back to some forging in a bit. It's actually nice because it's 
psyching me up. It's enjoyable for me to do some of this. Um, if you want to see me hammer metal, then just skip back in the stream and you will see me do the exact same thing for the last 10 hours, because that's what I've been doing. <laughs> hey, that's, I should have thought about that, yeah. So like, if you don't want to watch me train my dogs, but you want to watch me hammer metal, just go back some, and uh, yeah, you'll be fine. All right, so this is a bit of uh, nylon pipe, but like commonly people use PVC pipe to train a hold. Nope. Oh, good job, crazy. Wow, 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 you're a good girl. Hold. Oh, wow, look at that. Hold. Tug on it. Oh, that's a good one. I don't want her to let go of it when I tug on it. I want there to be some like pressure on the thing. That's a good job, that's a good job. I want to focus her on me a little bit. That's a good girl. That aboire is good. That's her bark in French. I just used a different one for her than for Yogo, which is Yogo's speak. Yogo has heard me say aboire enough to crazy that you'll see what happens when I say aboire. <laughs> Yogo also aboires. So, because Yogo has picked up her French for speak and she's become bilingual, I will go and reward her too. Come on, how many bucks? So a little, little ah, uh, little little no for her letting go of it without me saying. The idea here is she holds it without mouthing it, without chewing on it. Good job, yes, that's a good girl. And so I do a little bit with the PVC pipe. I'm gonna try and change up the object so we generalize the idea that I will ask her to put things in her mouth and hold on to it until I say otherwise. She is excited. She likes the hammer. <laughs> the hammer's rubbery and chewy. Come on, up in your box. This is good fun. Sit. Incompatible behavior. Hold. That's a good girl. Oh, well done, crazy. Well done, crazy. So this dog is bred to have a, a, a lot of drive and energy. And so what I once did one time is I threw this hammer for her to go and pick up. It's a rubber coated hammer, she's not gonna hurt her teeth on it, but it's got some weight to it, so it's not gonna, something the dog would naturally, it's like weird to pick up. Threw it once, and now this is a toy to her. Anything can become a toy to this dog, because she's so high in prey drive. Or at least compared to anything I'm experienced with. I'm sure there are people here that have even, even topper end, topper end drive dogs. Oh wow, ah, she, see, she, she jumped the gun on me. It's really difficult. Timing this stuff is, you mess it up, it's not good. What I did there, is I told myself, okay, time to release marker, hold. And then by the time I sent that to my hands, she'd already dropped it. Nope. So that's an opportunity, she dropped it before I released her. I don't want that. Oh, nope. She let go of it, I want her to grip harder. She doesn't get the reward until she grips harder and hangs on to it. Oh, good girl. Well done, jackpot. And we're done. At least for the hold. We're not done playing with the dogs. What do you want to do? Yoga, come here, center. <laughs> That's difficult. <laughs> come on, crazy. Up in the box. Do something with yoga. Yoga. Center. Oh, it's a pretty flip. Yeah. Oh, come on. Heel. Yes. Good job. Crazy. I said it wrong, I said the wrong word. That's a good girl. She would remember. Yoga on your mark. Good girl. I want to get Yoga's back end moving a little bit. Almost. I'm, I'm asking for too much. I should have rewarded already. Oh, almost Yoga. You're a good girl. Come on now. Once more. Let's get that butt. Let's get that poop chair going. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's get moving. Yes, good job. Oh, no. I pushed you off. Come on, Yogo. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you want to mouth on me. <laughs> ah, come on, come on, bite me, bite me, bite me. Yeah, oh, it's a good job. Oh, it's a good job. Come on, honey, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you love this dog. I love this dog. Yogo is so sweet. Good girl. 
see if we can get that. Yes, good job. Woo! This, uh, this thing isn't designed very well. By yours truly. Yes. Good job. Come on, let's get that rear end. Oh, good. I like that, but I missed it. Yes. Good girl. I'm not using the clicker for yoga because it's so heavily charged with crazy that if I do, crazy will come off the box. And the dog I'm most interested in having the most power from is crazy. I want crazy to... Uh, come on. Yoga, let's go. I want crazy to have the most power off the clicker, so I'm... I'm sacrificing some of the benefits of the clicker for yoga for crazy and now I'm not focusing on either of them. Crazy up in your box. So now we got ourselves an issue. <laughs> your crazy wants to be on the box focusing with me but I'm focusing with yoga so crazy gets up on the box and be like hey I'm on the box now you're not I'm gonna bully you up. Yes. Good job yoga. That's not good so we gotta stop that. <laughs> That'd be bad. Okay, we'll do one more with yoga. One more with, yes, good job. One more with crazy, and then we're back to forging, guys. Good job, oh yes, good girl. A little more movement. Yes, good, oh wow. Good job, good job, well done. Yay, we're done, we're done. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, come on, yoga. Get you over this way. Oh, she got me good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is my favorite. It's a good girl. Okay, you go down. <laughs> oh, you are fun, aren't you? You are fun, doggo. Oh, I've got to make the most of this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful dog. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, you need to come fight me. Oh, you good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. Oh. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. <laughs> she is a good girl. She's a good. Oh, she got it. She got it. Okay. Come on, yoga. Jump down. Good girl. Crazy elbow. Good job. Ooh. What am I gonna do? Ah, a little muzzle training for crazy. That'll be good. Yeah, if you've been watching this stream since like 11 o'clock, you'd know why I'm doing this. I can explain it again. This is day two of her ever seeing a muzzle. The reason I want her to be able to have a muzzle on is in case she ever gets hurt. She's got to go to the vet. She's angry. She wants to bite things because she's angry because she's in pain. That type of thing. It's a good, good thing to have with a, with a dog like this that's you know, got a hell of a lot of uh, intensity to it. So that's really interesting. But you'll see like she's, she's starting to get itching to have this thing because she knows that this pays. Oh, doesn't it pay so well? So that's the key. Whatever, whatever I want, I want to pay well for it. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, well done. She chooses to get into that muzzle of her own volition. How sick is that? I love learning about this stuff because it is just the funnest thing. And I've got her on this box, so if she's up at a higher height, it's easier for me to reach her. It also helps her feel a little bit strong. It's also good because at the beginning of teaching something, you can clip her into the box because then there's no like real wandering around. She f can focus way in like, hey, here's the task at hand. Let's get it done. Let's get paid. Oh, good job. Well done. Well done. Oh, that was a big reward. You got a lot of food there, huh? Let's keep it in a little more. Good job. A little jackpot right there. I put a little pressure on it too. Hey, this thing will sometimes have pressure. Get used to it, please, crazy. You beautiful dog. Yeah. What about a little training with crazy, though? About <laughs> yoga. Hey, see, the girls are not having a good time together right there. Come on, yoga. I don't want to have one interrupt the other too much. That time. Come on, yoga. Good place. Good job, yoga. Yes, place. If you're wondering why I use this thing, this is a technique people use to try and get the dog to get the hind end moving. The dog has to keep her front feet on there. Oh, oh, oh yeah, good. Yep. 
Good job. Isn't that fun? Yes, it is. Up a... Good job. Up a... Down. Down. Good job. It's an uncomfortable thing to go down on, sir. It's good. Center. Good job. No, no. Center. Yeah, I know. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Down. Yoga has begun howling down. A lot of noise going on. Kind of stressful environment. Can you see that wall? Okay, here, this is gonna be cool, guys. Check this out. This has been a fun like, project. Center. She's a fun little like way to get the dog up. Hit it. Good job. And if I time the click, it's like it almost releases it. Come on, click. Not click, hit it. <laughs> oh, good girl. Gotta be careful though, because she'll put a lot of force into that and I don't want her to hurt herself. Sit. Almost. Sit. Good. Hit it. Good job. Yeah, crazy. Center. Good girl. On your mark. She's having fun. On your mark. Yeah, foot. yeah I like that. That's power. I think. I'm a beginner. Good job. Well done. We're done. Let's make some forging. Good girl, yo. We can get some food too. Good job. Crazy place. <laughs> She's got a bit of food in her paw. Or she got a bit of steel in her paw. I think she had a bit of food in her paw. Let's check these things. Hey, good girl. Let's see what you got going on here. Oh, yeah, you got a little splinter. I didn't sweep the floor well enough. Okay, we got it out. Come on, crazy. Crazy, place. That's a good girl. Wow, look at you. Look at both you guys. How good are you? We're gonna do some forging. Yes, oh yes we are. Oh, we're gonna do some forging. Oh yes, oh yes we are. We will be forging for a long time, or until people stop buying this expensive bottle up. Nah, you guys are awesome for doing it anyway. It really means a lot. Let's go forge. I don't know where I'm putting the camera. Being quite indecisive. Screen. Time to get to work, y'all. Yeehaw. Okay, break. So I've got my list. Eat, update, price, sell, break, dogs. Need to make a bottle opener for the next person. Thanks for patience, guys. Was that more than 15 minutes? I'm sure it was. But we've, we've got some good things to happen in that time. Oh my goodness, no, I would never feed my dogs human food. That would be so bad, because then they would expect to get food from me every time I eat. Who would do that? Never me. I will never feed my dogs human food. That was not the crust. I did not feed it to them. Yeehaw. 
just enough material. If uh, anybody watching wants to learn more about dogs and dog training, because that's something that's interesting to you, I highly recommend the following podcast. That is The Canine Paradigm. There's two Australian blokes put on one hell of a damn good show. They talk about dog training, they get guests on who are famous and well-respected dog trainers and competitors, and they just do a really good podcast, Canine Paradigm. So like if, you know, I, I'm falling down that like rabbit hole of, of training and playing with the dogs, I have so much fun doing it. It's something fun, fun hobby for me. And if you, uh, you sense yourself wanting to fall down such a rabbit hole, Canine Paradigm, it's like a good place to fall into learning about all sorts of fun dog training things. Have a good time with your, with your doggo. What I'm doing here at the uh, back of the screen, you might see I'm getting a bit of steel off the rack. I actually need to change the uh, steel I'm using. Out of the previous one. I used the stick I had, so now we must, uh, we must make a slight alteration to the plan and use this stick of steel until we have people stop buying it. So I will make one then and then sell it after once I've updated the photo so that the actual product actually reflects what they can get. So there will be a slight design change on the following price jump case anybody still wants to buy it, which is still my work. Hope you can hear me, you probably can. Oh, that looks a little... Am I overexposed again? Do I just keep overexposing myself? Sounds funny. I made it up. Do you ever like have a phantom phone vibration? I just had a phantom phone vibration. <laughs> my, my, my butt cheeks were just tingling. <laughs> just had a little butt cheek spasm. Made me think my phone was vibrating. back on form ladies and gentlemen we just got a cleanly punched hole rather fell rather fell rather well how the hell do we have 205,000 how the... 205,000 how do we have 257 ah I said it wrong ha, I can't read a number out loud that's how bad it is right now I cannot read a number out loud how do we have 2,500 people watching me blabber on like this Cool. That's freaking awesome. Holy mackerel, guys. Hey, what's up, BVD underscore Woodworks? How are you doing, Brandon? David Ream is disappointed he's going to miss the end because he's been here since the beginning. See you, David. Thank you for being here. Now that the dogs are awake, I shall pet them once, twice each because both of you donated once and twice. Oh, good girl. Yes. That's a good girl. Crazy even got a kiss. Okay. Yoko. Yoko gets a kiss too. I don't care if you think that's weird. I love my dogs. They are the bestest. You know, anytime somebody says I don't care if you think that's weird, it probably means they care that you think it's weird. Please don't judge me. Stewart says, thank you for all the content. You, sir, are very, very kind. 
you are very very kind. Thank you. It's kind of weird to think. Now I'm seeing this. The playbacks today, 322,000. That's the number of times the video has loaded, including page refreshes and changes the camera angle. Uh, that's messed up. Like, not messed up, but like crazy. Through this whole day, the page has been refreshed many times. This is mind blowing. Creeped out. I thought I saw. Uh, but I thought I saw shadows moving around me as if there was somebody else in the workshop. And I'm like, hell nah! I do not want to be mugged. You know what I'm saying? I do not want anybody to stab and kill me. Otherwise, I'd be forced to use my karate. I have none of this. It is late. I'm making things up. I've never done a single session of karate. But I have done hot cut. Filter. Come on, Alec, turn on the damn filter. Hey, first injury of the day caused by Todd. Success. One milestone achieved. I've been injured. You know what I did? I literally put my finger here and then whacked myself with the bar. How stupid is that? Why would someone rob a man with a Leatherman hammer lit forge and hot piece of steel? In fact, the Leatherman is not in my pocket. Yes, it is. You know me better than myself. 170 makes. You know me better than myself. I thought the Leatherman was out of my pocket. If I had been attacked, I wouldn't have thought to reach for my Leatherman because I would have assumed it was gone. Your comment could save my life if I were attacked. But because we are in the United Kingdom, I actually want to retract that statement and say, in fact, if I were attacked, I would make no effort to defend myself with any tools. Because... Because that makes sense for a thing that you have to say. I'd like to let you know that I have planned in advance that if I were attacked, I would use absolutely nothing in this workshop to defend myself. not even a roll of toilet paper, because then it would be an offensive weapon. And yeah, that would be a problem, because I would go to jail. See, filter's going. Filter's going. Oh, oh. So I had never actually. <laughs> 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 Just imagine. Show up to court. How do you plead for the charge of carrying an offensive, of, of, of having an offensive weapon? Well, sir, all I. Well, Your Honor, all I said was that if somebody broke out, broke in, and all I had was a roll of toilet paper, is that I would throw it at it. It's very extreme. I'm just, I'm just trying to imagine, <laughs> imagine that. Oh my God. See, good. 
making it a little childish and playful here. Yeah. Not good. But I will slip up. And we'll see things. But I see it. said you can defend yourself to a certain point. Yes, I am aware of the law on self-defense here in the UK. Uh, I'm being a little bit facetious and humorous. You can absolutely defend yourself here in the UK. Uh, my understanding of it is that it's more a case of owning anything for the purpose of self-defense, thereby making something illegal and an offensive weapon, or rather making something an offensive weapon if it is owned for the purpose of self-defense, and so therefore you can't. The understanding I have from that is you can't predetermine I have this object for that purpose. <laughs> Somebody says don't follow Ike's self-defense advice. It's totally okay to throw a roll of toothpaste uh, to toilet paper. <laughs> hey, by the way, we finished making this thing. Don't follow Alex's self-defense advice, people. He's tired. It's totally okay to fend off a mugger with toilet roll if you feel threatened. It's covered under toilet, com common law. I love it. God, what gems we are capturing. Jolly. Such good stuff. Another. Let us go. Be warned, Alec has a bog roll and he's not afraid, not afraid to use it. <laughs> Just so everybody is clear, this is here in case I really, really poorly time my next bowel movement. And that is it. just made our $260 one, I need to change material. So we're gonna do this. I've now run out of this material size, so we've gotta continue. With this slightly wider stock, so we're gonna make one, take a photo, and update the product. Guys, heads up, there's loud noises incoming. I am going to be at the. I'm going to be at the saw here in a moment, cutting some of that material. Some material, folks. Loud noise incoming. Start with the Save kind of all the material in case we don't sell that much of it. Or any more. There could be no more sales to come. This is 
a very possible thing. Ding dang dong, ding 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 dong ding dong. I'm gonna go use the restroom while this heats up. I will mute it. You can imagine the sounds that will happen. They will go twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Okay. Right, let's get to it. Nothing to it but to do it. Get some more hydration. Ah, oh, it's so good. This time. <laughs> right, just punch a hole. plug out without it hanging up. I've been bad at that today. I think the geometry of my punch isn't obtuse enough. It's like a little too much like this. It wants to be a little more like this, you know what I'm saying? I want it less like an arrow, more like a mount. Yeah. Somebody asked if I wash my hands. I shouldn't have said that I looked at that question. Yes, I wish my hands were. I'm the only one here, okay, I didn't. Goodness gracious. I'm not shaking anybody's hand right now.
berapa rupa? What's up everybody? Hello. Alright, Jamie Popple says, hey, what's the latest? Just barely existing. <laughs> That's about it. Wow, if I, uh, that footage isn't going to get to you <laughs> if I'm not careful. I've got to finish this up so I can dropbox this footage to Jamie. Ooh, I might have to make a modification to my tool here. Interesting thing is happening. So, this material is wider. This is three quarter by quarter, which means that when I punch, Though I have the same slot length, there's actually more mass around the outside. So when I'm trying to take the outside into a square cross section and then uh, diagonalize it, to get there, I move a whole lot more material because it's that extra eighth of an inch wide. Which means it's going to make a much bigger loop, which could be a problem, as it could not open bottles if we're not careful. There are two potential solutions. One, I can modify my punch make the slot less long, and then we have less material to forge into the loop. Or, we can make this a flattened off bottle opener, really give the design a good solid change up. There's an option for that, but I'd really like to stay looking about the same, even though it is a different material and the proportions will be slightly strange. I want to have rough shape. Rough shape. See, I think this isn't gonna work too well. Ah, see, look at that, not working too well. That punch won't do. What? Ah, yes, it's done. Mm. Well, it's kind of round. Well, I'm gonna make it, make it smaller. Let's cut this off. Trim down the punch. Start again. Happy days. So, so you will know what's going to happen. Punch this way. What's up, Guy Hewson? He says he's a big fan in Norfolk here in the UK. Thank you very much. I'm also in Norfolk here in the UK. So here's what I'm doing, if you heard what I was talking about earlier. Take this punch, I'm going to narrow down the tip this way. Not in thickness this way, it's fine like that. Narrowing it down that way. Slot length is an important factor in punching and drifting holes, and the modification of the slot length will help, hopefully. This is a very good punch, lasting a long time. Whoa, I messed it up on the ground. Now that's what it's looking like. Shortened it up in length. Yeah, I think that'll work. Beep, bop, bop, bop. 2,600 people are watching me. <laughs> Breathe into a camera lens because I think it's funny. I really need to pick my nose. I mean, I really need to blow my nose like a refined and normal human being. ugly hot cutting I've ever done. Right, let's see if we can do better. On this next
Loud noise. in slot length also gives me less resistance as I'm punching. It feels way easier to get down to the bottom than it did at first. A little hang up on my plug, fix that. toasty here. Check the old carbon monoxide levels, make sure we're in the clear. You can get a carbon monoxide um, alarm on Amazon, really inexpensively. Got a gas forge going, so you've got to have one. Yes, see that's so funny. Right, started feeling a little funky. All these carbon oxide levels aren't really so hot. Got to fix that. It shows me the parts per million. It's very bad. It's not very bad. I'm not about to die here. Uh, we've got one on the other side of the room. We're at 53, which is bad. So I'm going to change something about that here. Yep, 58. So here we go, guys. We're going to take a break because I need to vacate myself from the area with the dogs. Short break because of carbon monoxide. I had to open the door. Okie dokie. Come on, dogs. Everything's gonna be okay, by the way. You don't need to go get him worried here. I'm gonna be just fine. I'm just gonna go walk out for a few minutes, uh, give the area some time to clear out, and we'll be good to go. That's why you need a carbon monoxide detector. Please, everybody, right now, if you don't have one of, oh, it's already reading zero, zero, zero parts per million. Check this out, guys. I feel safer now already. It's an 